Hello, everyone. My name is Shinigami with my friend JP here. Um, we're, I'm doing What's this. Up? Little, we're <laughs> we're doing this little segment at the beginning because of the fact. Um, as you can see, these are this is old footage because of the fact that this was before I properly got back into doing YouTube on my own end, and it was during a time when me and JP here were busy using streaming on a Twitch channel slash YouTube called JRPG Torture, and the thing is we haven't really been there in a while and. In order to honor the Fate for Stay Night remaster coming out in fall, we did, we decided to essentially re-upload the vids and bomb both of our channels, and essentially just try to keep the footage alive, and then also plan on live streaming, uh, where we left off in Fate, in order to basically just like you know once we're done, like we could compare notes between the remaster and the version that we have, aka the version most likely everyone played in America, so um. Yeah, we we just didn't want this footage to die off, so we wanted to give it a new home in like both of our channels. Yeah. A lot of it was just too stupid and funny. I literally went over it the other day. I'm like, we need to post this somewhere else. Yeah, because like having it on Twitch only is already you know, not only that the we did make an official VOD channel for JRPG Torture, but that didn't really go anywhere either. And so it's like, fuck it, let's just post it on our channels. And yeah, we just wanted to make this little thing to know. Oh, as also as a warning. This will contain spoilers for basically the entire Fate franchise, uh, specifically Unlimited Blade Works and the Heaven's Feel movies. Unlimited Blade Works, the anime, obviously, and Heaven's Feel, which also the movies. So if we do, if we say things that are spoiler worthy, you at least were warned that this does contain spoilers. So um, oh, also it can get pretty vulgar because we were kind of really unhinged on Twitch. Yeah, we were. Not only that, um, considering this is basically the uncensored version of the game, uh, you're going to see some stuff. But luckily, we're not there yet. So, um, But if we do get some naughty content coming up, don't worry. We have a pre-made sensor screen that I created. <laughs> you're going to love it. But yeah. I will, however, be reading every detail of the chapter out loud because it's fun that way. Yeah. <laughs> and just make an edit where it's just like 30 minutes later. <laughs> Here's the thing. I'm oh, going to have to hide that. Don't. I don't even know how I'm going to hide that. I just want to read it, like, as a cringy, like, you know those, like, 80s, uh... <laughs> cringy mind. fanfic. I'll talk but, to you about it. Like, yeah. We'll do it later. But, yeah, like, um... So, yeah, I yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the really, really long video, because this is the unedited version of the streams. So, it's not what I am usually do, where I edit the vids, because these... Here's the thing. I don't want to edit over 12 hours of vids. So, I'm just going to leave them here, unedited, for y'all to enjoy. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys liked the vids, and also sorry for... Oh my god, for... we recorded 12 hours of this. No, more than 12. Also, I'm sorry if my microphone sounds kind of, uh, you know, shitty. It's when, um, when we were streaming this, I would have to use my PS5 controller to record for my mic. And... Yeah, yeah. my mic also had a dent in it. I'm now using a Yeti Nano. So if you... By the way, Logitech sponsor me kidding. so if you notice any like strange like voice um voice glitches or any on all that oh and also one of the streams was kind of not completed because it kind of cut out midway through so um i hope you all enjoyed the vid and uh let's get on with it also if you're not cool at religious jokes uh you're gonna love when we summon jesus in attack mode oh yeah you're gonna love that anyways off to the vid We're doing this on the reverse end today, which means Shinigami's the host. Hello everyone, I'm the one streaming this time. Welcome to... This is possibly going to be our death sentence, that's all I'm going to say. And that means you get intro. Yeah. Hello everyone, this is Shin Shinigami. We don't know why we decided to do... Sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm with Japan Lover 79 and we are digging our grave right now. <laughs> we, we don't know why we decided to do this. I mean, case in point, we just discussed this last night when we were really tired, and we we're like, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> yes, we are aware how long this game is, but we're like, you know what? We have hours to spend. Let's just play this. And you're probably wondering what happened to our other visual novels. We'll get back to them. We just wanted to see if we could even get this working as an experiment, and we did. We had to go through several hoops and tunnels to get this working from English, from Japanese to English. <laughs> Oh yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. No, we didn't. We just stole somebody's English version of this. <laughs> no, and here's shout out to the it... guy at the files for download though. All right, hold on. I'm gonna check something real quick. Let's see. We so... tried manually patching it, but it just wasn't taken. All right. 
Does it look good on the Twitch? As like a reminder, so we can check it out, make sure. Yes. Like no black borders. Um. Anymore? No. So yeah, if any of you have experience with getting Japanese games to work on American hardware, it is a task. Yeah, it is a huge task. It is just a pain in the ass to do. And, yeah, it's just a pain in the ass. Because originally, I was going to, how to say, on my end, I was going to try to get all the files installed. But it was a pain in the ass. And then <laughs> my friend here discovered that there was an easier way for it. And he just sent me the link. And I'm like, fuck, I'll just use that version. I'm not going through all that bullshit. And would you look at that? This Children, is the best. It's this one thing I learned in tech class. There's always someone smarter than you. Yes. And we'll have the solution. Just Google it. <laughs> All right, let's get on with this. Start new game. Type Moon Presents. Think of Shinigami. He has a ton of pride. Hold and I'm on. like, you know what? I forgot something. Hold on. The audio. Fuck. Uh. What did you do? <laughs> no, the audio of the game. Okay, there we go. I was gonna say I can hear it. It was thrust like lightning. Spirit thrust to pierce my heart. Trying to dodge it would be useless. Being lightning, it's invisible to the human eye. But oh god, my face! The it's lightning over. that tries to pierce me is repelled by the moonlight that tries to save me. Clang. Beautiful sound. No. Oh, sound also, guys, this game has nudity in it, so if we put up the B right back screen all of a sudden, just know that's what's happening. Yeah, I, there is a patch that turns off the turns off the nudity, but just in case, I have that quick draw. I is to also, I love how Twitch will let us stream this, but I'm not allowed to stream Katawa Shoujo because it's light banned. Fuck here's you, the Twitch. Here's the thing. <laughs> this game is not nearly as bad. That's the thing. No, it sounds like Formi's heavier than steel. The armor she's wearing is not beautiful at all. And it's, oh, yeah, but is the Katawa Shoujo man. may have sex, but it's still a lighthearted story. Yeah. The sound wasn't beautiful at all. It's actually the sound of steel. Since the night is beautiful enough to turn into a charming sound like a bell. They spelled oh. night like night. I wonder if that was a translation error. Or if that was I ask of you, are you my master? She asked in a voice that lights up the darkness. Ah, shit! Hold on. What, is, what happened? That was my alarm. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I turned it off. Real quick. I don't like your sneeze. You're like, ah, shit! No interruptions. Turn. Do not disturb, phone. Don't do shit. All right. Oh, you're reading. When she chose me as her master. I'm sure I swore to help her, too. Question, is this a harem? You can make it a harem. I'm in for it. It's my least favorite anime genre. The moonlight still lights up the darkness as if following the night's example. And shed again, all silent. Time has stopped. The scene lasts less than a second, but I remember this scene vividly. Did this dude summon this bitch in a classroom? You'll know the context. I watched a bit of the anime, but for context, yeah. This is why people, this is why if you want to understand late fate lore, you gotta go to the roots. AKA oh, so this shit. To, this shit. We tend so. to play more high concept visual novel. This one is retro, so uh, expect a lot of reading and not much else happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whereas Danganronpa is all about, you know, investigating and shit. Like, in the retro game, this is just a pure visual novel. No and Doki stuff. Doki has, like, a virtual machine in it. Yeah, this, this, is a, is a this, this is a visual novel boiled down to its elements. It's literally just a novel. I hope you like reading, kiddos. Because yeah. we're going to make you. Yes. Re it's like that one boondocks joke. Read, read. I'm not gonna say that word because that's the n-word. Children. Man. No, that's the n-word, man. I don't want to say it. The face on its head. I'm like read. Quiet children. green eyes. The instant becomes. Who does the one show that can get away with saying it multiple times though? Yeah, but on adults when they censored the shit out of it. The blue outfit symbolizing her sways and. Of course they did. By the way, wait. Up, they actually censored stuff on Adult Swim. That's surprising. Yeah, they did it with Dead Man Wonderland. I mean, yeah. they also sense of Family Guy a lot, because, yeah, Family Guy could get away with a... Family Guy can get away with making a song about AIDS, but apparently the F word is too much. The golden hair shines on the moonlight. 
By the way, Streamlabs records our streams, right? Or does it only do the live streaming? It used to, but now it doesn't. You gotta do it separately? You have to do a certain setting on your computer to have it do it, and I don't remember how you do it. You wanna check it? Uh, I can just download the VOD afterwards. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm, the one, re I'm the one recording this time. What the fuck am I doing? Fate. So you can just download it so your PC doesn't shit itself. There's a story yep. from 10 years ago. I went through puberty. It was I'm on, amazing. I'm on for talking <laughs> like this and talking like this. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm, Never. <laughs> I'm watching someone I know very well. Tall man with a We're deep, two minutes in and I already face. made Shady got me laugh like a maniac. Seven minutes, actually. Who, to my knowledge, has never told a joke is patting my head. No, it's not quite right. I guess he doesn't know how much strength to use, so to be more accurate, he's grabbing my head and mashing it around. <laughs> I guess that's only to be expected. After all, that's the first time he's ever patted my head. So Hold on, this... Uh... It's Sakura Spirit. No, this, like, the... I'm not gonna lie, the voices are way too damn loud. I didn't even know there's voice acting in this. I have to get going now. You know what to do, right? Answer the deep voice with a polite yes. The man patting my head nods once, lets go, and stands up. So that was it. If I'd known then it was our final moment together, I would have made him laugh at my best jokes. I had practiced telling jokes a lot and hoped that I could bring a smile to his great face. Carson is talking <laughs> since there's not really portraits that are speaking. Uh, I think it says their names, but in this case, it's trying to be mysterious. I guess you could say I was sad well, that I couldn't tell them. Novel mode, like... <laughs> it does it the same way that the original, um... Zero Escape games do it. With the association, you're dead by the time you mature. I'll let you decide what to do after that. You should be able to take care of yourself. Even though he said such things, I guess he was still worried. He told me about the heirloom jewels the Jews inherited from the Master and how to manage the basement. As he was telling me all the things I didn't know yet, I realized even as a child that most likely he wouldn't be coming back. The moe in this is incredible already. Yeah, that's adorable. A war had started. Not a war between countries, but a war between people. The only ones at war were seven people. Situation like this, the word war should be unsuitable. But here it's a different story as the ones in conflict are Maggie. The seven Maggie, each from a different faction, had started to compete for unknown reasons and killed each other in unknown ways. The man standing before me was one of them. He too was in position to kill or be killed. I must have known more keenly that I did that as time was near. Welcome to the Anime Hunger Games. Population <laughs> needs <laughs> Yeah, but only difference is rather than being a bunch of people, it's just seven. Rin, the Holy Grail will appear eventually. It is our duty as a Tosaka family to win it. More importantly, if you want to be a Magus, you can't avoid it. Once more, he patted my head and left. That was the end. That was the last time I saw the badge who entered the Holy Grail War as a master and died. Man who was my teacher as well as my father. He's dead. Take care, father. I see him off politely. I knew I was on the verge of crying, but I shed no tears. I love them. He was a great father and a great magus. Among Mag Magi, there are only obstinate people. The whole world, I don't think anyone had a better character than his. Taught me as a teacher and loved me as a father. So I decided to choose my path according to what he left me in the end. Dean. <laughs> is it Assuming she's the main character. You would think, right? I would think, but then again, it's the horror anime, so the main character's probably gonna no, be some dude with brown hair and uh, no personality. To be honest, it's more of a love triangle than a full on harem. If it's going to be a harem, you have to have more than three women falling for you. Or three guys falling for you. You know, reverse harems are a thing. But, 
Yeah. I think in the anime, it's more like a love triangle. Or, in Villainous's case, guys and women. <laughs> because that fucking show. That's a great show, actually. It's like a really good... It's really funny. <laughs> I just don't like season two that they turned into a friggin' harem. Ren, the Holy Grail, will appear eventually. It is our duty as a Tosaka family to win More importantly, if you want to be a Magus, you want to avoid it. In the end, he left me those words as a Magus and not as a father. That is why at that moment, my path was determined. Okay, you, you just jump on the back of my TV and then jump down. What your cat? What are you your, doing? Your cat? Yes. Ah, oh, shit. Also, somehow they know how to walk behind it and turn it on, and it confuses how, the hell out of me. How, how the fuck? I, think they still, you think they stole I their... don't know. There's no on switch back there. Did they stole the remote? They're jiggling the power cord. Like, I think that's what they do. No, I don't know. It's like a bug with this TV or something. I think it's somewhere. Unless it has that like sensor feature. I think it's somewhere in the back. It's only natural for a student to follow the words for the teacher. Since then, through many twists and turns, I, Tosaka Rin, have matured. It's been I am years. 16 and ready for this story. It's been 10 years since the Winter Jam on which my father went to war. I haven't exactly Damn it, I was kidding, Dave. For this moment, but I am excited. Hold on. You know what I like? Oh, I know. She's like in middle school here. She's probably in her 20s. No, she's like... No, she's in high school. <laughs> you know what's really funny? Forgot anime! You know what's really what? funny? You're friends with a man who willingly shakes his his soda to make it flat. It's only natural. We have to have a serious talk about this later. <laughs> and I don't mean leave it out for the day to go flat. I mean shake it until all the fizz is gone. <laughs> does that me <laughs> that's like that's like someone that pours milk on their cereal then drinks all the milk and then eats their cereal uh <laughs> uh why <laughs> i don't know the event i have never forgotten is about to start the event oh. i've never for now now, is this visual novel the whole Fate series as a whole, or is it connect to other stuff? It's the entire series. The series as we know it is just all three routes in animation form, but they're all separate. I thought there was like a million different anime and like spinoffs and stuff that continued the Fate lore. There was the series in 2006, but that one's ass, and then there's the Unlimited Blade Works movie, and then there's the Unlimited Blade Works series. Oh, I thought they was this massive franchise of million different things that connected. No, all the series is just each route from the game. Yeah. Hmm. Also, I wonder if anyone's ever played the. Uh, I wonder if anyone's ever played the freaking mobile game like religiously. Guarantee something's ringing. Apparently, that's a sequel to this. Shut up! Stop it! Oh, I was in that exact. Here's the thing. I'm still that exact same way, because my alarm would just be blaring, and uh, sometimes I'll just sleep with my phone on my chest. I'll roll around. It would get on my back, so I'm like, "Where the fuck is it?" And I just have to be forced to turn around just to get the damn thing. I read <laughs> "stop it" in Japanese, which is yabate. Yeah, rings loudly as if I'm the enemy. Come on, I was up late last night, so let me sleep in a bit longer. No, that all nope. alarms work, woman? It has let me, it has to let me sleep in. I was deciphering my father's will until early this morning, and I've used up too much magical energy. In other words, my mind and body are dead tired. Wait, so was, her father wrote a will... With magical encryption. And she's reading it and used up too much magic. Why wouldn't you just, you know, get a medieval lawyer and just have it speak to her? Shut up. Who the like fuck gets a medieval people. lawyer? The alarm clock doesn't speak They my existed! Language. They were called... They were called the Azons. They existed. So why does the ringing sound like it's telling me you're gonna be late? Late. Being late is bad. 
Uh, now, is this modern is... time or? Well, considering it's a port of a 2004 game to 20 on to 2011. No, I mean, is it's a story like in before she was summoned right now, like in medieval it's, time or whatever. It's 2000s modern time. Got yeah. it. So no cell phones or anything like that. No, there is cell phones, just not the ones we're used to. Well, that depends on the situation. I'm a good student, but maybe I can get the Listen, I need my iPhone just for today. 1700 plus gigabyte. That's right. So, so the alarm 30 minutes early, so I'll be able to sleep for 30 minutes more. Okay, that confirms that McDonald's huh? definitely uses Simply Orange for their orange juice, because I took a McDonald's container and poured... Set it 30 minutes early? With the alarm clock drowsily, the clock is pointing exactly at 7. I usually get up at 6.30, so the spare 30 minutes have already been used up. Oh. Why can't I think when I... Oh, why can't I think when I wake Wait, up? Wait, so her alarm... So she slept for the first alarm, then? Yeah... I stood the alarm clock for several seconds. Shutting it off, I decided to get out of bed. I then throw it out my window, because fuck this thing. Passing through the cold hall, I enter the cold living room. It's 7 o'clock in the last day of January. Fuyuki City is usually pretty warm in the winter, but this morning is as cold as any other city. Can you that is definitely somebody's living room they photograph for this. It looks like that, right? <laughs> or like a museum they took a thing for. Yuki <laughs> City is totally is. pretty warm in the winter, but this morning I can see my breath in the doors. On top of that, there's no one else in the house to warm it up. Dumbo, dumbo. Yeah, this is a very early visual novel. <laughs> Turning on the heater, I head to the bathroom. At times like this, living on your own is inconvenient. If there was someone to wake up before me, the living room would be warm by now. I wash my face at the sink. I brush my hair long hair and get ready. Cold morning, cold sink. The only advantage is that the cold water clears your sleepiness completely. Which is bullshit. I tried that plenty of times. medieval period. How the fuck are there sinks? It's modern day. It's just a 2000s modern oh. day. Oh. I tie my ribbon and I'm all ready. All I have to do is eat breakfast and head out. Again. Looking at the clock, it's only a bit past seven, and I'm a bit disappointed. Man. Then again, I would never do anything as clumsy as running to school anyways. It is the custom of the Tosaka family to act with a composure and elegance at all times. I'll never do anything as clumsy as running to school with a piece of toast in my mouth. Taking a custom ah, to get custom never. seriously must mean that my family originated from a very high class background indeed. Calling this old western style mansion is proof of that, and on top of it, top of it, the Tusco family is a bloodline of sorcerers able to use the power of magic. Talk now, was she summoned here or reincarnated? She's n neither. She literally was just a descent, a a lot of a, a part of a bloodline. Gotcha. Also, in the anime, Rin is the typical tsundere for the MC. Of course, she is. Yeah, you can tell she's a sooner. Not like I like you or anything, Baka. Here's the thing, she says that a lot. <laughs> that well, yeah, that's where that line came from. That, this yeah, is where that line she, came from. Yeah, but she says it a lot, especially talking about age. Our family has an ancient history. I mean, there's still a lot of noble families in Japan. Yeah, actually, I can't speak openly about it at all. Oh, by the way, I, Tosaka Rin, am a Magus. Who on earth can I brag to like that? Magic is just what it sounds like. Magic. I don't care if you get ideas like Abracadabra or whatever. You can just think of us as No, no, people. it's Avada Kedabra. You're doing it wrong. Ab Abracadabra is a children's word. Avada Kedabra actually kills people. <laughs> yes, Harry Potter taught us well. This thing was people who Sorry, I had to make a Harry Potter spells. joke. Here's the thing, I wouldn't blame you. <laughs> Though it's not like we fly around on brooms or make stars appear with a wizzle wand. 
Well, bitch, we, you don't know how good Quidditch is, do you? Well, we could do that, but we don't bother us. It's kind of meaningless. We're basically heretics who hide ourselves from the world. We're prohibited from standing out, and even if we weren't, we'd rather be at home studying magic. <laughs> Top of that, the word sorcerer is completely inaccurate. To be precise, there are only five sorcerers in the world. Things no one can do, things beyond the ability of modern science, the ones who can make such miracles, are the ones we call sorcerers. Miracles that can never be achieved, regardless of time or effort, those we call sorcery. Those things that are mysterious but achievable with time and effort, those we call magic. That's why what I do is called magic rather than sorcery. It's complicated, but that's how My it is. My cousin's surprisingly like this anime. That's why, that's why what I do is called magic rather than sorcery. It's complicated, but that's how it is, so just accept it. To be honest, modern world doesn't I'm gonna the cast of magic. spell on you. Sorry. As we believe, control, and learn things that are measurable, our, ex our existence is incompatible with the modern world. So it's kind of meaningless. Going to normal school and becoming a normal adult will bring you far more happiness than studying magic. Human technology is great. The past few hundred years has been leading the way ahead of magic. Nothing is impossible for humans. Miracles, once only possible through magic, are our tools and not miraculous at all. Still, magic has its good points. Just as there are things possible only through science. There are also things possible only through magic. And I'd like to see a Harry Potter story written like this, like where it's like balance between magic and technology, getting ahead of it. Here's the thing. That's called. Oh wait. Uh, there's a manga I read. It's an isekai, but more like it's less isekai and more just reincarnation. Where it it is both, but it's weird. Uh, it was a master of the Tosaka family who said that if science is moving towards the future, magic is moving towards the past. So think about the past and the future ending up at the same place. Everything always running towards a zero point. Let's put all those difficult discussions. Let's put all these difficult discussions. Let's put off all. Ah, fuck! Let's put off all these difficult discussions. Put off all these difficult discussions. Until they should wait until we're old. Yeah, I just I was tongue tied. Um, Finish I your breakfast. That I grab my bag. So that, I think they added the voice acting in the Vita version of the game. I don't really Probably. want to take things to school, but I'd be it'd be a waste just to leave it here. Nanishiro, hundred mono no ishida mono ne. This thing is a hundred years old after all. It's by far the greatest jewel in the house. No, that's an understatement. It's much stronger than that. I found this after decoding father's will last night. The amount of porn I've seen of this series is incredible. <laughs> You'd be <laughs> here's the thing. It's only been growing for I haven't even been years. looking for it yet. It just shows up. It's only been growing for thirteen years, dude. I know, but people are horny for this series, and they should be ashamed. Why? <laughs> because these characters are in high school. Fair point. I found this after becoming Father's Will last night. It contains the equivalent of ten years of my magical energy. And there was said to be an heirloom, and this might well be it. We, the Magi of Tosaka, are skilled with transformation of power. We put our magical energy into jewels whenever we have some free time. To put it simply, the jewels are bullets, and we are the gun. The only thing I can say I received from my father is the, the magic crest of the Tosaka family engraved on my left arm. In essence, this is the proof of a successor. It's like a tattoo that condenses all the inherited magic of the Tosaka family. The magic tattoo tattoos in fiction are fucking lit. It's a concept by which was used more. Yeah, but it is it's a, it's a sick thing, but like, there's this book I'm reading, or listening to, where a character could, like, summon monsters from her tattoos, and I'm like, can we get, like, a shonen based on that, please? Like, immediately? <laughs> that actually sounds sick. Why but I guess... That actually sounds sick. Why the only the reason I can think of why that's not a thing is because you don't want tattoos on teenagers, but, you know. In Japan... Yeah. Japan doesn't like tattoos in general, so... Yeah, we're slowly... How do I say it? What's fucked up is that as younger pe people get, as more younger kids are born in Japan, the more the old get, you know, kicked out. 
Yeah. And the start. So tattoos basically... are starting to become more socially accessible globally, so it's not really that much of a problem as it once was. Yeah. Now it's like, oh, this just shit looks cool now. It doesn't mean you're associated with a gang. Most of the time you don't, but yeah. It hasn't started yet, but I guess it doesn't hurt to be careful. With the pendant, which can now be said to be my father's memento, into my pocket. <laughs> if anyone comes up to me to find me, I'll blast them bitches with the swing! <laughs> it literally makes a gun. <laughs> <laughs> just makes a fucking gun. Yeah, be it's like a fucking with the power of friendship, I will sh I will defeat you. Also with this gun that I made out of magic. With the power of New Jersey, it's my Glock. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm joking, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Which is pretty ironic after what happened. God, this cold is killing me. Considering what happened yesterday, I'm surprised you were able to make that joke. Which oh, I'll make jokes about it, but I still don't like real life guns. Yeah, shit going. I'll be late for school. I live in Jersey. It's part of the culture. People think we're these bad boys the, when we're not. What the fuck is that dialogue? What Schlebong Verfahren Dre? What? It's all German. Why is Jap <laughs> Why German. is Japan obsessed with Germany? I don't know why. I can read one of those words, dry, which I think means two. Ein, so I, dry. With my words, with magical energy. Ein, so I, dry. Being a magus, I can't let my guard down when leaving my house. Oh, dry is funny, never mind. Ein, so I, a solo, oh, and ooh. Fucking love, uh. Even I love Feature Diary, such a good show. Yeah. Go watch it. Go <laughs> watch us never... first, we're cool. Even though there's never been a single robber, wandering child, nor stray cat. And I don't think my neighbor has ever come that... to say hello either. Oh, so they're using hand, they're using drawn cells and they're using uh, images as well. Okay. Oh, I don't really care, but not even a stray cat. What's up with that? Look about the mansion I've grown so accustomed to over the years. Fuki is certainly a strange city with many Western-styled houses on this side of town. An area full of Japanese-styled houses just beyond the intersection. You know, it's gonna be really funny. Imagine See? they went. You, they imagine they went to like London or America to get what? these houses, or like the ideas for the houses and all that. Well, yeah, because houses usually weren't built like this in Japan. Or no, wait, no, they had like houses like this in the 1600s. They just had more traditional Japanese style roofs, but this looks like a more American style house. Yeah, so I'm guessing Japan tends to build like more square shaped houses. Like you see like pictures of the suburbs in like anime. Yeah. They tend to do like more, like that's very traditional. Like it looks like almost like a French mansion. Yeah, I guess it's because my many foreign families. Like the came weird to Japanese a window bars. Ago. But even so, I don't see many foreigners around here now. There's a foreigner cemetery in the new city across the river, but those it damn looks... foreigners get the fuck out of my now. I like how the, I like how she says there's a cemetery for, for foreigners. <laughs> but it only so far, this great... character is really boring, and I, I hope she does something at some point. She's oh, monologuing. She... From what I can tell, her character gets really interesting, but it only... Okay. But it takes a while, because like I said, this game's 71 hours, but it only has the grave of the first generation of families. <laughs> hey, Shinigami. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Go to the church and ask You think we can make time. it 70 hours? We're gonna make it... That's right, guys. This is a marathon stream. We're going... To... No. Here's the thing. Can you imagine? Here's we... a... Here's the thing, if it was gonna be a marathon stream, Dude, I would this like three to... days straight. <laughs> die. <laughs> we'd fucking die and we're both busy. Dude, either your computer would explode for overheating or my computer will explode for overheating. I would we would just have to place our bets. I would literally have to place my computer in front of my AC. Maybe the solar yeah. Japan didn't suit them. I'll go to the church and ask the priest some time. I know a lot about boring things. Hey, priest, what were our ancestors like? What? Go to school! Huh? <laughs> Stepping outside, I feel a certain... I was making a stupid joke. ...incongruity. Oh, yeah, that guarantee... very Japanese-ass street. Guaranteed, they must have went, like, to, like, the local neighborhood or some shit. Oh, definitely. But I think this one's drawn, because I can't tell any evidence of, like... I think I remember... It's weird, um... like... 
They're using cell shading, but that other image, like in the living room, wasn't cell shaded. That was just an inserted image. I get the feeling that I think when they were making Fate Stay Night, they were relatively a new company, so they were just trying to barely get their ground, which they made a hell of a bang because this shit grew to become one of the most successful franchises in the world. Legend of Zelda was one of the cheapest like forms of games you can make, but a lot of them become successful. Yeah. In Japan, but over here we gotta, they gotta earn that keep. What's up? It's harder than usual, especially quiet with no sense of the morning noisiness. I hear that wind of. At seven thirty. and it's driving me crazy because I think keep thinking there's an airplane overhead. At seven thirty, the street should be filled with students going to school and people going to work. Perhaps everyone slept in today. It's unusually cold, so I bet everyone's still wrapped up in their warm beds. That's a sign. Winter's coming. Mm. Yo, I hated getting up at like fucking 7 a.m. in the freezing fucking cold bus stop uh, to go to school. I hated that. Hated that shit. Here's the thing. I was lucky. Like, I, I was a drop-off kid, <laughs> not a bus kid. Yeah. There was one time in elementary school. It was Valentine's Day. The weather was so fucking confused, I'd say. It was literally not snow, but slush. And it was like two degrees outside. We had to wait at the bus stop. It was hell on earth if you can describe it. It's like the earth was like, I mean, um, fuck. Uh, it's spring, but we're this still is in before winter. you were born. I was in fifth grade, and it was literally just slushing, not snow, slush. And it was two degrees, windy, and we had to wait at the bus stop. And oh my god, it was, and it was like still dark out, and it was like, oh my, it was terrible, dude. Yeah, I had a like feeling. Like a fifth grade. Yeah, I had a feeling. Hmm, but even so, the streets I haven't even seen one student so far. 7.30, you can usually see people in uniform here and there. But I'm the only person at the school gates, and it's like the clubs are just there starting their morning practice. In other words, the only explanation is... Oh, hey, the... Oh, 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 with a small side, oh, turn to the girl annoying. who addressed me. Ohio. This girl. Good morning. Speaking. It's really cold out today, huh? But, uh, gir this girl, speaking so frankly, is Mitsuzuri Yayako. She's my classmate, 2 a.m. There are a lot of stories about her. Apparently, she's a whore. Ohio, Mitsuzuri san. Like how she fucked the janitor. <laughs> we just made the same joke. <laughs> Really? Yeah, you just went. You just. I'm went, like, she fucked the janitor, and you're like, she's a whore. Yeah, you went more specific. <laughs> good morning, master. I need to be more like. Good cool morning, Mitsuzuri san. Good morning, Ma Mitsuri -san. Question, But do you know oh. what time it is? And sh from like past times and shit, but and they're also like alternate dimensions, and they're also alternate dimensions. Oh, for what? It's the past, but they're alternate pasts where like some characters were women and all that. Like you... all... Yeah, I saw a cool art of Albert Einstein in the Fate Stay Night style. It was dope. All right, I'll go up all I have to do this watch. I have nothing to do in this early, anyways. Yes, just go. Ooh, we're gonna extend this game's time for so long. The impressive archery range is Okay, so we school. usually double the time we have with visual novels. So, it's 90 hours, so... Probably expect to beat these streams to be about 180 hours long. Yeah. Perhaps the director... Give or take a few zeros. range is one of our school's outstanding aspects. Perhaps the director is just interested in archery, but the range is much too fancy for a mere school club. I'm guessing, here's the thing, this is a port from 2011, so I'm guessing the acting was after the Unlimited Blade Works movie. So I'm guessing when they got the voices for that, it's like, cool, we got the voices, let's go. Let's just put them for the game. Oh, that's what Zero Escape did. They uh, added voices on the remastered PC ports and console ports, but they didn't have voice acting. On the original uh, 3DS versions. Yeah. Happy about something? Ayaka drags me by the hand. 
bad habit of hers. She talks to this guy when she's expressing her true feelings. Oz is a tomboy. Okay. As Ayaka said, there's no one in here. I'll sit with hot tea with perfect day's class. Tea tastes really good in this open winter environment. Sate. ガーディンズ。ウィンターでレスシティングアンゲームスクールドウサカ。ウィンターゲットスバッドウィンターゲットスバッドウィンターゲットスバッドウィンターゲットスバッドウィンターゲットスバッドウィンターゲットスバッド
Well, I can't wait to beat Ayako either, so another of us are people you want to deal with. Because we're bitches. <laughs> わかってるって。遠坂より早く遠坂が心底羨ましがるような関係にならないと完全勝利とは言えないからね。ま、私たちにとってはそれが一番厄介な問題なんだが。トン。え、ルミタイムアップ。トライングゲットアップ。ポイ
Hey Siri. Three kilograms to pounds. Three kilograms is six point six one pounds. Six pounds heavier, yeah, that's quite the impressive draw rate. Yeah. Good thing I have a digital assistant. あ、危ない。お茶がこぼれるでしょ、三津寺さん。出場なんだから、道場は大事にな Aiko looks at me with narrowed eyes. This girl has her own sense of beauty, and she always says beautiful people have to do some kind of martial arts. Bullshit. <laughs> She's a bold person. I knew some hot chick that did karate years ago. Bet. She's a bold person experienced in most martial arts. She joined the archery club with no experience and is now the captain as if it was only a natural. As if it were only natural. She's probably one of the top three people in the school you should never disobey, regardless of gender. You're gonna get smacked! Okay, so we're gonna send her to藤村先生、三津鶴さんは飛び抜けてうまいって言ってたけど。あの人がそう言うんなら、それは少しは自信が持てるけど。まあ、いなくなっちまったやつのことなんて考えても仕方ないか。そうね。藤村先生がそう言
I didn't make you laugh though, so I didn't do a too good a job at that. Yeah, but you still figure it out. I do. Smiling guy is Mato Shinji of Class 2C. He's the vice captain of the archery club and owner of the hearts of half the girls in the school. Kind of an idol. Some reason. Good looking, good grades, sociable, and kind of girls. But his ass is always bleeding. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> He's Instead like, of books, yeah. he just shoves arrows up there. <laughs> no, he has hemorrhoids. <laughs> he just has such bad hemorrhoids, only a fucking training arrow will take care of it. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Literally has to open up. <laughs> All that is. No, oh, God, it's not talking about that. Nurse and she's like, it's not Dude. talking about that. It's not talking about that. It's, I get, it's getting in my head already. Oh, that's not a good image. <laughs> I think I broke Shinigami already. <laughs> the shoving books up your ass broke <laughs> broke me. Well, it's not even booked now, it's errors. So I've only heard he's captain of the archer club, what else is he gonna shove up there? So really you're <laughs> Oh, so he totally dyes his hair. That is not a natural hair color. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Yeah, that's why he dyes his hair. That is not a natural hair color. Guaranteed. Yeah, that's why he dyes his hair. Also, I missed that entire conversation. Were they just flirting? No, it's saying that it's just about how he's important to the archery club and he wants to set a good example and all that. Yada, yada, yada. I exist in this plot. Here's the thing. He is a really important character later on. But even goodbye, leave the range. Wait, wait. The day I kill the book joke is the day it stops being funny. Yeah, I guarantee it will. We just need to figure out ways to not it, make it funny. One day. We're not going to be able to stop it. Because, like, the moment it dies is the moment we stop saying it. Listen, if we get popular, I'm making t-shirts. Yeah, 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 we just like we just make a t-shirt with a book and an arrow pointing to a butt emoji. <laughs> And then just have the title of the book be. Have the title of the book be therapeutic things you could do with your ass. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. I am not above toilet humor, chat. I will make it I can. It's so fucked. Dude, remember, you were the one who started this. No, you started it. I just said the you prison pocket. brought up the prison pocket, and I'm like, I can extend to this, and this whole no, movie was born. That is, that was you. I just said prison pocket, not shoving books on my ass. I just said prison yes, pocket. Yes, you gave me the perfect opening. <laughs> I'm like, I can fucking do this. Hey. All right, yeah. from now on, we won't make any fucked up the ass jokes. Which is going to be possible. And every time I do, I have to... Every time I do, every time I do, we have to play at least 10 minutes of Soccer Wars as our punishment. Oh, fuck. Because sometimes you'll make them off cuff, too. Yeah, but that's, like, rare. You do it all the time. Well, if we do, we have to play Soccer games. Wars for a solid 10 minutes. But he's undoubtedly making a big misunderstanding. Imagine we do, if we get popular enough to do 24-hour subathons, and we just, like, every time we say it, we gotta just boot up Soccer Wars. <laughs> He's got a bird of fucking soccer rewards. Like, Stop what you're doing! Bird of soccer rewards. <laughs> yeah. Well, and then I'll well, just. Well, we respond. now owe the audience at least 10 to 20 minutes of soccer rewards. Yeah. Because ah, I can't help making fun of generic Captain Generic over here. Yeah. Oh! You know what I noticed? He's wearing a very old fashioned like, high school guy uniform. See how it looks like a sailor suit? Yeah. Japan retired those in exchange for blazers. Yeah. To look more like European schools. Uh, I learned this from Gaijin Goomba. Shout out to that guy. 
he has like awesome he's like a cultural expert and stuff oh. that's like interesting videos as if hap as if happy about something shinji moved closer to me his small sense carries a sense of superiority i want to sock him in the face for it <laughs> Oh, why did you punch me? <laughs> oh, I see now. Yeah, that's the conversation. i the font is different, so they're probably doing. They probably left that in as a remnant. Hmm? Well, I do yeah, a really mixed goes, dialogue. Yeah. It's a mix between the remaster and this version, the original version. Oh, well, to do a translation, you take the text file, and, like the code that's the text, and you have to redo it and everything, and it's a very time consuming process. No you essentially have to type out a complete new script. Yeah, not only that, it's for a, it's for a visual novel that's 71 hours long. So... Especially translating from Japanese to English, you have to do localization because Japanese and English do not play nice together when yeah. it comes to storytelling. Yeah, and some some things won't even make sense. So you gotta like modify it for the English language. That's how it works. Because I remember there's a word in Japanese that like can either mean like, one thing or it means toilet, which is in a certain context. <laughs> Speaking of toilet. There was this one Walking Dead clip where like a, a blooper of like an interview where um, the cast, I think, uh, Rick and Daryl's actors went to Japan and he wanted to say thank you for letting my country but I think it was Rick's actor that asked it. He's like, hey, do you know any Japanese? And Norman Reedus, because uh, he wants to say, I want to thank you for allowing me in your country. But then Norman Reedus uh, leans in and says something like, Toire wa doru. Dokudeska, and he said, and everyone's like looked at him and is like, um, and he said that to an live news, live in front of thousands of people, Oops. and and the lady was like, uh, are you sure you know what you're saying? I was like, oh, well, what, what am I saying? He says like, do you know what you, what am I saying? He's like, are you saying where is the toilet? <laughs> oh. There was one lady, or one celebrity, I think it was Nicki Minaj, who was one of those female rapper types, that went to get a Japanese tattoo, and ended up saying, like, something really vulgar. I'm like, how the- when she didn't mean it to do so, I'm like, how do you even manage that? Did you not do your research? I think- I don't think she did. As if I angered him, he reaches out for me violently. Whenever you get a tattoo in another language, you do your research. Like, I have the Japanese so I have the Chinese kanji for love on my right arm. But no one's gonna know what it means because Japan doesn't study kanji anymore. I know. It's weird. Chat, I have two tattoos on my left arm. One is in script, one is in kanji. And within, a, give it like five, ten years, no one's gonna know what they mean except for our generation because they're not teaching kanji in Japan or script here in the US or UK. And it's like, fuck! It, it's, I'm gonna have like the equivalent of fucking ancient runes on my arm. That my kids are gonna be like, See, Daddy! You don't need to know, son. It's an artifact of ancient ruin. It says infinite knowledge that you'll never know. Uh, it just says you're always important to somebody. Go play! <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna be like, I'm gonna study that language when I'm older. You're gonna say it's oh, not worth bitch, it. I wanna clip that now. Dude, not... I think that was the best joke I told all night. Yeah, that was the best joke you told all night. It's not going to be worth it anymore, though. <laughs> These tattoos are ancient ruins. Ruins passed down by Viking loyal lords. Now nah, they just say lovey dubby stuff about family and stuff. Go play, child. <laughs> Jeez, he really is all show. He was just a little Yo, bit if I have kids, I will be the best the dad. Out. Here's the thing. Uh, from the many stories you told me, you're just late to the party. I'm very late to the party with having children. Are you kidding me? My siblings already have kids. Yeah. <laughs> He's a little bit more mature. He wouldn't be so much trouble to the people around him. Yeah. Yeah. I still sound like I'm dying in chat. Oh, you sound like you're fucking dying all the time, dude. From the back of the school like I... where the archery range is. Yeah, well, this time I got building. the flu from my niece, so that's why I sound like I'm dying. Ugh. Past seven, but I can't see anyone in the hallway. At least it's not my uncle did this time. That dude's an asshole. I caught him four times. 
ちゃんと挨拶してくれて、先生は嬉しいよ。Why does this teacher look like a student without a uniform? Oh, yeah. She looks way too young, unless she's like 20, maybe, in her 20s. It's probably the cliche. It's like, it's probably the cliche, the teacher's 40 years old, but they aged gracefully. Or she's trying to like, look like younger or whatever. Yeah, either one, but either way, she, I get the feeling it's the aged gracefully argument. Strange woman was I mean, not a bad looking MILF though. Yeah. Hard to believe, but this person I'm surprisingly from this, Chilferness, is a teacher at this school. Is there a greater... Ooh, I just spotted a is... I just spotted a mistranslation. Yep, I I noticed it too. Is there a way to greet you properly? Or no, she said amu or amo. She said it's improperly. It's I think they meant to say is there a way to greet you properly. No, there's another one. Did you hear how she said amu? Yeah, that's why. Oh. You can say uh there, but that literally translates to um. That just me nitpicking <laughs> that's just you nitpicking the only mistranslation i see is improperly that's the one that's mistrans that's mistranslated i'm just being a cinnamon dick i'm just being a cinnamon dick i'm just being a cinnamon dick the teacher isn't giving me a lap dance in this scene plus two cents shut the fuck up I miss old cinema sins when they just used to I know, ironically make laugh dance jokes. Here's the coolest, it's not giving me a laugh dance in this scene. No, cinema sins is just very nitpicky. Yeah, it's not funny. They used to just not care and be like, Mila Kunis is not giving me a laugh dance in this scene. <laughs> like, that's so stupid, I love it. Yeah, but now they're so fucking nitpicky. Uh, I mean, yeah, I get the whole idea of cinema sins is just like the nitpick things that don't matter in movies, but like. You gotta they be funny it. with it, you still gotta tell jokes. They overdid it, basically. Kojimura Sensei moves goodbye and leaves. Fortunately, like, she is- I'm writing one for an old sitcom that used to air, like a Nick at Night for us, told by Ginger. And one of my jokes is, and I quote, Kojimura Sensei teaches English. She has a kind- Yeah, I'm writing one that's ripping on an old show. She has a black belt in Kendo, and I hear she was respected as the Tiger of Fuyuki in her student days. Although that's a bit strange, wouldn't a tiger normally be feared, not respected? Apparently, in a good Want to hear one of my cinema sins jokes? Oh, let's hear it. Let's go for it. Uh, so I'm doing this for the show as told by Ginger, which was a show I never really watched when I was younger because it always aired too late. And uh, I'm like, I said this. I'm like, so are the writers implying that all teenage boys are horny, or was that just an innocent line from Macy? Either way, either way, here's one hate for the sexism. After all, some of us were busy watching cartoons and anime in high school and- Oh, that was just me, wasn't it? <laughs> like, I'm also making fun of myself. <laughs> that was just me, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, that was Listen, Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu -Oh! 5D is in Total Drama were fucking lit back then. I don't yes. want to hear that they were for seven-year-olds, damn it. Yeah, that was you in your high school. You go to the corner like the boomer you are. Apparently, like, I will. <laughs> Listen, it's not my fault Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds was at the top of its fucking game back then. It was yeah, amazing. now Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal became a thing, and for some reason got multiple seasons. <laughs> Sorry, uh, you said Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal, that, in that triggers my vomit reflex? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I don't know why I liked it as a kid. I went back to it out of nostalgia, and I realized, why the fuck did I like this? For some reason, I now, if you were to say car games on motorcycles, that would trigger my boner reflex. <laughs> As do really good shotguns and games <laughs> yeah. trigger mine. Okay, Shinigami literally asked me the question earlier. Have you played a game that's so good you literally get the erection? I'm like, what? <laughs> we need to talk about. We need to talk about sexuality. <laughs> <laughs> he said this thing off camera earlier. I shit you not. I'm like, it caught me so off guard. I'm like, wait, what? Do you mean like yeah. an anti game? I was what just like, I was just like chilling. Me and him were like doing our own thing. He was just like talking about something. I just blurted out for no reason. <laughs> like, what was I? What, what were we both doing? Was it quiet or were we just like chilling? What happened? I was on Planet Coaster and you were like getting the stream ready <laughs> you literally just blurted this shit out to me i'm like what <laughs> 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 ah yes 
rolling roller coasters and planet coaster gets me the hardest of art on it. Oh, the metal machines of death! <laughs> Damn it, dude. Oh, God! That's why we never finished these. We just start laughing. Yeah, no shit, Mikey, so keep my cool. <laughs> See if you students doing club activities outside. And Shinigami has broke me. If anyone in the school building would still. That's definitely getting clipped by somebody. Oh, that's getting fucking clipped. Garen fucking T. I bump into someone who greets me rudely. <laughs> you don't, I will. <laughs> now, where are we in this story? Just high schoolers talking? <laughs> Yeah, so far. Uh, well, about an hour ago, the first fucked up, so I think your internet cut for a second. Hour and 11 minutes. We have one viewer, but that one viewer is probably... We had two other ones, but then the mod cut. Oh, shit. It just felt like it. That one viewer is probably questioning our sexual preferences right now. <laughs> oh, Garen fucking T. <laughs> I'm you... like, I can't... What can I say? I'm clip really that. in the giant metal machines. Clip that, dude. Nah. Clip it. Clip I'm it. into women. Clip it, dude. <laughs> I will. Dude, I'm probably peeking the shit out of my mic tonight. Speaking of, uh, apparently Transformers hired a Dojin artist to, to model a kit. <laughs> Super present make an unhappy face. Wait, to do a model kit? Yeah, they got a Dojin artist without looking into their background. They're like, oh, you do anime. Do a Transformers Wait. model kit, please. I didn't know they still. I didn't know they did model kits. I guess in Japan, maybe. Well, that's really. I know they have the toys here that do the transform. You, you mean Transformers or Gundam? Transformers. And let me just I was say this: say, Gundam's the one that does model kits. Did you mean like their action figures? No, they. I think it was a model kit, and it was fucking hilarious because they didn't look into the guy, and I'm like, oh, this guy does. Oh, this the art here is great. Who did it? And I look it up. All I just see is a horn. <laughs> Here's the thing. Dojin has two meanings. Either A, fan fiction manga offers, or it's in. Or no, there's Dojin, which is a uh, fan fiction manga offers. Then there's Doshin G, which is porn. <laughs> yeah. Lots and lots of porn. Yeah. Just in the present. Did I ever tell the story? Of... No, I'm not gonna tell that on enemies. Twitch. Yeah, I don't think you're allowed to. So just. Switch. I'm on Twitch. No, of really the time I saw like a hentai goof in anime Perhaps came in. Perhaps it's just because I said, skip the temples, they're boring. And I'm meeting to plan for a field trip. <laughs> okay. You know what your PC's been doing recently? What? To me, when I watch your uh, Discord stream, I don't know if it's because you have HDR on or whatever. But it keeps like, uh, like during back, it keeps like flickering. Uh, let me ask you a question, Tosuka. Oh, wait, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, Let's go straight home, Ryodo-kun. Okay, this guy looks like he has all the hentai at home. Oh god, you, do, you don't know how right you are. He just has a closet full of weird butt stuff. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Hey, do you also... Do you also shove books up your ass? Okay, that's 30 minutes of, uh... Soccer Wars. Damn yeah, it. that's your fault. It is my fault. You need to buy yourself a, buy yourself a copy. And every time we do a joke about it, we add it to it in like our own version of our time. We just gotta keep touch with it. Oh, you're gonna make me play it. Yeah, we both. You buy yourself a copy, and then every we add up our streams. We're like, I play like ten Listen. minutes. You play ten Listen. minutes. I would rather put my dick in a pencil sharpener than play soccer or worse. Okay? The new, the new one. Yeah. The old ones are. I'll play the retro one all damn day long, but uh. 情報収集は一人でやりなさいよ。私みたいな部外者に頼らないで。do we know what we're gonna do for April Fool's Day? I was thinking that we do a uh, that we do one of these visual novels, but completely in Japanese. <laughs> that would be fucking hilarious and brutal. It would be. But we could totally do it if I order the... Or I could always order the Japanese version of Boulder's Gate. <laughs> Here's the thing, you just change the language and text and you're good. Here's the problem though, it's like 50... Yeah, it's $50 on the website, but how much is shipping a game from Japan? 
I've got something shipped from England before. Here's the thing. Bad. It's just, it'll probably patch in the languages, so you don't gotta worry. So, you know just really cool packages? England. Well, their fucking packages are awesome. I've got a, uh, final decision book shipped for them in the US anymore. It's a really shitty book. It literally has a fucking paragraph of the characters arguing about a divorce that has nothing to do with the plot. But, um... Yeah, but uh, it came in a really cool royal air mailer. Hold on, I'll be right back. I'm getting a phone call. Well, I might as well just take this opportunity to pee. Oh, I'm not the one on controls. Shinigami, you forgot to put the thing up. Hello chat, welcome to Japan Lover Radio. Today's song. Song. I'm back. Hello? <clears throat> Got... Um... Huh. Oh, he's on controls. Damn it, I can't I can't troll him today. No. Fifty degrees out? Do 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 Hold on, I gotta put on the B-Rap back screen. Which is it about, again? I or O? What? Uh, hit O. Is that good? Uh, I don't see it. Hit I? Why is it not working? Hold on. Uh, I'll tab out to Streamlabs. Yeah, I just did. Hold on. Now try it. No. Well, here's the thing. It's a visual uh, novel. It doesn't, the... doesn't really matter. It's a visual novel. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. All right. Uh, what on. are you trying to do? Uh, uh, I need to get some stuff down real quick. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay. I trust you. Do 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 do
Now I'm just checking my GPU while he does his thing. Say it's being used like a fuckload. Shouldn't be. Oh, it's this. Good, okay. Still waiting on Shinigami. Where was Death Note witnessing? Took down some stuff in my mod because she got back from Florida. Alright, um, I'll just check my GPU counts while you were doing that because I can't troll you because you're the one in control. You can't troll me. <laughs> I can't. I, I was gonna put a blue ray on this dude's head, but apparently, but since you have the controls, I can't do that. Aha! I am troll proof. We're officially troll proof. Yeah. It's perfect. なんと。うちの会計を1週間休ませた精神的ダメージがとぞんの行為なのか。とんでもない倫理観をお持ちのようだな、相変わらず。ああ、they like she was messing with one of the members, so I don't think she'll. So he's he's sort of just scolding her. Anata mone. Luka no tazna gura chan to nigitte na sai. Bunka ke ba kari hiki suru no wa fair ja nai wa. Wakatte iru. Da kara koso ore no te de fusei o tadashita katta no da ga. Ise. And that is our MC. Wait, the dude that was just... Hold on. Oh, the dude on the left. Yeah, that the one on the left is our main character. Hold on, one more. I have to do one more thing. Uh, I'm back. Just have to take down my sister because she was sleeping. I got you. All right. That is Shiro Emiya, and then a guy who appears who I didn't expect to find. Sorry. Taron daro wa kochi naro ni Emiya ni makase kiri ni shite shimatta. Iruse. Sonna koto kini suru na. Onde 
次はどこだよあんまり時間ないぞあ,あ次は視聴覚室だ前から調子が悪かったそうだが、oh, yeah. この度ついに天寿を全うされた、yeah. 天寿全うしてたら直せないだろう買い直した方が早いぞそうなんだが一応見てくれると助かる<笑>俺から見れば臨終だが<笑>お前から見れば仮病かもしれんそうかなら試そう President leaves with a male student. My thoughts were stopped at this sudden event. A guy with wrenches and spanners in hand turns back as if remembering something. Asa Haya in Dana, Tosaka. And with that, he leaves. Was that supposed to be a greeting? It looks like a handyman from some company. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I actually thought he was like working part time for a handyman. <laughs> Also, a special guest appearance for my baby sister who woke up from her nap. So, oh my. <laughs> uh, hey, baby sis. How you doing? You okay? You're just sleeping. Emiya? That would be Emiya Shiro from Class 2C. So, they were in the kettle, so. How can I put it? I just think it's hard to tell whether a guy who looks at home while holding a wrench is useful or scary. Oh, so he is a handyman. He looks like one. It's 7.30 in the morning and there's no one in class 2A. Sit at my desk and work on a few math problems. There's 30 minutes until homeroom. I guess I'll just be bored until my classmates arrive. Are those those terrible deaths that like the chairs are attacked? Oh god, I had those too and I, I, hated, sure I those. hated those. Fourth period ends and the noisy lunch break begins. Our school has a cafeteria, but half the students stay in the classroom. Actually, most of the ones who stay are girls. The cafeteria food is rather roughly made, so girls seem to dislike it and then as a result. Every girl has a weak stomach. You got that. You know, there's all these like things and like TV shows and like old media that says cafeteria food was bad, but it never really was to my memory. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't the best either. We just look forward to certain. Was it cheaply ones. made? Yes. But was it cheaply? But was it good for what it was? Yes. So, like I don't get to like this. Thank you, Saigusa-san. But these school uniforms are driving me a little crazy because they're using the uh, newer style for the girls and the older style for the boys. I'm guessing they redrew some of the character portraits. Albeit, this was made in the time period where they would have still been using them for both genders. Yeah. So this looks downcast. Cause ja apologize. Japanese uniforms, for those who don't know, were modeled after uh, military clothing from World War II, like very 50s ish. Ah. Is one of the calmest in class for the calm students and the kind person who cares about me for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, human God, apathy? Ugh. Human apathy? Human apathy? Ugh. Disgusting. I'm a main thunder. character. I don't need any shit. I spit down like Really? Small letter from the bottom of my heart. Why would they ban it? Because uh, apparently the main character is a bro. Wait, I'm like, that's what made him funny for the time. Wait, why wait what what was he? No, the main character, which is the girl Judy B. Jones in the book, was a brat, so they they tend to ban the books a lot, which is like really Ah, that's stupid. Now, I'm 100% against banning books. It's stupid. But you can warn them if it's, like, for mature. Like, you know, are you sure you want to read Obviously, books? content ratings are, content warnings are a thing, but, like, don't ban books because they differ from your political ideology. Christ. Yeah, yeah it's just stupid. I love books that are banned because, like, they have magic in them and the school's religious. I'm like, you fucking kidding me. 
Here's the thing. They're probably so your little bad. sister's not still asleep on your lap. I'm swearing. No. Here's the thing. She can't hear you because I have my headphones on. Oh, I'm like trying to be like not swearing because like, oh, she's give, on your lap. I'm like, I don't, I don't want her give, hearing me I swearing. Give, I don't give a shit. Don't worry. She's the shit on your lap. It's like this Yukika san is the most beautiful person, but her smile warms the heart of everyone around her. I mean, look at that. Very moist. She's also very generic. Not gonna lie, most of these. I think the anime made them look better than they actually looked in the game. I always dig the cel shaded visual novel look, though. I don't know why. Because it's just like nostalgic for you? Eh, so like I said, I feel like the anime made him look a lot better than the actual It did it again. It like ended the stream for a second and then it restarted the stream. Is it doing that? I'm like, here's the you go off the screen somehow? No, here's the thing. Because we're back at zero viewers and a one minute mark. That's odd as hell. Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. Wait a minute, look, look at the errors. Yeah, it says you... It might just be the Twitch app. It might just be Twitch being Twitch. Yeah, it, yeah I'm getting, I'm looking at the log on Streamlabs. It said it got disconnected and is reconnecting. Uh, oh, wait, don't you... Don't you have, like, not the best internet out there? Yeah, and it's gonna be worse because my mom's watching Netflix next door. Ooh, yeah. We'll just have to deal with it. Yeah. We'll just compile all the streams. Yeah. I have get, I just recently got Gigabit, and he's stuck with uh, whatever internet he's got out there. Hot spot. Fun fact with Gigabit, too, is they were saying our house is too old for Comcast. I'm like, you fucking assholes. No, it's not. So I literally just switched to Verizon, because I was, like, super pissed, because I was, like, overpaying for the service I was getting. I think it's just on expression reels are surprised. Surprise. Her presence really relaxes me. But I can't just have, I can't just have fun talking. Keep talking to people like this. I'm bound to reveal my true self. And this is why we Humble. usually stream on your end because we barely lag. Speaking of which, how does the Twitch look? Is it like really laggy or does it look like blurry? It looks fine. Oh, look at the cafeteria. Enjoy your lunch. Well, because you next time is we could just. Well, we could do next time is you can just send me the game folder because it should have the save in it. I just load it on my end. Or I can. Yeah, so that we don't have to worry about constantly, you know. So I get yeah. better internet, or unless the weather gets up, because you are having a rainy season over here. Oh, yeah. My brother switched that cell phone internet. I'm like, are you crazy? You had a good service before. Because you know what's weird with it? It's good for a while, and then it starts like, and then it starts like getting congested. So I've had to use that for like a few months last year. When I was switching providers, I had to use it for a few months, like a good five months. Uh, and, like, it was good for, like, the first month, and then, like, the last four months, it just started getting congested. Oh, yeah, so Gusha-san is the manager of the track team. Makidera, uh, uh, Makidera and Himuro-san are the track team's hopefuls. Makidera is a friend, myself. I'm Dude, she does not look like she has long enough legs to run track. But I don't know Himuro-san that well. Uh Wait, you're saying she's ahead of the track team, the girl in the middle? Oh, shit. 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 That's very, uh, that's a good feature. Yeah, and then if we, oh, you don't even need to press it. You just need to, like, use the scroll wheel. <laughs> the girl on the right looks like she's from Don't no Bully Me, looks like the character, exactly like the main character from Don't no Bully Me, Nagataro. Here's the thing, the main character from there has fluffy hair. She reminds me of... And a very generic of... design. She reminds me of the girl from... The the devil was a part timer. I didn't watch season two of that. I like recently came out. McDonald's in Japan did a promotion. I'm like, why can't you do a promotion over here? I would love that. <laughs> Here's the thing, they did do a promotion. It's just everywhere. Where like they were doing like 
how like a uh, hello welcome all that like a, and one of the clips was a scene of the devil is a part timer, and I'm like damn. Yeah, I, that show was really funny. Season one, they got a massive hiatus. Oh yeah, like a ten year hiatus. I never thought I'd meet someone who also found that show funny. Here's the thing, I watched like, it's it Satan as a working kid. at McDonald's. What more do you want? Here's the thing. Funny as hell. I like how his whole thing in the show was just, I'm gonna take over the demon world through McDonald's. <laughs> take over the human also, world. Also, I love McDonald's. how the, uh, I love how the voice actors for say, voice the uh, like good girl, the good woman in that. Pretty sure it was yeah. her, right? I don't know. Uh... It was like that. I always forget her name. She has like that really commanding like female voice. She gets put in a lot of stuff. I don't know. Uh, Makadera's speech without thinking is the girl surrounds Seiguzu san's desk. Contrast to her nasty mouth, she's a Japanese beauty who looks wonderful in a kimono. Makinoshi. Kimi no kageguchi wa tousakajou ni kikoete iru. Yeah, the anime made the art look way better. They actually don't look generic in the anime. Uh, I can imagine that. Not just Amakidaro's loudness, he murders the cool study type. You know, because Ufo Table actually knows how to anime because they're, like you said, they're tech wizards in terms of animation. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they are. Still. It still kind of bugs me that the fact that a visual novel manages to be 70 hours. Like, how? I mean, Stein's Gate's just as long. Yeah, but Stein's Gate is, like, really interesting. Like, it has, like, a You slogan. say how? And I put that many hours in the Zanky Zero 2. Or Zero Escape 2. Let's hope Zanky Zero never gets a sequel. Yeah, but Zanky Zero and Stein's Gate start way... Off. Yeah, but Zanky Zero and Stein's Gate start way faster. This is, like, I meant know, Zero was dead. Yeah, Zero Escape. It starts way faster. This is just like, oh, we're just getting everything set up. Like John saw, stop naming your games with Z's. <laughs> Driving yeah. me crazy. She waves her chopstick around, pumping out her cheeks. Knowledge that this girl's hobby is collecting wind chimes. This shows that the world is far too complex. Which, first off, why would you collect wind chimes? Dude, the girl on the left looks like she's about to fucking jump someone, or like she's having the worst kidney stones in her life. Bro, she she looks like she wants to smack someone in the face. <laughs> oh my god, that expression. She looks like she's ready to throw down. Like she's like the moment someone like acts up in the class, she's a but like gonna get a ready <laughs> she's to suplex. Pounce someone. on him like a fucking tiger. Yeah, like she's ready to pounce and just absolutely suplex that guy into the wall. <laughs> Anyway, it's yeah, not good for Seguza San to keep watching this. Also, is it also it looks like she's gonna Izuna drop whoever is gonna is like off the second floor. Like they're like a floor above. Like a she drop kicks the guides out of the window and proceeds to Izuna drop them. <laughs> it's like fucking uh, she's just fucking Hulk mode. <laughs> <laughs> like she's like like she's been holding in her anger for like weeks now and she wants to take it out sees yeah. someone acting up even slightly drop kicks out the window and then he zoomed to drop she just becomes a yonder I have the story Shut <laughs> dang you good senpai he becomes literally yes you've like, murdered all of my enemies don't jinx us now have you ever heard of Eden of the East? It's not a visual novel, but it's a very melancholic anime and probably one of the most melancholic animes you'll ever see in your life. But yeah, like, I get the feeling, yeah, because Fruit of Gasaya gets dark and it also has some scenes I don't want to talk about. Yeah, so does Gans, but like... No, not edgy as in like dark and brutal. I mean the other kind. 
That's exactly what I was referring to. Oh, God. I told you, Chapter 1 has that scene in it, which I'm surprised it has in it. Oh, God. Makadera hides behind And the my Barnes & Noble put it next to the kids' section without rapping. Oh, Genius, guys. Why? Gants? Yeah, they moved the manga section next to the kids' section, and I don't understand why they did it. And it's like, you have titles like Berserk in there, which have that. You have titles like Gans in there, which have that. Berserk and literally freaking... starts off with that. Literally the first page. No, it starts off with this... Oh, I'm thinking of the part of Gans where like he's literally born from the dead corpse of his mother hanging from a tree. Yeah, that's something we should put near the kids section. That just sounds hard. Corpse burps, ready to eat for it. Oh, it's actually a phenomenon called corpse burps. I'm pretty damn sure we're not supposed to be talking about it on Twitch. Here's the thing, being born from your mother's corpse sounds like something that would be made in Dark Souls. That sounds hardcore. Well, it's actually a thing that happens. It happened a lot in the medieval period. It sounds, I'm trying to dress this in an thing. educational manner so that Twitch won't get mad. That stuff, uh, stuff sounds metal as hell, and I want and that is I'm gonna use that. <laughs> it would happen very commonly with hanging as well. It actually happened very commonly with hanging because uh, I don't even want to talk about it because it'll make me want to puke. But uh, essentially, uh, when Maybe you get hanged, was, your was organs tend to uh, sag out your. Never mind. Yeah, medieval torture was whack. Uh -oh. Now that we've gotten banned from Twitch 100%, let's continue. <laughs> yeah, oh, we guarantee we got banned. <laughs> is she really a girl? Are all sweets the same to her? Perhaps she just has a very convenient taste buds, because I, I can't tell a 500 yen crepe from an 80 yen taiyaki, but... Wait, I fucking love say... like peanut butter and jelly crepes. They are the shit. <laughs> oh, she's doing what I'm doing. Um, I would do that sometimes. Is she having a panic attack? No, she's... Uh, how do I say it? I did. I, this happened to me before, and I got pissed at people for it. Cause uh, here's the thing: I'm cheap, so <laughs> basically, uh, she's getting mad at her because she bought something more expensive than the other. She's a cheapskate, basically. Oh. <sighs> I can get, luckily I can trans, one thing I can translate from Japanese to English is yen, uh, cause it used to be like on the dollar, now it's like 80 cents to the, it's weird, but I'm just gonna go with 2004 or 2007 or 2010 prices for this. So the crepe was $5, 500 yen. Wait, no, I think I'm wrong. Alright, by lunch I have for the empty rooftop. It's going to be in location, as no students will come near it in the winter time. First off... No, I'm right. 500 yen is $5. First off, this does not look like winter time. This is more like fall. Hey it's Siri. Cool eat, but that's a small price 500 yen the dollars? Don't worry about other people. The answer is $3.35. Yeah, Jeez, what happened to the yen? Oh yeah, uh, here's the thing. The Japanese yen is losing worth, basically. It used to be one to one, but now it's not. Like it used to be, you just moved the decimal over. Yeah, now the now the yen is becoming less worthless. Now it's becoming worthless basically as they make more and more. I start out my tomato sandwich and hot lemon drink. Hot lemon. Uh... First, okay, hot lemon drink. First off, why? Oh no, I can answer this. It actually helps a, um, it, you know the, how I'm, like, very, like, hoarse right now because of, like, my, my, like, fiber going bad and, like, the fact that I'm sick. Oh, that it's actually like, apparently oh, helps that. it's the dry season, basically, where it's, like, really cold and your throat gets really Wait, dry. What, what's today's date? Um, I, Ooh, I was supposed to, were you supposed to what? Blood work today. Oops. Uh, I was supposed to go for blood work to see if I see if oh, I find was dying or not, or working, I should say. Remember, I've been getting like a hoarse voice out of nowhere.
I don't want to set the world on fire. I just want to love the flame in your heart. Oh, my phone. You heard none of that. October 9th. You're going to watch the VOD at this part and be like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I still have my headphones on. I heard all that. Symbolize. Oh, Peace fuck. You heard me singing Fallout 3. Peace and quiet. <laughs> yep. <sighs> I hope that song's public domain by now, or I just got us a copyright strike. I think he did get us a copyright strike. <sighs> Shit! I'm something that's probably public domain. Hang yeah, because here's the thing. Um, the music industry is a lot more strict on Twitch now. Before they weren't. Now they are. Here's my sandwich on my hot lemon drink. I'm a bit tired. It's difficult to balance being a good student while trying not to be too social. It's my vanity. No. Wait, it came out in the 80s? No. <laughs> So it was recorded in 39, but didn't come out on, like, actual music until 89. Ah. Uh, that makes sense, kind of. Why did you go to my controller? It's not controlling the game. It's my, it's my vanity, not my conviction that I want to be number one, both academically and physically. I want to be a student, I want to be the best. It's undiggable for me to dishonor the Tosaka name. Ah, she's one of those. Uh, we're good. But yeah, apparently, yep, she's one yeah. of those. Here's the thing, I had a friend like that. And let me just say this. I it will got, not disgrace my honor. Yeah, it got really, really annoying. And here's the thing, I would have went down that path as well. If not for me learning to, you know, humble myself. And realize that I can't be number one in everything. Humble? Yeah. I was very prideful. To, oh, dude, I was prideful as Fuck in my later year, in my, essential was would have been my college years. Yeah, essentially. Uh, how do I my say vocational it? years, I'll call them. Yo! <laughs> All right, for vanity. Learning to humble yourself is the most important thing you can do as an adult. Because if you don't, you're gonna come up with this pompous asshole to everyone. Yeah, look at Cartman from South Park. <laughs> so that's why every student falls in all aspects. But at the same time, Dude, I also have a dangerous humble. job as a magus, so I shouldn't associate with normal people. What? A lot of cadaver, shit, he's dead. <laughs> Normally, any magus <laughs> is a dangerous magus. Is someone adult. coming up from the fucking stairs and she actually casts a lot of cadaver on them? <laughs> That'd be so funny. Imagine this Voldemort <laughs> just shows up from the stairs, <laughs> casts it on her. <laughs> Normally, any magus is a Hello, dangerous child. discovered has no choice but to eliminate the witness. Child. Have you seen Mr. Potter? <laughs> Shut it up. Normally, the <laughs> magus whose identity is discovered I cannot do a good has Voldemort. no choice but to... yeah, That was terrible, dude. Voldemort. Dude, I can't do a good Voldemort normally. It would be sick. Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was absolutely horrendous. Was it? It was. It was horrendous, dude. I don't want to do that. I know. So, inevitably, my social life has become a shallow one. Yes, because the fact that you see friends as... A, as how do I say it? Like I said, she's the sundere of the story, so that means she's bitchy. She's the one that sees friends as obstacles. Yep. Well, you hang out with Makadera on the weekends, and I try to refuse invitations for Never people is like is a Dumbledore. Even though I'm the best honor student in the school, I live trying not to become too important to anyone. Ah, uh, so essentially she sees herself as baggage. So I saw the meme where uh, the actor who played Dumbledore died, and the dude's like, and Snape's like, come on, please, one more time. And then they're like, he's like, fine. Snape, Snape, Severus Snape, Dumbledore. I fucking love that stupid meme. Yeah. So sometimes when I'm tired like this, it makes me think that this life is rather boring. Oh, it's not already. Now that I know I can sing on Twitch without getting the copyright strike. I finish my hot lemon drink and stand up. I should stop drowning in sentimentality I honestly, and go back to the usual philosophic grin once I go down the Dude, stairs. I heard that as I finish my hotline Miami. That is a different game entirely that I think is made on Twitch. Oh god, the teacher. I got this. Oh god. Homeroom is at the end. Those of you on day duty, finish the daily report and check the locks. 
Those of you who have club activities are gonna go quickly. Do I make myself clear? I love that voice, even though I can't do it right because I'm sick. To his homeroom teacher, exits after repeating his usual line. You can very clearly tell from his character portrait that he hates his job. 100%. You know, some stern teachers love their job. Yeah. There were some stern teachers I actually really got on well with. Uh, one was, I'm not gonna say her name, but one was our like, high school English teacher. She was awesome. Yeah, I had like two teachers that were like that. I had two teachers that were like that and two teachers that took their job seriously. One, what's funny is that one was my math and one was my history teacher. And let me just say this. There was one sort of teacher that I really didn't like in middle school, but I did, I do know more geography than literally most people older than I am and most people my age. Here's the thing, like I had, um, how do I say it? I had a teacher and he scared the shit out of me. And basically, every I'm time I go- You scared the shit out of you. Basically, um, one time, a friend of mine uh, was in his class one time, and my teacher was like doing like messing around with his with his coworkers. Because here's the thing: here's how sadistic this man was. What he would do is that he would have like a list on the on the board of like the best classes of his, that are best of his classes that are like the top four. And the only and the thing is, there's only really four classes he teaches. Some teachers are evil. And here's the thing. He made a test where whoever got the lowest on average would be ranked accordingly. We got the last place, and he's like, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna and he, and the last place had to be how do I say it. We had to work the hardest, <laughs> and you could tell he did. Yeah, some teachers are assholes. Now, here's the thing. Some here's of the, the thing. I had though. He was the strict one, but at the same time he cared because of the fact that it actually improved our grades. And what ended up happening so is that. What and what ended up happening oh, is that one day he gets like and he gets like a, as a rivalry with my with the next door class and he's like, okay, I want to I want to I want to get the I want to I don't want you guys to win I just want you to beat that guy. <laughs> Those teachers were fun. We had a uh, and basically in my, I guess you can say and what ended up happening is that not only did my class beat him. But we became number one out of all four of his classes, and the moment he we, he found out, it's like, the moment you guys leave and we go tomorrow, I'm gonna have a serious talk with the class that used to be first. <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting way to do it. So the teacher I learned geography from had a the teacher I learned geography from was also legit bipolar, like diagnosed and everything. And there would be some days where I actually felt unsafe in her class because she'd just go off at the delinquents, and it was amazing. Oof, but yeah, that was... And very... Of... Nowadays, it's amazing. Back then, as an 11-year-old, you're like, am I going to die? Yeah, that was my teacher because... Hey, holy shit. He was also sadistic as well because I had him for 7th and 8th grade. And the, one, the story I just told you was from my 8th grade time. 7th grade is even worse. You want to know what he did? Basically, he would give us a test like before. And oh, that was actually the same time period. I just told you seventh grade. And what would he? What he did was that whoever got the best or above like a certain score, along with turning in all their work. It was at first I thought he was picking favorites, but no. A ter what he did was that if you got a certain score, you literally had to. You literally had the. The, the luxury of not doing a single thing in class. No homework, no tests, no nothing. Interesting. And, and the thing is, we have to copy notes on a notebook. So if you wanted to copy notes for the next... And the thing is, if you wanted to keep that spot, you have to pass every test after that. If you lose One even One problem once, with those systems, though, is they can turn kids against each other and promote bullying. Here's Especially the thing. that classroom system you mentioned. Here's the thing. List. What's well, ironic you say that it actually prevented bullying because of the fact that did it he it didn't he, here's the thing he didn't pick favorites those kids that were not allowed to do nothing had to pass the tests and the thing is they were also exempt from writing down notes and most of the time they never did notes and when the next test came you want to know what happened they got bumped into our side and they have to like do the work interesting so it's less you picked favorites and more like you want to keep that luxury than do your hardest basically. So it sort of basically was a lesson on how to have our priorities straight basically. Where like 
I was gonna say that sounds like an interesting lesson. Where it's like, That's like something from an anime, you know? Where yeah, where like he wanted to teach us that don't like under like don't lose your guard or don't like lower your guard just because you're not doing anything. Because the next time something important comes up, you're got you're probably gonna end up messing up. So it was just a way to teach us. And let me just say this. I think I'm kind of glad I didn't get into that side of the class because I would have gotten lazy. Good way to teach that, honestly. Yeah, but yeah, essentially, it taught us to, like, basically, how do I say it? It's essentially, like I said, not to lower down our guard, essentially, and not to, like, Does lose this focus. Does any other song in its soundtrack than this doo doo doo? <laughs> It does, we've just been here for way too long. I'm like, I'm losing my mind here. Oh, that's why I'm gonna be so dude, I don't know what's going on in my Twitter circle. I know it's called X, shut up, chat. But, uh, people are, like, having arguments on the voice actor side because somebody brought up the current war in the Middle East and now that, that they didn't know about and there's all these arguments about it and I'm like, can we just be nice to each other? Oh god. All I'm gonna say about that. Yeah. Seems, that's good. I'll make up for some other time. Yeah, that's It'd be like me talking about the J. Russo war, even though I know nothing about it. Yeah, and I think. Besides, like, and that's like I said, that was only one of my teachers. My other teacher was he had the belief of tough love, basically, where he wanted us to pass, but he's not gonna play favorites. Oh yeah, and we here's had the a thing. Garth's teacher in high and here's school. The thing. Was... He also low key cared about our mental health because one time I was feeling like really down, so my, my grades were dropping from math, and he called my mom. <laughs> And he wanted to know what was going on. I mean, math is hell on earth. That class is, no matter what teacher, that class is just hell on earth. Yeah. This was for me. Yeah, and the thing is, he was, oof. If he wanted you to pass, he figured out a way, and he'd make sure you'd learn. Learn! It's like that scene from Dragon Ball Z, a bridge with the teacher. Yeah. The What's funny is that I had a friend of mine, we were best friends for a bit. He would read manga in between lessons, because what he would do is that he would... Wait for the teacher to go to the board, then secretly take out his manga to read. <laughs> He'll be reading One Piece most Why of the time. Why did you just do it on... That's weird. Why wouldn't you just do that on the bus? Here's the thing. He did do that on the there. bus. He was just addicted to manga, so he just kept reading. And straight home. Once I leave school, it sounds like a rant is no longer a student. The rest of the day is not for myself as a student. Instead, I must become a magus of the Tosaka family. I'm gonna go summon a hot guy in my basement. Here's the thing she does. <laughs> Back in my house, I'm greeted by the blinking light of my answering machine. Damn it! <laughs> I, I figured. That's why I said that. <laughs> I already know what he's going to say, but he'll be scary later if I don't listen. When I press the play button, I'm not gonna I'm lie. The, um, that furniture makes me think of. Swiss cheese. What the fuck? It's like the same color and everything. I don't know. Maybe because everything's covered in yellow. Maybe. We would get a pineapple under the sea. Cheese flavor furniture. The priest shows no mercy as he's ready as he gets to the point. Master no kenri o hoki suru to yu no nara. I wish to abandon your right to become a master. Contact me today. It takes some time to dispatch a substitute Magus. Liar. Someone like you will be able to rearrange a substitute in no time. You already show signs of the command spell. Quickly, summon your servant and open the command spell. Unless, course, that sounds like a video game tutorial. Here's the thing, there's a reason, like I said, some parts of- this is like the earliest form of the of visual novels using rpg mechanics for like stuff like for example when we i like just down. like i said me and him i showed him footage of samurai remnant off screen during our own time and i told him about classes and basically yeah spoiler alert um every 
every every person here has a servant, and those servants are part of a class: archer, lancer, uh, saber. What else? Assassin. I forgot berserker, and I forgot. And also based on famous Japanese and American historical figures for some reason. No, it any historical figure like Quetzalcoatl is one of them. Forget who he is. What did he do again? I don't know. But it's like a lot of foreign mythologies and all that. All I know is whoever gets uh, Attila the Hunt is... The for their, is there. For their enemies He's fucked. Concise. He's telling me that if I end the fight, I should get ready to be by their day. If I'm not going to fight, I'm an eyesore and should just retire quickly. Okay, what a dick. <laughs> oh no, it's Genghis Khan. The dude conquered like 70% of the friggin' world. <laughs> oh god, don't remind me. There's a reason why you can find people in New York that are literally related to Genghis Khan who was the ruler of Mongolia. That's funny. What? <laughs> Is that we actually learned about him in my high school class for my first year. And here's the thing. It was right when we transitioned to like using you Chromebooks. You lucky bastard. I wasn't about to take that class. We were using Chromebooks for most of the time. And it was like world history. And... Basically, what ended up happening is that yep. we would have to, he would teach us about it all the time. And, and since we were like in high school, it's when teachers stop giving a shit and just tell you how it is. Dude, and I want to pull up the epic rap battle just for funsies. Today's is later, the deadline can be extended. Fortunately, I was able to decode Father as well last night. You know, by the way, speaking of, this is a face day night. Apparently there was an RPG yeah. that released on the PSP, and it's getting a remake, and <laughs> it covers Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works essentially, but it's much much shorter compared to this. Now, do we make choices to determine a path? Like, is it gonna be like give us a dialogue choice? Yeah, it's gonna give us a dialogue choice, but it probably be yeah, every. Works. Yeah, but it's probably every now and then because it's like I said, this game is long, like really long. Mm. Can I read this dialogue for a second? Yeah, sure. Today is as late as a deadline can be extended. Fortunately, I was able to code my father's will last night. That asshole left my sister a Lamborghini, and you know what he left me? The oldest book! This thing. She doesn't have a sister. <laughs> I know, I was fucking around. Imagine you said, wait, I have a sister? Oh yeah, I forgot. She che he cheated on my mom. <laughs> <laughs> wait, I have a sister? Oh, that's who they Hung in town square. She's a witch, they said! Actually, no, they wouldn't be old enough to drive. I think you have to be eight. I think you have to be like 20 to drive in Japan. Uh. The man you participate in the Holy Girl War called Masters. Is not much of a rank, rather, it indicates one who is in control. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> the requirement to entire enter the Holy Grail War that is to summon a familiar called a servant in a form of contract. Yo, Google form. fucking scares me. Before I can even Google the thing, it says driving age in Japan. Are you kidding me right now? Yeah, here's the thing that's a meme with Google where it's like they read your mind and it's like, how? <laughs> So, the minimum driving age is 18 in Japan for a car, and 16 years old for a mo Oh, yeah, I should have known that from uh, watching a really interesting Honda ad that was actually- Honda made an ad that's an anime, by the way. Oh, it's a sequel to Init Initial D. <laughs> it's not. It's literally about- the You're thinking of a completely different show. It's about this girl who, like, parents are dead and she, like, gets this motorcycle. And, uh, she eventually, she is, she, like, makes these friends because of the motorcycle and she does, like, all this shit. There was one episode that pissed me off because of just, like, ah, uh, Like, when someone has hypothermia, you don't drag them through the cold of night put and put them in your bathtub. I'll have to show you what I'm talking about later. Yeah. Servants are being very it's different ridiculous. from normal, are very different from normal familiars. The methods of summoning, controlling them are different as well. And Magus, when they enter the Holy Grail War, usually prepares a catalyst to summon one guard. Really? 
Yeah, like his damn labor can I don't have anything with the internet connection. <laughs> Can you it's imagine if your dad's this famous yeah, magician? He leaves you a spell book, but he leaves your sibling his fucking Lamborghini. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. If I wanted to, I could summon one right now and form a contract with it. The town sacred ground is the town sacred ground is under the jurisdiction. As a daughter of Tosaka family, which has protected this town through generations, I will not lose to Maggie from elsewhere. I'll probably make a separate save just for me, because this is genuinely interesting. That was it. The uh, anime was called Super. We'll probably play this again. Yeah, but I'll probably be reason. playing it on my off time. Like, make a separate save. Let's, uh, okay, the anime was called Super Cub. I knew I knew the name of it. Or perhaps I should say things are completely unplanned. Servant is a symbol of the people who are in the world. If you want to be a servant, you will be able to get a servant. If you want to be She just summons Louis, that one king of France that had like 10 wives. Summon a strong servant, you need something that has a connection to the servant. Another word, a sword, armor, talisman, bone of that servant, or something like that. Something valuable beyond belief. Let me just get the bone of Albert Einstein I have lying around. I feel like a future sequel. What? Is that considering this game had a sequel, it might be the case. Probably. I've seen art of like Fate Stay Night by Albert Einstein. Yeah. I keep pressing my controller, not my mouse. What the hell? Depending on if I'm I want to know what show Facebook started the uh, trend of Japanese stuff being named re dot dot insert title here. I don't know. It's great in its own way. I don't know either, but it irritates me. <laughs> it's great, but it won't help me summon my server. And here's the thing, I don't think, I think in lore her fate, you can't choose the servant, you just get one, but it doesn't, but you don't get to choose what it is. And she wants, basically, she wants Saber, who in lore is apparently really powerful, or really, and essentially you insta-win the game. Alright, I've decided. I don't want to make Kirei today complaining more with postponing it any longer it's not like me to wait to the last second it'll come down down and just trying it i'll face summoning the knight with full power and obtain saber by force so i used to be on a podcast and i haven't seen a post by these guys podcast in forever oh i would give my opinion you would have liked it I, I gave my opinion on like certain things in the gaming industry Late at night, the clock is about to strike two. This is the best time frame for my magical energy. Peak of my magical energy is exactly is at exactly two in the morning. Oh, so their magic is like time based. So it's like, so basically it's like Excanor. You, you, you get stronger at a certain point of the day. Since this will be my first and last chance, I can't afford any mistakes. Whoa! And grab the circle to the floor of the basement. You don't need a large skill summoning to summon a servant. Servants are called fit for the Holy Grail. It is the master's priority to keep the servant in this world and to supply them with enough magical energy to substantiate it. Substantiate it. To substantiate. The Holy Grail takes care of the summoning. So is that why everyone. Wait, I thought everyone was fighting over the Holy Grail. Yeah, everyone's fighting over it, but they need to uh, summon the servant on their own. I'm assuming the original had a pentagram that they censored. No, I, that's the way it looks. Still, I continue with the greatest concentration. I draw the magic circle, normally written in blood, when I melt the jewels. I'm using half the jewels I've saved up, so I can't fail for financial reasons, too. Midasen. 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 
Oh, you you written in blood. Who is blood? She just... No, I can't make that. It's almost two in the morning. I'm leaving the magic circle past something that looks like a family. I face it with all my power. Alpha. <clears throat> I flip the formless. She just summons Krillin me. from Dragon Ball. <laughs> Here's the thing. When I was younger, <laughs> and I was barely getting into fate when I was younger, because I wanted to get. Because I just. I, I thought my dumbass was like, I can understand fate. And watch this. Yeah. Not gonna lie. I searched up so many fan pictures of like, oh, what if she summoned this guy instead? <laughs> I think one of them was Goku. The lame dude in history. I think one of them was Goku, and is like, hey, he's like, oh. Hi. I mean, and just... <laughs> I don't know why it felt really funny to me as a kid. Or when I was younger. Goku would not... Goku would absolutely smack down every single one of these characters, dude. Yeah, but he doesn't kill people. That's the problem. Yes, he does. Villains, yeah. Here's the thing. Kid Goku had a hell of a kill count. Oh, yeah, he did. Not only that, that whole Reverend Army and then the stuff that TFS added for, for Android. Uh, not only that, in Fate Stay 16. Night, there are quite quite a few scumbags here that he would not mind killing. I felt the formless switch inside mm -hmm. of me. I feel a sensation as the contents of my body are being exchanged. Visual nerves are wearing a circus transmitting magical energy. At this point, Kazukaren is no human. I shall become a tool to attain mystic power. I am melting from my fingertips. I summon the winged dragon of raw. Burns the entire house down. Filled from my fingertips. That's what Bond she said. I'm taking this so concentration that the original senses of my body are being repainted. That's so also what she said. The same as being destroyed. That's also what she said. Shut the fuck up, please. <laughs> That's perfect, though. The power that fills me is pure magical energy from the air. It is absorbed by my body, which has become a circuit. Transform into a different form of magical energy. That's what she said? The body of a Magus is nothing more than a circuit. A circuit to connect the spiritual and the real. We call the result of this the many mystic occurrences it has made real. Magic. Hang on, are you able to hide the uh, text box for a minute? I want to see the earth. Uh, hold on. Oh, that is gorgeous. For 2004, or...? For the time, yeah. Hold on. HOLY! <laughs> what did we do? Look how many save slots there is. Four, two, four, six, and 20. Oh, visual novels give you like 6,000 save slots. 20 times 15, what is that? Hey, Pokemon, how about giving us more save slots? Of That's, what she, That's what she said. That's what she said. Stop it, woman! You're giving me too many innuendos. A sensation of being Ew, okay, born. that's that one. I start to sweat. Stab, stab. Swords are driven into my body. This is the pain caused by my human body rejecting itself at the magic circuit. No matter how great a magus you are, human is human. This pain will result as long as people use magic in the human body. It'll also result when she more than likely gets porked later on in the story, from what I've heard of this game. Yeah, but I do not loosen my circulation. At the end of this pain, on the verge of elimination, lies the place of connection. A pain running through my left arm. The magic crest. That's called a heart attack. Nervous as a result, violates my nerves even more. Main character, sweetie. Uh, that's called a heart attack. You might want to go to a doctor. <laughs> You're like, oh, no, wait, no. Heart palpitations. Oh, no. The harvest of <laughs> Ten more seconds until it's noon. I throw a brick. I throw a brick at the clock. <laughs> Let's start. As the mana of absorb turns to fixed magical energy, and now I will have to empty out the mana within me to move the energy called the summoning circle. <laughs> Also, I love how Pokemon was considered demonic. When is this shit from 2004? Yes. 
Pokemon will turn your kick to Satan. Um, I am not Satan. That is sick. This dude she summons is gonna be so fucking confused. Here's the thing, he was. <laughs> Jeez, I can't wait for my vision to return. The vision hey, should recover in a matter of seconds. Did you just summon me from another dimension? And there will be someone serving right in front of me. And... Nothing. Hi? Nothing is nothing. There is no change. I've reached out that much either. I've reached out that much ether and nothing has formed. An explosion in the living room. What the? Hey yo, I'm gonna be robbed. Hey yo, I run, keep running with thinking, and grab the shotgun from the from the closet. <laughs> Racks a shotgun. I got all Texas slash Jersey on this guy. I run up the basement stairs <laughs> in the living room. Freeze, mo. Doors are doors are broken. Living room doors crooked. No point turning the handle. Door dude, we just made him text and fucking it. Dude, every time you read someone in this accent, it just makes me crack up laughing. The door doesn't open, even now, even now as I push and pull it. Uh, I wish I could the do a Jersey accent room. as easy as you do a Texan accent, seriously. And. And. You and Slane walk into the living room and understand everything. Look at this chat. Look at this, Chad. Man's like, um, uh, living room is a big mess. It's full of rubble. That did must you have just summon me from another dimension? There's no man sitting on a cock at least. Fun fact. Spoiler alert. That's Emia from the future. <laughs> Who? The orange-haired kid. Oh. Main character? Yep. That's him from the future. <laughs> from an alternate dimension, basically. Will cause this mess, but there's but we get to see some that. actual historical figures be summoned. Yeah. Here's the thing: that lady, the blonde lady you saw in the beginning, was King Arthur. Oh really? Yep. There's one thing more important than that: the wall clock is still ticking away time. It's still ticking away time, having escaped destruction. That reminds me. Yes, that's right. Come to think of it, every clock in my house was an hour early today for some reason. In other words, it's one in the morning right now. There's actually one more hour until my magical energy is at its peak. I did it again. I can do most things just like everyone else, but I have one hereditary curse. That is, to make the biggest mistakes at the most important times. Relatable. That is relatable right there. That's <laughs> it. I am mad at my own stupidity. Yes, as am I. <laughs> every... I'm gonna go read my copy of Bible Black now. <laughs> every... Every... Every RE4 player... I'm glad that... you know what that is. <laughs> Shut the <laughs> fuck up. <laughs> Still the irritated. action anime we were tricked into watching, only to realize it was porn. Still irritated, I glare at the man sitting there like he's important. So, what are you? これはまたとんでもないマスターに引き当てられたものだ。Man in red gives an exaggerated shrug. You can kind of tell he's like from their school. He has the cross thing wrong. Oh, is it because of like the this stuff right here? Yeah, the cross tassels and the red outfit. Ah. Man in red giving me. Maybe I'm the most lucky of all. He adds, "I do declare." 
This guy has a twisted personality. But this would be the servant? Since they call it a familiar, I thought it was something shapeless, but this is human like. No, that's wrong. Just standing here, I could tell this thing has outrageous amounts of magical energy. Don't be fooled by its appearance. This is certainly an existence far beyond hum human. A ghost that has reached the level of a spirit as a human. This chick has watched way too much Yu Hawker show. It's a common problem among our generation is that anime rots. Wait, which one? Yu Yu Hawker show. Oh, here's the thing. My generation started to discover it, and it is amazing. Oh, it's great. Yeah, Hunter X Hunter is good, but Yu Hawker show is better. Here's the, the amount of Hunter Hunter fans that fits off of that sentiment. I'll do you one better. Yu Yu Hakusho is finished. <laughs> I mean, it rushed to its finale, but it is finished. I say dip at season three. Or no, dip after the Hiei arc of season four, because the show just turns really shitty after that. Yeah. Then again, there's only like ten more episodes after that, so you might as well just watch all the way through. There's like no off point for it to get shitty, that's the problem. Be overwhelming can't be overwhelmed forever this thing is mine like, i don't know what it is with shonen's but like late when they always go late in their seasons they always go bad boo saga i'm not a fan of the naruto war arc was awful i guess i just don't like late game shonen's yeah it's gonna change my thinking from now on かくにするけど, いきのこが。そうだ。君のこうが。私はそれを。君こそ。私のマスターだ。君は。君は。君は。君は。君は。君は。君は。君は。君は。君は。君は。君は。君は。君は。君は。君は。君は。君は。君は。君は。君は。君
What the hell has Resident Evil involved in this? My question is, how does... How does Metal Gear Solid, a series all about crazy fuckers making giant nuclear missiles, not get censored, but Fallout does? Here's the thing. Hideo Kojima automatically knew that game would not be popular in Japan. He already knew it would be popular in America. The only thing I can think of is Fallout deals more with the aftermath of a nuclear crisis, which Japan already dealt with and still suffers scars from. So that's the only thing I can think of of why it's censored. Yet I was watching a new Godzilla movie and they straight up mentioned like nuclear assault. So it's like maybe they're cool with it now. I don't know. Well, I know I'd love to get my hands on a Japanese copy of Fallout. Yeah, that's probably not a good idea. Why? It's not like we'd be breaking any rules. No, but because of the fact that if it's censored to hell in Japan, there's probably some mechanics that were removed. Well, the bomb in Megaton was completely removed. Um, also, the ability to nuke Megaton was completely removed. Um, the server looks to be meaningful as it lays on the rubble. They could have easily changed like, the nuclear stuff to Doomsday or something. They could have easily changed the nuclear stuff to Doomsday or something. They could have easily changed the nuclear stuff to Doomsday or something. They could have easily changed the nuclear stuff to Doomsday or something. Yeah. That's what I think they did for the Japanese version Just of Fallout. Friends. Smash is my house, and that dude is like he's a king, makes me angry enough, but now he asks me if I'm worthy to be his master? Like, glare at him. I will not let He's you asking you to show backbone. Frankly. Which, here's the thing. Which is probably the best, because... How do I say it? He just wants to know that his master's not a bitch, basically. Don't they die? Don't servants die as well, I'm pretty sure. No, they just get sent back. Because like, like, like uh, Rin said, they're basically just spirits made human form. I gotcha. Oh, なるほど, なるほど. I know this voice actor for fuck's sakes. That's the guy who plays Sasuke in this one. What? That's the dude who plays Sasuke in Naruto's version. How can you tell his voice is really deep? Step 4, radio attack depending on his answer. I can tell. He's a very strong man. これでは話が進まんな。仕方あるまい。仮に私が君のサーバントだとしよう。で、その場合、君が私のマスターなのか。山、あくまで仮の話だが。当たり前じゃない。あなたが私に呼ばれたんだったら、あなたのマスターは私
thrust before I him. Thrust through, before him. Master. Through. That is what she said. Then... <sighs> Man, serious young lady. His face clouds of discontent. What do you mean? I mean, that way of thinking. That you're a master. If you have a command spell, the command spell is the only tool that governs the servant. Jeez. You don't get a master just because of that. Yeah, here's the thing. I'm like I told you off stream. Those command seals are important. You can't get them back. Once you use it, it's gone. Oh, so it's a one-time use. Yeah. You only got three chances. It sounds like the world's worst. This whole system sounds like the world's worst fucking tactical RPG. Yeah, that's why it's recommended you have a good bond with your servant. Because if they, you don't have one, they're not going to listen to you. What I wanted to see was... That's true. My dialogue got skipped. I think of the command spell when talking about the proof that one's a master. What is it? So I'm a master. I'm a master. I'm a master. I like that, but no go. Since you have the command spell, it seems you're my summoner. I can't voice act my voice like this sucks. Yeah, because it's like talking over it, right? Yeah. It gives an example no, I mean my voice the way it is right now. Freaking. Then don't. Oh! Okay, uh, this is bad. <laughs> My boiling point is so low, it's, it won't be able to cool down in time. Um, I don't know if I can get rid of this guy. Is he going to get rid of me? Or is he going to get rid of me? I don't know if I can I don't know if I can I not I I might still watch this anime because I feel like I'd like this better in anime form. Yeah, cause it, yeah, it's it's for the best. But here's the thing: if you want to understand the most of the stuff, it is required that you play the visual novel in terms of like understanding stuff. But if you just want to like go into it, it, if you want to go, like I said, there's a reason the meme of you don't know where to start with fate is because literally fate is such a jumbled mess. Cause they tried like to like. I remember going to try the anime ones, and it just started off with a random scene of King Arthur being born. I'm like, what? Yeah, cause here's the thing. How do I say it? Like I said, every route in the game were made into three separate animes, a mo movies and series. And are we going for Fate Stay Night? I assume we're going for Unlimited Blade Works. Um, I think this is it, Father. I'm almost at my limit. そう。不満だけど認めるくせに私の意見には取り合わないってどういうことかしら。ask Tells me he has no hope for me with eyes full of disdain. Hmm? Are you angry? I respect your position, of course. I'm called to help my master with it. My victory is yours. And I shall give you everything that I've earned in this fight. You shouldn't have any complaints about that, right? Like, you wouldn't be able to use the command <laughs> You wouldn't be able to use the command spell anyway. Well, you just leave the rest to me. You just worry about your own sit. <laughs> oh, uh oh. Here's the thing. She's also ultra petty. Rin is ultra petty, dude. Dude, she seems like that high school chick that's always on her period, like every single month. Like I said, Sundere. There's no holding back now. I don't have sympathy for a twisted guy like him. See, even she's. He's shocked how petty she is. Well, 
Urse. Urse. I announce the commandment by the order of the Holy Grail. Give the law of beings to this one, my servant. Oh, they actually translate the German this time? Nice. Like I said, she is mad petty. Oh, they have limited use of these command spells. The symbol on my right hand throbs. The three command spells. The essence of the Holy Grail War, the three claims of the servant's unconditional obedience is now used. Huh? It's too late now. First of all, I wasn't expecting this either. I hate myself so much I want to die. Go ahead and use the important command spell for something like this. Here's the thing, you're just mad petty. That's the problem. Mad petty. So, leaving the ruined living room behind, we move to my room. In front of me is a servant who should be absolutely obedient for my command spell. He's there, but. Naruhodo. Kimi no Sumi is a certain amount of time, then you have to cast another one. Yeah. No, no, there's no cooldown. Literally, you just don't get it back. But then why would there be a limit if it doesn't wear off? What? You have three. Yeah, that's the lore behind it. There, You only have three. You only have three chances. It's why I say. It's why I said. It's very important to have a good bond with your servant. If you don't, you're going to have a lot of interactions like these. And all of a sudden, oh, can't, can't force you force myself to do your bidding anymore. Because I'm going to do what I want. Master. <laughs> Also, this game has some weird English as well, so get ready for that. それが何よ。いいかね。レイジはサーバントを強制的に行動させるものだ。Can't <sighs> really tell. That would be on your end to look. Uh Oh, it's been longer than usual. We went for 10 minutes more than usual. That's cuz everything's been like fucking up. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we can get to the end of the scene at least. Well, let me save again. We're still in the prologue. Jesus Christ! Jeez. So, it's not a matter of stopping the action, but a matter of stopping the action. For example, I can't go from here to the distance. I can't go from here to the distance. But if I can go from here to the distance, that's the way to get to you and your power. It's possible to get to you. You see what I mean? Fate lore is needlessly complicated. What? For example, I can instantly teleport somewhere far away, but if you command me to go using command spells, then assuming we have enough magical energy, such things become possible. Oh, okay. So she needs enough mana for it to even work. Yeah, she can't just suddenly say it, you know say do this and not have the mana for it. it it's literally you need to have the strength to do it and you need to have the seal what order did she exactly get it? Two, to be absolutely obedient to be absolutely obedient because the fact he was talking so much shit earlier so she has no choice but to listen to it but he has no choice but to listen to her now. Basically, he's probably if, like this fucking sucks. If he says, if she says bark, he's gonna bark. That's what she meant by absolute obedience. <sighs> this was a miscalculation on my part. Yeah, he just assumed she would be a bitch about it. Rage to you, Monoa. I'm in a mere and you are kicking a yoa kunar. But I should give me that spell vibes. Kono Tadakai ni katena to it. Yeah. Now I'm interested. About what? That this isn't just me like a generic high school story now. Yeah. Well, it's always been about magic. They're just trying to set stuff up. Yeah. Well, it's always been about magic. They're just trying to set stuff up. Yeah. Well, it's always been about magic. They're just trying to set stuff up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 
効果も戒めも薄いならサーバントはレイジュに逆らって行動できるそんな効き目の薄い命令をするなら絶対的な単一の命令をした方がいいそうだレイジュとはもともと自分たちの能力以上の奇跡を起こすためのものそれを大王の効く命令などで消費する具は許されない、right. Basically, the command spell is a way to bring about miracles beyond our abilities. Simply using it for orders that can be achieved by other means is unforgivable. In short, make sure to use them if they're really important. Kimi no Sakyodo no Reiji wa, masa ni sore da. Watashi ga Kimi ni shitagau ka wa, hanashi ai de kaiket dekita koto da shi. Kari ni Reiji wo tsukatta tokoro de, subete no gendou ni zettai fukujiu nado, Reiji ga 100 atte mo jitsugen dekki nai. じゃあ私のさっきのレイジは無意味ってこと Yep, like I said, you're just mad petty. <笑>通常ならそうなのだがな。どうも、君の魔術師としての性能は桁が違ったらしい。And also, they also they say that it's useless, but they also say it just depends on the person, which is you can see why it's confusing. I would say it's useless, but somehow you're really friggin' strong. So it's forcing my hand. That's why. It says it's impossible, but it also says it just depends on the person. Hey, visual novel, please stop contradicting your own rules. Here's the thing this was their first game, so it's, <laughs> it's shocking how this game became a franchise, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, going by the character designs, probably just a lot of really horny adults. Here's the thing this is an arrow game. Be happy or unhappy. Sermon has a smile on his face and sighs. Keta ga chiwatta te. Moshkashite. Chotto anata. Jibun ga ima donna jyotai na no ka. Shoujiki ni hanashite minasai. Ah. Gosan to yu no wa sore da. Yeah, that's what I mean by miscalculation. Sakyodo no meire de wa. Skoshi wa master no ikeen o sonchou shi yo to yu teedo no kokoro ga ari ni shika nara nai. What's that meme? Uh, Which meme are you talking? I don't know what meme. Something about something something. I respect you slightly more now or something. I have no idea. I don't know it either. Alright, let's go. Now, I feel a strong feeling in your words. If you want to give me your opinion, I'll give you your opinion. I feel so strong vibe for your words. Rank is one of the most important. See, it, it seems like I drop a rank. <laughs> so she actually managed to do it. Yeah, because she has the power of plot and genes. Tsumari, most of the terrifying and handsome and anime protagonist. Karada ga omokunatte uoki zurai. If your anime protagonist is going too far, both of these abilities, please call nine 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 five 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 two 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 and get help today from an experienced insurance agent. Talking about, I don't know. I was trying to make a dumb joke. His command spell wasn't meaningless, and it worked in my favor. But this guy's speech is sarcastically as always, and it doesn't seem like he's weak any weaker at all. Uh, even if he is weak when going against me, I doubt even Tenemi could take him on. Then again, we'll take Kaishu. I think this guy being voiced by Bond's voice actor from Seven Deadly Sins. Uh, you want to look it up? Cause like I said, I think they only get the voice acting when they ported it to 2011. This game, they can totally dub this because it has. This anime has a dub cast. Yeah, but the thing is, that would require porting it to America, and that would also require changing dialogue, which is a lot of resources for a visual novel this long. Who is? Kodomo to Anadori, tatakai kara tozaki yoto shita. Liam O'Brien. I know the name, don't remember who else is playing. Yeah, wait a minute. I know what I said, but I don't know what I said. I don't know what I said. Oh. Okay, this dude does a lot of freaking voices in The Bad Batch. You'd be surprised how popular Liam O'Brien is. He was Gaara, which put him on the map. Next thing you know, he was bleeding voice roles. Literally everyone. He was literally everyone. He was basically the modern day Spike. He was the modern day Steve Blum. Yeah, I could see Gar, this kind of voice, a Gar type voice coming from him. Because he did voice Gar. That's what I mean. 
No. Well, I'll probably end up watching this dub because of how overly complicated this shit is. Yeah, they'll probably leave a lot of this is just not spoken because of the fact that A, the actors that did voice it for the dub are expensive as hell nowadays. Because now that they got That's really big... That's right, anime fans. I watch dubbed anime because if it's available, I'm going to watch it. Unless it's Yu-Gi-Oh! Then I'm going to watch it sub because... Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah. Yu -Oh! is just nostalgic for me for a dub. But yeah, like, yeah. even then, getting the actors for the dub would probably be expensive. Because like I said, Liam O'Brien is huge oh, nowadays. And a lot of the actors that did it for the dub are onto bigger stuff. So it would, would it be cost funny a if we lot play this more. Night, and tomorrow they announce a freaking complete collection of Fate Stay Night, like completely remastered in 1080p with dub voices. And redone artwork, Global. which and redone artwork, which would be a huge task. With no nudity or anything. Here's the game. I think that would hurt sales. Imagine that would... might be what? That might be why, though, because, you know, we don't allow a Rogues, like, because of the ESRP. Yeah. That might honestly be why they never release it in English. With, here's the thing. There's a classic thing called removing content. Yeah, but that would just piss off fans and proc an AO rating, which would, again, like, not make scores not want to sell the game. Well, here's the thing. God, I hate the existence of the... Here's the thing. This version exists, so... You know what I hate about the AO rating? The fact that stores aren't legally allowed to sell games with AO ratings. You gotta like, go from... So like, stupid! You gotta go to the site themselves. Nine. That's so Nine. fucking dumb. And why even have it in the first place? You can use classification. Like other countries do. That's so dumb. Yeah. Muronda. Oh, I'm also mysteriously wet. Yeah, guarantee. If they were to make a modern remaster with the dub cast, it would be expensive as hell, and there would be so much dialogue that you would hear them talking. Oh, yeah. So, right. Master no chikara da. Servant wa master kara no maryoku teikyou niyotte kono yo ni todomaru.魔力提供量は十分だ。経験的に問題はありそうだが、君の能力は飛び抜けている。普通の魔術師ならば、サーバントを召喚した瞬間に意識を失っている。魔力提供量は十分だ。経験的に問題はありそうだが、君の能力は
he was so good at his role that people thought he was actually like that in real life when in reality he was just super chill really yeah and it messed up his career for a bit how do you it's actually like, the same with the person who played snape it's like bro like that dude was super chill in real life like because here's the thing like how good of an actor you gotta be to be so good people actually think you act like that in real life I mean, that's just called a method actor. Yeah, but how good of an actor you gotta be actor. for that to happen to you? Like, where you're so good that people cannot dissociate you with that the, with your role. I mean, I keep getting voice roles as teachers and police officers. Oh, and I'm neither of the sorts. Oh, God. You can tell from my appearance, huh? Excellent. Uh, no, I was just mistaken before. This guy is certainly making fun of me. これはマスターとしての質問よ。ねえ、あなたセイバーじゃないの？全然ながら剣は持っていない。あ、sorry, it was all too clumsy to call Saber the strongest servant. ロジットは。あれだけ宝石を使っておいてセイバーじゃないなんて目も当てられない。ああ、セイバーズ <laughs> And we already got spoiled for it. Yeah. And we're not gonna see Saber for a hot minute. Main character, I assume, got it. Yeah. Like, for fuck's sake, we're still in the prologue. No. What you're using is an excuse to explain everything. Yep. This, this is by far one of the longest prologues I've had to sit through. Is it as bad as Zenki Zero's, which is five, which is five out, five hours, unless you skip dialogue? Here's the thing: Zenki Zero having the excuse of only having six chapters. This has sixteen. Huh? This is unexpected. This is unexpected. The unknown server seems disappointed about my fixation on Saber. Nani? Kani sawatta, Acha? Sawatta. Miteiro. Aren't you protest from their lives? The air he carries is offensive, but his behavior seems childlike and pure. You know, I'd be a pretty good guy. So, ne? 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 So these poor bastards just have to fight for this grail every year. That sucks. Uh, yeah. I don't know. If it, I don't think it's every year. I think it's every hundred, every few, every hundred years or something. I don't know. <laughs> or like every couple years. I don't know when it's happening. So the main character's gonna have to fight this chick to the death then. Maybe, huh? Maybe he does have a twisted personality after all. Maiwa. Archie doesn't answer. His sarcastic tone disappears and he frowns seriously. That's a secret. Like I said, I already spoiled it for you of who he is. I know you did. あのね、つまんない理由だったら怒るわよ。それは。Oh, that face again. Archer must be really troubled as he opens his mouth like he'd rather not say anything. なぜかというと、自分でもわからない。Whoa! Wait, did you see a sprite just jump around like that? 
Yeah. What the hell? Are you making fun of me? Yes, bitch, you're psycho. You've been streaming for no. almost three hours. What the hell? This is longer. Right. Here's the thing, Zenki Zero at least had you doing something. Here it's just dialogue. Master これは君の不完全な召喚の付けだぞ。どうも。記憶に混乱が見られる。自分が何者であるかは分かるのだが、名前や素性がどうも曖昧だ。気にすることはない。気にするわよ、そんなの。あんたがどんな英霊か知らな
Damn you, master. You suck. He's probably gonna fuck up the cleaning. Oh, guarantee. He's the, he's a fighter, not a cleaner. Now, if you got, uh, if you got Alfred, you'd be set. Here's the thing. Alfred is beyond his power. Not even Archer can defeat Alfred. Alfred fought Superman. Dude, Alfred will snipe you out of a fucking helicopter window. <laughs> here's the thing. Arthur, here's the thing. Because unlike Batman, Alfred is not afraid to kill. Dude, Alfred is like the hidden Chuck Norris. Of the fucking Batman universe. No, DC. Like, to where Batman will, like, or DC universe. To where Batman will show up to kick your ass, he'll just straight up take out a fucking shotgun. He's like, I don't Batman. intend to interrogate you, I intend to kill you. <laughs> Let's get in there, slash the rest of the night. Can decide about. I remember one time during, like, one of the comics, he, sh I think it was in one of the movies, where he literally pieced up a villain. Because <laughs> he, he. Yeah, Alfred's backstory is weird. In a lot of the comic continuities, he was either he was like ex in the military, wasn't he? He was in military, but in every co continuity, it's either World War II vet, ex uh, ex SAS, or a or boxer. Or his family friend of the a boxer as well. He was also a boxer and an actor. Dude, Alfred's just amazing. Yeah, he is amazing. He's amazing. He's just the best Alfred could win the Holy Grail War with his hands tied behind his back. Yes, because if you okay, hit the save button. What's the end of the prologue? The day of fate comes to a close. Now this is the night is the start of fate. There are six including myself now. I'm just the last one, son of the servant. The seventh one who is not yet a master of the Holy Grail War will commence. It's not far ahead. Thought I waited for ten years about to commence. Roboto shall commence. Oh finally. It's February. Finally. Let's see. And save time. Yeah, let's save this bitch. Let's see what's this. Literally nothing. Fine. Oh, finally. Oh, all right. All right, guys. Uh, this game hurt my I'll head. Be you saw. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. This oh. game hurt my head. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And well, if you guys want to do it, give us a follow and yeah, just give us a follow. And also, go sub to my man Japan Lover's personal Twitch, he does a lot of stuff too. And I actually check haven't out my done anything in a while, but I need to. I might yeah. start streaming Viva Pinata on there again. Yeah, and check out and I've urged the garden pinatas again. Yeah, check out the you and check out my <laughs> YouTube, which is on the it's just posted on the link here in the, in the Twitch. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and well. Go bed. See you guys. Start recording. There we go. And then hit go live. All right, we're going live. And. You ready though? Are you ready, ready. is the question. Alright. We're going live in three, two, yeah. one. Stream to Twitch. Yes. Just trying, trying to understand more more fate lore. Are you sure you didn't want to stream the Facebook? <laughs> oh, can you switch to the game so I can see and I'm seeing the uh, recording thing? Yeah, hold on, change windows and then Based in our Rialto Luna. Luna. Or no, Rialto Nua. Fuck. Uh, okay. Source at, si at 60 FPS. Alright, and confirm and. Title screen kind of sounds like. Not gonna lie, the title screen kind of sounds like North or Yu Gi Oh! music. I'll take care of the intro this time. Yeah, Hello, three. people. It's Japan number seven. I didn't, I didn't go live yet. Shinigami. I didn't go live yet. Um, so we got a. I didn't go live yet. <laughs> oh. Um, Ignore me, VOD watchers. And. And and we're live. We're live. Hell yeah. Hello people, it's Japan number 79. This is Shinigami, and we're actually playing a visual novel twice in a row for once. Yes, because this game has got our cl its claws in us for some reason. For some odd Listen, reason. Listen, I just want to see some anime tits. Only kidding. We can't show that on Twitch. We can't. <laughs>
and luckily this game has a decent a I know, I'm joking. So, we, so, yeah. But yeah, like, I don't know why. This game has a I see what you see, chat. Us. Oh, I don't get to see any titties. It, this game has its claws on us for some reason, and I don't know why. It's just genuinely interesting. So hopefully we can get through it. Yeah, I don't All have right. to make 50,000 jokes about characters shelving books in places that they don't belong. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm a low. All right. Also, we play a lot of games where characters just have freaking libraries. Yeah. All right. Loading up the game. I continue. Let's see. It was February 1st. Okay. Uh, it's Valentine's Day month, even though they don't celebrate that shit in Japan because they're not ta their culture isn't taken over by purchase holidays. Oh, yeah. The game, right. please? No. no, it's just I need to press it. The Holy Grail War is a great ritual which has been practiced for hundreds of years. One inch is a ritual, one must eliminate the other six. As it, as it is a battle for one's life. It is said that the Holy Grail is the land of Fuyuki, and that many Magi have fought each other here in the past. We have only one purpose, to obtain the noble phantasm called the Holy Grail. But the origins of the Holy Grail is unknown, like my dick. It's certain that it never received the blood of God, but its power matches that of the one in legend. I'm assuming it doesn't grant its immortality like it's supposed to in a... Oh no, I'm thinking of the Fountain of Youth. Since when does it? <laughs> when does it do that? Okay. I swear there's one legend work. Oh, you know what I'm thinking of? What? I'm, I'm thinking of the one from uh, Seven Deadly Sins. Uh, the Holy Grove of Seven Deadly Sins drinks Eternal uh, Youth or whatever. The Spawn uh, drink. Yes. He said the Holy Grail could grant any wish. Only one has the right to possess it. Holy Grail can only grant one wish for one person. But seven, seven Magi are needed bold. to summon the Holy Grail in this land. One miracle, seven collaborators. Well, point is, it was only a matter of time before a fight broke out over the Holy Grail. And it began like an ordinary fight over resources. Seven Magi used the power of the Holy Grail equally to each summon a familiar. A servant to battle the other Magi. Only one Magus will obtain the Holy Grail. So each of them treated the other six, once allies, now as enemies, and a gruesome fight began. This is the ritual called the Holy Grail War, a competition between Magi and the Holy Grail. For them, the Holy Grail. The Magi chosen by the Holy Grail are called Masters, and each Master receives a powerful familiar called a servant by the grace of the Holy Grail. This servant may or may not be based on a famous historical figure. Your there, mileage may vary. There are two proofs that one is a master. Summoning a servant and making it obey. And obtaining the three command spells that can order the servant. The first goes without saying. Yesterday, a few hours ago to be exact, I summoned Archer to be my servant. Now he's only the second. Must protect the end. This, I must protect oh, we haven't the switched end. to the main character's POV yet? Not yet. And we're gonna be in. in or is it just regaling what happened, Lens? We're gonna be in Rin's POV for a bit until we go to Shiro, I think. Hold on, let me look up who the protagonist is. Because I know it's either Shiro or I'm Rin. Sure you said it was him, right? I'm pretty sure, but considering the, the this is the visual novel, we don't know. This is the main character. Visual novels tend not to have point of view shifts. Okay. Apparently every... Okay, from the anime perspective, every season has a different main character. Oh, so if we're going to do Unlimited Blade Works, it's going to be Rin. So, if we're... That's going to be Rin's route. You can hurt me. You have like a little hole in it. Okay, so we're gonna be, have Rin as our main character. The main. Wait, hold on. I'm... Uh. So I I think I figure it out. Uh. So it focuses on Rin, but it's through the POV of Shiro, if I'm guessing correctly. 
That's weird. So basically, like I said, trying to kill each other. Okay, so Shiro is the MC, but the plot is gonna revolve around Rin. Like I said, every route is different, so I'm guessing each route you focus on a specific character through Shiro's eyes, like and Shiro helps them out, I think. Maybe. That leaves a yesterday. And that leaves only the second. Which protects us to the end with this command spell that binds the servant. For a master, this is probably the most important thing of all. The powder is inscribed on my right hand with the summoning archer. This is the command spell. The holy sign that looks like the, the quake logo. <laughs> You're not alone. I actually thought that was the quake logo as well. We gotta play quake at some point. I have quake on my PS5. This holy sign granted yeah, by the holy really grail. Quake. It's good. Granted by the holy grail is the proof of a master who has summoned a servant. This mark with concentrated magical energy is an instant, instantaneous thing. Not an eternal one. It is consumed by use, and as the appearance suggests, it has one use for each strike. In other words, only three times. The master who loses all three of their command spells will be unable to control their servant and faces death. So, the command spell must be guarded as closely as one's life. It hurts my head to think that I've used one right to the start, but it wasn't completely meaningless, so I'll call it good. Because it's not unusual for servants to go against their masters. After all, he gave me flowers last night. We had a great time. <laughs> yeah, he gave me flowers. He wrecked my living room. He called me a bitch. <laughs> he choked me for a bit. Well, being he choked me for a bit before going to sleep. Great. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the gist of it. The Holy Grail will always start when the seven servants are all summoned. I, just, I can't just sleep in. I don't know when the last master will appear, but it's going now be interrupt this visual novel to bring you seven deadly sins. Shuck it off. <sighs> Morning dew already. I'm so tired. I'm Looking so out the window tired. days, I noticed the sun's already way up. That's Oof. Glancing at the clock, I can confirm to myself that I'll be skipping school today. I like how that's the thing I used to do as well. If, like, I wake up late. Because I used to start school, like, at 7.45. And then, like, if it's, like, 8.30 or 9.30, I'm like, ah, I'm skipping school. <laughs> you ever used to do that? Oh, my mom would bring us at that point. Yeah, because here's the thing. Nah, my mom would bring us at that point. Still? Good God. What? Like, bro, like, school's already, like, at lunchtime at this point, so they're still dropping you off? Yeah. Wow. I sit up in bed and take a deep breath. I'm not tired just because I'm not a morning person. Here's the thing, who is a morning person? Nobody. No, like, no one's a morning person. Do you ever see someone like, I'm ready to start the day? Realistically, it's just like, I want to throw it back to bed. Yeah. I'm just tired. Just because I want... Like Archer said, a master who has just summoned their servant cannot function satisfactorily. So that... That's right. Summoned... Oh. Okay, well, I watched I one video about The Sims 5 earlier today, and it won't stop recommending me Sims videos. I'm very confused at this. Like, is that community that massive? No, it's just the way that YouTube works. Um, with YouTube, if you watch like one vid, for example, about cooking, next thing you knew, your entire feed will just be cooking. Yep. Because that's how it tries to like show off, like, oh, you want you've been watching this recently, so therefore we're gonna show you more of this until you get tired of it and want to look for something else. <laughs> remember clearly. Well, it's always something I want to remember, but even if I don't like it, there's no second chance. I slowly climb out of bed. If I fight a bit against the unreasonably warm air, my desire to stay wrapped up in my blanket. I knock out the, I knock out the desire to go back to sleep in the third second of the match and check myself in the mirror. Nothing's obviously wrong. It's the fact that I only have I have only about half the usual magical energy in my body. Everything is up to par. Ma. 
So where did Archer sleep? Or did he spend the entire night cleaning the living room? I just think, considering it's Ren, he probably made her... She probably made him clean the entire living room all night. For now, I want to check on the situation. Sorry to summon this Archer. He's a rude guy with no manner to spare for his summoner and master. <laughs> Top of that, I don't even know who he is. Well, I'm getting a headache already. Yeah, this game's gonna give me a headache as well in the future. Imagine like 30 hours in, they just suddenly change up the lore, and it's like, so nothing we learned back then matters. Yeah. Oh, it I'll have to live without his noble phantasm until his what? Until his memory returns. Servants are powerful familiars on their own. The noble phantasm. What makes them the most? Essentially, his superpower, like his ability. Oh, I gotcha. Servants are powerful familiars on their own, but what makes them the most powerful is the fact that they have all all have one powerful secret move. The problem is, Archer can't the remember. The Kamehameha. <laughs> That'll be funny. There was a fun fact. There was a parody series that was made a couple years back, and it's like Base State Night, but what if yeah. it's just a carnival? <laughs> It's a carnival. It's so stupid. Like, there was no fight to the death. It was just a bunch of party games. <laughs> I don't know how this book is going to exactly do fights to the death. I'm assuming it's going to be Oh, 100% text but considering it has content from the anime and the Vita, hopefully they might animate it. Maybe, but I doubt it. Oh, let me check something. Patch... Vita edition, play Vita opening in game, Vita movie menu. Well, there's a movie menu, so I'm guessing there's going to be cutscenes. That's yeah. right, and this is how things ended up. So, We're both in the same boat. Yeah. Hope he starts out so this version is literally just the Vita version, and the PC version smashed together then. Yeah, it's a combination of the two, but you can go to like the go to the editions and get rid of the Vita versions. Or like the like you go to the system and it'll show you like hey do you, what 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 version do you want do you want the PS Vita version or the original version or you can go for a mixed version and that's for currently uh, which one are we doing mixed so we can get all the content from both of them I got honestly you. looks like we got a lot of problems ahead. I'm a big breakfast girl. Meanwhile, in somebody's living room, that we had the budget to photograph. The living room is just the way it is. Honestly, I I personally believe they just took a photo of a real place and then just drew over it. There's it looks no... like one of those old houses you find in my state. I only expected it. the living room was just the way it was. I only expected him to clear up the rubble, so I'm moved that he went this far. Must have felt bad about making such a mess in the living room. He just passed have done out this. inside the clock. <laughs> Shut. <laughs> just scrunched up in there. I, I didn't know where the bed was, so I just fell asleep in this weird timekeeper. I should call him admirable, or He's maybe just a nice guy. I take it back. Shameless attitude. He doesn't deserve any praise at all. Oh, hi, yo. So you want to have to relax. She's going to bone him at least. I don't know. No, I don't know. 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 I think it focuses on Ren's POV for a bit, then switches to Shiro. And then Shiro is when we get all the choices. Nakanaka Kino Yuki to do it at Chubo. Either way, she's either gonna bone him or Shiro. I guarantee it. Yeah. The Rogue for a reason. And I'm gonna get to see none of it. Yeah, because Twitch is mean. But then again, probably for the best, yeah. because of the fact that even I would feel comfortable. Well, I installed it on my end because, uh. Yeah. Yeah. I need to get a guide for this because if like I said we're doing unlimited blade works which I think you gotta choose because there's like Rialto Nua, Heaven's Field, 
a little bit of blade works. So I do. So we gotta. Ch I gotta look up a guide to figure out which route we're gonna do. I got a headache. Why is my server checking my cleanliness? We are slowly becoming a visual novel channel, and I have no complaints. <laughs> Here's the thing. I think it's already. I think that ship has already sailed. We'll find a way to torture ourselves on Friday. No, here's the thing, like, Visual Novel Monday is still a thing. We're still gonna do our own thing. It's just that it just so happens that visual novels are our forte. We technically been backed up on it though. Technically. At the same yep. time. Friday don't worry guys, Friday I'm gonna try and get my three sixty up and running and stream some uh, Dante's Inferno. And if that not, game's a bitch on hard mode. And if not, we'll do go back to Parasite Eve, because you still need to go back for that. Dude, the Grim Reaper fight in that game is bullshit on hard mode. Oh, wasn't he the first fight in the game? Yes! That game is a bitch on hard mode. Okay, so I... Th okay, I think I figured it out. Okay. Oh, what the hell? There's like... Oh, shit, for the burnt version we have? Yeah. We might not get some of these choices. Huh. Why? Uh, apparently Rialta Nua got rid of some choices. Hmm. For, like, each route. I'm assuming those are the choices that end in Eroge scenes? Not Eroge, but more like scenes that, like, just end the game early, I think. Interesting. Oh, so they got rid of some bad endings? Yeah. That, or... Or it's just that they already chose it for you. I'm guessing that's the gist of it. Maybe. Some visual novels do that. Oh, I'm guessing the one we're playing? Yup, for the first three days in the game, uh, some of the choices might have been chosen for us, but we'll just have to wait and see. And we're only on day one. It's gonna take us like a month no. to get to day three. No, it's gonna... How do I, no, that's not the thing. We're not even in day one yet. Because the... I think oh we... Only, we You're switched... still in the prologue? Yes. This is the prologue part two. <laughs> what the fuck? Why? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So many... So many maybe this guy's broken somehow. なるほど. <laughs> I see you're not doing well. Sleep well last night. The sleep must have brought up your fatigue. You know what? I think I got I'll something for this. If we're, gonna be okay. if we're gonna be voicing this... There we go. That works. It gives me something more to do, so I'm not just sitting here reading the dialogue. Yeah, and not only that, if you're not reading it, we're gonna you're gonna fall asleep. So at home in the stranger's house... Yeah. Archer stands, Archer stands, takes out his new teacup without a moment's confusion and pours a fine rose colored tea. I'm allergic to tea! Ah, <laughs> chew! Shut <laughs> Fucking up. vomits everywhere. There are all sorts of things I want to say, but surprisingly, Fucking don't mucus feel like everywhere. Every aspect of his emotions is refined, and you can even say he's being considerate. No, he's just allergic to tea, he just dies on the spot. Hold on, hold on. It's gonna, I'm so used to the voices now, so I'm gonna put like a tiny bit. So we can at least hear it. Yeah, we like, they don't really know who's talking. Yeah, and that way, yeah, we don't. We need we... to know who's talking. And not only that, because of the fact that the only reason I couldn't the I couldn't hear you is because their voices were too loud. So it's probably for the best we have it like this. Yeah. I take a seat. Oh well, it's true that I'm tired, so I guess I'll have a drink. No, that was I me. That was me. Oh wait, that's her talking. <laughs> he had, he had I switched genders for a minute and take a sip. Oh, it's good. Of course, it's an exotic Chinese tea. It's the best part of my favorite leaf. So I get mad if it tasted bad. In fact, I get mad when someone using one of my favorites without permission. Yes, I would get mad when one improves so wonderfully. I'm too happy to complain. Chinese. The Chinese scare me. He just gets, he just gets post-traumatic stress disorder when the Chinese are mentioned. A bit too low. I'm going to put a tiny bit more. It's up to you, Chinese. I, I really don't want to make fun of these characters, but again, it gives me something to do. Yeah. 
I slam the cup down to the table. Hmm. First Hold off, on. Okay. what are you laughing about? <laughs> well, like, <you're> <laughs> <laughs> like I already saw, like the moment I heard, I read that, I'm like, okay, listen here, you little shit. <laughs> Thanks, but no thanks. I didn't become a master just to someone can brew me tea. Besides, there's no need for me to do things without orders. But I like tea! Bitch! <laughs> I see. Certainly I did not form a contract for you to brew tea or clean it after you. It's not how you want it. I'll be careful from now on. Oh god, imagine with like, the confession scene. This is gonna be so weird with both of us. Right, what I need is a powerful familiar. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> I love you too. Let us let us commence with the with the dance of tongue. <laughs> I'll just start kissing my microphone like. <laughs> I just bring my controller. By the way, my mic is my control my PS5 controller. So if it sounds like ass, that's because I'm using a mic from a controller. Never heard of a server who does things around the yeah, house. Yeah, I have like a, need, I have right? a uh, I have a podcast mic. I'll be at one you get from a store, but it's still better than the controller mic. Hmm. Actually, the PS5 mic has decent quality. Yeah, surprisingly, right? Nothing. Interpret it however you want. More importantly, do you remember who you are now? Archer shakes his head. Just as I thought. It's bad. Can't remember it after one night. Something I am the night. Easily. I am. Even if, we test, okay. even if we test various things today, this is still... Alright, I'll work out what to do with about your memory. I like the armor, but I don't like the overcoat. Like, if you're gonna do an overcoat on armor, have it go downwards. Don't have, like, two separate cloth pieces. It's weird. <laughs> yeah, you would think it would have a trench coat, right? Yeah. It looks like he's wearing a male crop top. A crop top that doesn't even go all the way. It's like one of those ones that, uh, no offense to the gay community, but it's like one of the ones that they wear like a thing or something. Shit. Okay. Yeah, it reminds me of that Yashiro from KOF 97. Yeah, it's Yashiro. Yeah, he reminds me of Yashiro. Yeah, he looks like Yashiro. Hold on. Let me send you this picture from Discord. He looks exactly like this. Hold on. He just doesn't... Does it's, he? Just that, it's just that Yashiro doesn't have the, the... The thing on the bottom where his pants are. Hold on. Let me send it to you right here. There you go. It's gotta be so inconvenient just to put on. Why not even have that? I think his original outfit looked weird. Yeah, he does. Yeah, you're right, he does. He looks so much like Yashiro. What the hell? We got to play KOF at some point, like, on Slug It Out. Like, didn't we have, like, a game? A day? Didn't we have a day for fighting games already? No, we can do it on Friday. Maybe. Get ready. There's no need if you want, want to go. We can go right now. Hey, you're going to walk around in that? That looks normal. Besides, the masters will be able to tell you're a servant right away. I don't intend to go announcing to everyone that I'm a master, you know. A woman, in case you get attacked, he needs fucking armor on you, dumb shit. Well, he can wear like Sorry. a long he can wear like a long sleeve shirt and then just take off the thing around his waist and it should be good. I was gonna say, like, if you're getting a battle zone constantly, you need armor on. That's why a lot of military guys don't take off their body where like bulletproof vest under their fatigues. What he can do That's, is that know. he would he can wear like an overshirt, like take off the top part of that of his like of his shirt and then just put like a long sleeve shirt over it. Do you think about it? Magical fights have gotta be very inconvenient for this town. Like it's gotta get destroyed at least every hundred years. Well she did say that this town is strange. And like we're no longer talking. Okay, I'm gonna put back the volume. Wasn't here, I think. Okay, let's do this. Servant or Motomoto Retaida. He sent Tojinua, Retaina, Master Nikaki Futamo Hirasu. Oh, so that's what he meant. 
召喚されたって英霊は英霊だものね。霊体に肉体を与えるのはマスターの魔力なんだから、私が魔力提供をカットすれば。自然。我々も霊体に戻る。そうなった。そういうことは。守護霊のようなものだ。エスターブルナスセ
あなたの好きなように呼んでいいわ Yes, because you're a tsundere, you bitch. Tsundere bitch mode activate. Hold on. <sighs> I can breathe. That's a blunt leaf, and I'm gonna be true. I'm a tsundere. Well, actually, it would probably be easier for me to be addressed in a reserved manner like you or Master. And he'll probably call me that. But that said, Archer mutters my name himself. So, do I. Rinto. Ah. Kono Hibikua. Jitsuni Kimini Niatir. He says something outrageous. Rin. Dosta. Nanya Kawiro no Kashina. Sundere. I turn away and start walking. I'm vexed. I don't know why, but I am. Did I just say that just to make me feel this way? Ariel, this is Yeah, that must be it. So my face getting hot, my heart pounding, they're all part of his plan. Careful, Ren. You're going to have to work with this crooked guy from now on. Yeah, here's yeah. Considering where we saw some typos, yeah, this game definitely needs to be like remastered and all that. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. Like, I don't mind like them not doing them not changing the CGs, but some like the character portraits and all that. They have the budget for it, so they can do it. Hold on, hold on a second. Remember how I mentioned last stream that there was a Fate Stay Night RPG? Yeah. What if I remember it got speaking of remakes, it actually was getting a remake. Uh <laughs> Fat Stay Night. Uh RPG. That's a whole different hentai. Yes. Yes it has. Even if it does though, it's probably not gonna come out in the US and we have to wait like a year or two for a translation. Oh, there was a Fate Stay Night fighting game. And there's a tabletop RPG? Based on that makes sense. Hold on, let me look it up. Fate Extra. Let's see. Figured out. It's called Fate Extra. And it is... Fate Extra Remake. Fate Extra Record. <laughs> so, and is that no, going to be like a remake of this game? No, it's a remake of the uh, PSP game. The PSP game is an adaptation of this game, which the PSP game was, how do I say it? It was basically just rock, paper, scissors, and unfortunately it, and no, I don't mean like, oh, this week is weak to this. I mean, it was literally rock, paper, scissors. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, but only announced it last year. We haven't got updates since, so we could probably play this game, play that game someday because it's said to be like a, a different story, uh, Fate Extra Remake. Extra record. When is this game coming out? Uh, cause it's already gonna be the end of the year. So when is it coming out? Tell me when, you assholes. Uh, all we got is a trailer. That's it. There is no other stuff. But it's a turn-based or turn-based RPG. So maybe. Jesus Christ, what is there? There's a few Musou games, but eh, Musou games are, especially at this time, kind of suck. Yeah, Fate Extra was going to be on Switch, PS4, and PC, because, you know, most Japanese games don't like Xbox, because of the fact Xbox sells like shit over there. I go out with Archer. Yep. The city we live in, live in Fuyuki City, 
can be basically divided into two towns. Here, the place with old houses and traditional buildings is Miyama City. On the other side of the river is Shinto, where modern development is happening. <laughs> I find that funny because off screen, uh, since I remember Japan announced yesterday that I was sort of working on a little, on a game, and I'm basing. Did I work that out loud? I yeah, did. Yeah, you did. And basically, what ended up happening is that I started talking about Shinto mythology. And spoiler alert. Dude, I don't know what I said last night. I was like high on cold meds. You were high on cold meds, dude. It was not even funny. But yeah, like. I know. But the clip made me realize what the fuck I was talking about. I thought yeah. more shit we talked about off screen. And I remember I commented on, like, I was like, I want, like, I was like talking about it where, like, I just want to do, like, a cyberpunk game based off of Shinto mythology. And the fact this says Shinto is where modern development happens is kind of funny. That seems like an in joke. Yeah. It's probably one of those Japanese jokes that didn't translate well. Yeah, but consider but here's the thing, me and you kinda of me and you kinda of know a bit about Shinto mythology, so I mean there's one story that I have memorized, which is the whole thing with he's a Nagi. Yeah, where he abandoned his wife and Yomi. My house is the oldest section, Miyama City. Miyama City is broadly separated into two sections as well. This is one of the sections, the western style houses where immigrants from foreign countries live. On the other side is the area of old Japanese style houses with a mountain behind it. Both sections are on top of hills, so you could say both are suburbs. The house in between these two sections are relatively ordinary. As a demonstration... Japanese style houses, at least the modern ones, are weird. You always see them built the same way in Japanese media. You go in... There's a staircase to the left, living to the right, and then like a shrine in the back. From what I'm guessing, that's sort of like a how do I say it? Like it's I've even like, seen that like in certain shows where they go to Japan. It's like really interesting. And then you have the not only that, like it's also something I noticed is that every anime that involves the same riverbed, where like you know there's a bridge and then there's like a river I mean, on the bottom of it. I bridge. guess Japan just really likes man. I mean, it's what's called a manufactured house. Japan loves those. They're this ordinary. This is the crossroads of the Miyama city and the hill leading up to the western style houses like mine. On the opposite side, a hill leads up to the Japanese style houses. Bridge leads to the neighborhood in, neighboring town of Shinto, and the other way leads to the school, shopping districts, and even Ryuido Temple up on the mountain. And if you go the other direction, it leads to the local strip club, but we don't like to talk about that. Yes. Some some may just go over there in case their mad mana is low, which, by the way, fun fact, it's a funny joke. If if we didn't have the sensor mod, it was like a joke saying, "Oh, you want to refill their mana? Okay, have sex with me." <laughs> that's like a that's a straight up like hentai manga thing. I don't know if you've ever read any Shinigami. Uh... That is like the most hentai and like ichi thing ever. Yeah, well, then again, this game. I swear it's like an ichi that I saw. Well, it is, an Eroge. Eroge. it is an Eroge for a reason, so... And Eroge is a weird term. It's not exactly hentai, like, it's sex scenes will depict, like, maybe the most... Maybe the most things it's, hen it's sex scenes will depict is, like, exposed breasts. Yeah. But that, it never depicts genitals or anything because yeah. of the way Eroge w works. Yeah, that's the gist of it. But it is funny, though. And again, uh, the other Eroge I played, which was American-made, by the way, depicted a lot. Yeah, it sucks. But yeah, if Fate Extra comes out, I want to buy it because it genuinely looks good. But is it coming to America though? Yeah, it is. It's it wasn't. It, here's the thing. Oh. It did the original came to America. It's just the fact that the game in general sucked. So they're doing they're making the remake as a sort of a second chance. Because it's like, hey, oh, so they're finally making a version of the game. They're making a game that's not rock, paper, scissors. The oh, it's an RPG. Yeah, it's not the visual novel. No. But I think the RPG the RPG was based off of the visual novel, but even then, like like I said, the game had a lot of rock, paper, scissors in it. So it's like it was mostly at random if you would win battles or not. 
So I'm reading on the back of my 3DS, off topic. Nintendo issued patents for this thing. I wonder if they were ever granted. What do they do? Patents issued in patents issued in pending. See booklet. The 3DS booklet's one of the funniest manuals ever. It's so low res images in there that it looks like there's a dude. When it tells you not to sit on your 3DS in your back pocket, it looks like there's a dude. Sh it looks like a dude shitting bricks. <laughs> and I'm like, that's amazing. It is amazing, and this is the still had mine. Of Shinto and Miyama. Years ago, a big station was built to the oh, side. That's one of those metal death traps where just a train going through it. Makes sense. It looks like the one in GTA and then it's the train that goes through it, GTA 4. Years ago, a big station... A big, it's been years. A few years ago, a big station was built over that side and has grown rapidly since then. Even though Miyama City and Shinto are in the same city, you can't think of them as totally different places. If you do think of them as, as different places, an angry mob will come and beat you up and then throw you in the river. It is one of those bridges. Those things scare the shit out of me. <laughs> it honestly looks terrifying. It's like, if so, it's like having like a smaller bridge under the San Francisco bridge. There's this one uh, intersection in Australia. I think it's called like Reaper's Intersection. So it's literally a fucking train that goes through the middle of it. It's like a four-way stop with a train that goes through the middle of it. I'm like, who designed that? That's a psychopath? That sounds terrifying. What the hell? There's a there's also a bridge in Japan called the Roller Coaster Bridge that is such a they had to connect two places together, but the bridge is so steep that it looks like they're going straight up a roller coaster ramp and every time I look at it I'm like I know it's real, but it feels like it can't be real. But it is. <laughs> Dude, Japanese mountain driving looks like the most terrifying driving you can ever do. Like, I don't know why, but if I ever go to Japan, I will not take a mountain bus, because holy shit, it looks terrifying. Yeah. By the way, off to off screen, I looked up at the at the time to beat this game, and apparently, if you just do the main story alone, it's 42 hours. It's all the side stuff, because of the fact there's multiple routes and shit. Not only that, there's this, like, special stuff, like, see, like uh, special events that can happen. So, the, those events oh, might so end can up... trigger uh, extra things. Yeah, we can trigger certain events, like side stuff that's happening. I, w I wish this VN had a... Uh, does this have a gallery mode so we know if we platinumed it? Display the current graphics. I think it does. It does not. Oh my god, we do have a... <laughs> what Oh, the... we have a relationship meter. Oh god, this one I'm going to feel bad about because... um, This is Shiro's sister. Why the fuck does she have a relationship meter with us? I don't know. Also, this is kind of spoiling Why the game. All on... This is spoiling the game already. Oh, oh, I see how they work. Yeah, you can't have a romantic relationship with her, but you can have a friendship relationship with her. Yeah. But these all look terrifying. Okay, good cause... game. Good game. Because I'm like, how does this even we don't work? Need to get in the friggin That's the question. Like, what does this mean? Also, oh, this is kind of spoiling the game already because it's showing off characters we haven't met yet. Yeah, whatever. All right. City's name is Fuyuki or Winter Tree. It supposedly, comes from the fact that winters are long here. Thinking about it, this place only has a long winter. In contrast, though, it's quite warm here in February here. And February here is about as warm as December everywhere else. That's bullshit. <laughs> what the f that is bullshit. In February, February is the dead of winter in New Jersey, and it's like a fucking freezing wasteland whenever New Jersey hits February. I hate it. So you thought you had it bad? Nah. Here's the thing. It's hot as hell over yeah, here. We have the February. same weather as Japan a lot of the time, so it's got to be like that there too. That's bullish. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, but J J Jersey, it's ten times worse. It is. It's like a fucking <laughs> wasteland over freezing wasteland in the winter over here, especially in the dead of winter. I hate it. 
it's bullshit over here because it's hot as hell in February because spring might as well be called early summer over here. Perfect summer. In contrast. <laughs> oh, it takes till after March to warm up in Jersey usually. Yeah, it starts warming up in January. I bet a few hot springs would turn if you turn up if you went digging around. Then again, this half-hearted cold would make the city a poor hot springs resort. Fuyuki City has a friendly winter and a strange climate that enters spring in April with no changes. Ah, uh, so it's like Boston. The <laughs> you just it's a flip of a coin where either you it's like that has something to do with the magic and or the town being weird or some bullshit. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's weird. Shinto is all like this, a rapidly developing town. I feel like they're world building for a scene later on where they're gonna be like, it's fucking freezing. <laughs> yeah, I get the feeling this game's gonna do a lot of that. The rapidly developing town started to build tall buildings as if rushed by something, and as a result, looks very artificial. You can tell because everything looks too straight. So, I mean, would you rather it look... No, I'm not going to make that joke. No, that's only funny. in the last 10 years. From what I hear... I mean, it looks all has... straight, right? Yeah, but that could be the angle. Yeah, I think it's the angle Listen, it is. Listen, but if you, make it look, if you make it look gay, then it'll throw everything off. Okay, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> From what I... <laughs> I love you, homo. I, I love you guys in the fucking LGBT community, but I can't help making fun of you sometimes. Here's the thing, I, the ones that are normal don't care. It's the crazy ones you gotta worry about. If they're normal, they don't care because they're not afraid of making fun of themselves either. But if it's the ones that are like crazy, the one that's like you know check your privilege and all that, yeah, those are the ones you should worry about. Yeah. What, most gay people are normal. It's those select few on Twitter that are annoying. From what I hear, the big fire here ten mean? years ago pretty much burned down the whole residential district. These buildings were constructed on the land no one lived on anymore. Here's the thing. If no one's using the land, why would you feel bad? Someone made a gay-shaped building and it's set on fire. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you oh. realize you just made a new fucking gag. I did it without... No, right? here's the thing. I just said that these buildings are straight. Yeah, That's man. how you know it's sci-fi. But then you brought up the gay joke. And then I said, do you want a gay building? Dude, Look, one of my favorite jokes in the gay community, which I've heard a million times on like gay TikTok and I love it, is you know how like Chick Fil A is really against gay people. Yeah, and you open a chicken, re you open an all beef restaurant next to the Chick Fil A, right? That's only open on Sundays and is exclu and has a uh, and is very openly gay. <laughs> I'm like, that'd be amazing. I'd eat there. And this is the center of it. <laughs> this Okay, they definitely... Dude, there ain't no party like a gay beef party. Oh, hell yeah. I just realized they definitely went to some random forest, because this does not look like it's drawn. How do you think these visual novels... Yeah, they put a filter over it. VN filters. How do you think they save on budget? It feels like a filter, but at the Oops. same time, it, it doesn't. Hold on, let me see if I can show the art. Look, you see what oh, I mean? So we now interrupt this visual novel to bring you a scene from Quanad. Yeah, but look what I mean. Like, right. it doesn't look cell shaded, but at the same time, it does. Either that, or when they were making the CGs, it literally took them a month just to get this one thing done. You know, your monitor has HDR. My monitor keeps having the corrects for your HDR. It's really funny. He's having the what? My monitor keeps having to correct for your HDR. Ah, this is Shinto's park. Oh, I already read that. I ask Archer, who's standing next to me. Can't see him, of course. It's... This is Shinto Park. A ton of people are buried underneath us. Yes, a bunch of the gods that are angry with us. Look how gloomy it is here. I want some Reese's Cups, but I don't want to take them from my older brother to get mad at me. Do it. Conundrums. I look around the park. The park this big and organized should be playground for kids, even on weekdays. But there are only a few Dude, people here. I don't know what the fuck it is at Reese's Cups, but you could buy any other bag of candy for like five ninety nine, two ninety nine, right? Guess how much Reese's are for a bag of mini Reese's? How long? How much? 
Fourteen dollars. I don't understand I'm it. So, I'm so I'm sorry. Would you like to repeat that to me? So you can buy a normal bag of Reese's of like the big Reese's cups for like two ninety nine. But if you want a big bag of the minis, it's fourteen ninety nine in New Jersey. It's fucking stupid. That the is same for Hershey Kisses. That is a fucking scam because where I'm at, they're seven bucks. I mean, I don't even think Hershey Park charges that much for that. And you that can buy, is... like, giant, like, 20-pound Reese's from them for that less is... than that. That is bullshit right there. Isn't it the bullshit? The price. <laughs> the price. <laughs> the price. <laughs> the price. 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 I'm kind of interested in the world building they're doing. This place is weird and I love it. If, like, I know it, right? It's like, it looks normal, but it feels like there's something off, right? There's definitely something behind the surface. Like, they keep saying, like, weird fires that have happened in this town. Yeah, yeah. the weather's weird. Yeah. Like I said, it feels like, it feels like everything should be normal, but it's not. Like, there isn't really much going on, but at the same time, like, if because of that, it feels like there's something should be happening. Archer says nothing, but even Probably though I Probably for all the holy him, magic wars they have in this town. Yeah, no shit. Even though I can't see him, I can tell that he's feeling something special. I feel nostalgic for all the skulls I've crushed in this park. Oh god. あたしも事情は知らないけど、前回の聖杯戦争はここで終結して、それっきり。なるほど。それでこんなにもここは。ああ、それですか。いや、he Servants of spirits we are, being similar, we are being similar to grudges and Archer formed obsessions. Therefore, we are sensitive to reality marble. Oh god, another, another explanation. Oh god, reality marble. One of the magic considered to be the pinnacle of Maggie, said to be infinitely closer to sorcery. For hundreds of years, Hang on, I got this. a boundary field has been a defensive field that protects a magus. Put simply, it's a vicious version of a security system on a house. A boundary fill is a boundary field is something applied to an existing area or building to protect oneself from outside enemies. But it is merely a transformation applied to what already exists. But a reality marble. Wait, is so they put a boundary earth on the part? I'm already confused, and we're only like 40 minutes in. Uh, yeah, you get used to it. Bait for you. Get used to it, brother. Wait, it's not as bad as the second Zanky Zero just throwing, teach, trying to teach you theoretical physics. <laughs> no, at least it ain't Steins Gate. <laughs> I am Kyobe Ryoma, whatever the fuck his name was. A reality marvel is an image that erodes reality. That fucking Chuni. Oh wait, I don't have. I would say Adam that went to the counter, but I'm not the one streaming. And I don't know. Yeah, we know the counter up. No, why would you say it? That fucking Chuni. <laughs> oh, you said it. <laughs> I know I said it on purpose. <laughs> oh god. You so, said it on accident. <laughs> the imagined world of Magus. I'll make a note to add those to the counter. Reality by letting a Magus heart take form. This is what we call a reality marble. So for those who don't know, whenever we stream Steins Gate, the character is a fucking Shuni weeb, which means he believes he's another person entirely. So whenever we utter the phrase, you fucking Shuni, it gets added to the count. No, he, he likes to act fantastical and like is much bigger than he actually is. In other words, it's a large ring's magic that distorts, no, remakes the world as a Magus wishes. Like, have you ever seen ch the Chunibyo anime? Oh, wait. I think I still... Oh, you don't have the... Yeah, you don't have the f accompanying file, so you could... I have to send you the counter files. <laughs> yeah. 
アーチャーのくせに珍しい言葉を知ってるなってなんだ知っていてはおかしいかだってそうじゃない固有結界っていうのは魔術師にとっては近畿中の近畿奥義の中の奥義だものアーチャーであるあなたが知ってるなんて筋違いよ And that means secret principle, secret principle. Interesting. What the hell? Kinky means something else in English. I could tell what she said. She said, Kinky Chuno Kinky. Right when it was typing the words, the sweet principle, se sweet. Yeah, the sweet principle, secret principle. A secret principle, a secret principle. Secret principle, secret principle. How does. Jesus. Oh, what sort of. Secret principle, secret principle. Secret principle, secret principle. Secret principle, secret principle. Okay, I'm good. Oh, that. Oh, that's a tongue twister I've ever heard one. Doesn't make any sense for an archer to know about it. Isn't that right? I asked him my expression. Yeah, Chad, I can translate some Japanese. Not all of it. That's why we're using an English patch for this shit. Yeah. And thing is, that patch also has some typos. So. Yeah, it's not the best. Also, hold on. Did we ever lag out for a bit? Hold on, just in case. A couple times. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, yep, we did it twice. First thing was like five seconds in and it did it. Yep. Uh, yep. Do me a favor, hit the little bars on the bottom. What? There should be little bars on the bottom, like that look like Wi Fi bars. Yeah. Click on those? Yeah, I did. It's, uh, does it say stream hell? Your stream quality is good, so I think it's fine. What the here's, hell? Then it's Twitch, then. Here's the thing, I'm recording it, so even- I have stream quality is good all the time, and it still does that. So here's the thing, I'm recording it well, as yeah, well, yeah, we still have the VOD. So... That's weird, though. Is that- Wait a minute! No! What happened? Oh no! I had. Did B you hit the R key? I forgot to tell you that's hot. No, key. I I had B right back on. It's all right. It's okay. It's We're a visual. Fine. It's a visual, visual novel. novel. It's a We're visual novel. We're making jokes half the time anyway. It's We're a visual fine. novel, anyways. Turn and it off. And we're reading it too, so people can still hear it. Uh, no wonder. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Oh, that means the VOD will be kind of No wonder our one... Ah, uh, whatever. Still recording it anyway. We need to test this functionality. Yeah. Oh, I'm just dumb. I didn't realize. Dude, I have such... Wait, we can check the Twitch. Try checking, try checking the Twitch, because remember how I... Went like had to do something real quick and then I had to press be right back. Like let's uh, okay, uh, check how long we've been like having that on. It keeps VOD splitting, so I'm not sure. Can't check it until it becomes a VOD, so I can't check it till we're done streaming. Wait, we're fine. You, it was only you... on for like. Just At most, phone? it was on for like 10 minutes. I can, but not till the stream's done, until it's a video. At most, we've had it. It's not on now, so at most, we've had it on for, I guess, 10 minutes. No, I just Maybe. barely turned not it like off. like an hour, like that time. Because I barely turned it off. All right, just don't hit the I or O keys. <sighs> Isn't that right? I asked my expression, and then I said some <sighs> sighing heavily next to me. Dim. <sighs> あいつがライン入りくじを君は優秀だが、それゆえに他人を過小評価する欠点がある。なにげにストレの子と言うわね、あんた。フォーム、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なんか、なん
Turning bad habits out of a horse. Is that written or did you just say that? Yeah, it's sort of like that. Oh, it's, oh, okay. Eh, now it's Right arm suddenly hurts. Deep. We mean we interrupt this visual now to bring you death though. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> the, the command spell engraved on my right hand is hurting. Small warning if to get to my attention. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, is he breaking the command bell? No, someone's watching him. Someone's watching her. I extended my consciousness to my surroundings. I well, yeah, it's those damn lizard people that are disguised as humans. We know they're assholes. Yeah. I don't know who it is, but if Archer can't sense it, it has to be a master. There aren't seven of us yet, but if we wanted to, we could start a fight at any, at any time. He's the one watching us once the battle. Reiji was Reiji. He was the one watching us once the battle. We could start a fight at any time, causing thousands of dollars worth of collateral damage to this here park. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah, it's the same thing. 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 What are they fucking Dragon Ball Z characters? The master is close to the magic circuit. That's troubling. That means we'll show them our location. You do Arch takes a deep breath and goes quiet as if she's shocked. I ask, remembering our previous conversation. But Arch just says, that's impossible. He says, trying to hold back his laughter. You can tell it's sundown because everything became orange. <laughs> we put an orange tint over the screen. Yes, we don't mind our viewers going blind. I also like to like his response, but I decided to continue walking around town. So it <laughs> and you can tell it's night because everything became black and white. <laughs> We tour the important places, really dragging our observer around, have dinner along the way, and bring things to a conclusion. We've been walking a lot, and it's now seven. This time of night, our destination should give us the best view. Whoa! A strong wind. The tallest building in Shinto. The view from the rooftop of this building is a fitting end for this day. No. How the fuck did they get up on the tallest building of Shinto? That's the tourist thing. I think, I think Archer brought her up there. <sighs> That's what she said. Yeah, I think that's what she said. Uh, voice is certainly not true. You can't I was hoping you'd say yes. Seize, Hashi Atari Madagana. Socomadanara, Tire no Kazagrai, a meat Oh, so he has enhanced eyesight. Yeah, he's like a hawk, essentially. So, Tire, Hashi no Tire? 
Oh, so there's like an oldies radio station near me? Got it. You're like, <laughs> he's like, yes, I can see that tot and tiles on the bridge. I can also see that couple in that alley doing things. They're doing disgusting things to each other. Yeah, What's that one guy doing to her? Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, they're he's playing engaging. patty cake. He's down on one knee and he pulled out a ring. Oh god, he's playing patty cake. That is disgusting. Oh, he's holding her hand. Cake. Do these people have no shame? <laughs> Archer, I don't think they're playing patty cake. I think they're holding hands. What shame. It's not just good. It's like a massive telescope in front of these rooftops. リン、まさかとは思うが、君、私を馬鹿にしているんじゃないだろうな。<笑><笑> Yes. James Archer is taking a liking to the view as he falls silent. Before working out the town's layout. And after all, boys are in the So I'm assuming if the summoner dies, they get instantly de-summoned. Yep, that's the gist of it. Because the only way they can be here is because they are sharing their energy with the with the master. It's literally just that spell we'll have spell books. Yeah, and more complicated. And longer. Yeah. I'll leave Archer's side and we can get into the building. We got Thalsa Kerga. All I can see with my eyesight is the lights below this building. Like the headlights of the cars in the street and the people going home after work. I can't tell what kind of cars, what kind of people they are. I can see them, but still not see them. Even though I literally I can't just tell said what kind of people they them. are. Just like noticing I... someone who's watched me before, but not be able to see the watcher. Can't tell people they are, but the back of the car says escort service. At the very least, there's one person that has his base in Shunto. Straight my eyes and stare below me. There are seven masters in all. Still don't know who the masters are, nor which service they command. Right now, I assume all the masters are walking around town collecting information on other masters. Suddenly, I feel someone's eyes on me. I feel like one's a Pokemon master. There's no reaction from my command spell. I just feel someone's eyes on me. Stop. From below? I look down. There are many people walking around on the road. One of them is a person. One person is looking up at me as if looking up at the moon. I can't tell for sure who that is. I can't tell for sure, but I still know who it is. It's surprising. What's he doing at this kind of time? Lim, take you meet Kitanoka. Archer calls out to me as if sensing my excitement. Metsuni? Tadashi, I can't tell you. I answer behind my irritation and leave the place where I'm standing. There's no way he could have seen me from the ground. He must have been looking up at the building by coincidence. You say that, yet you're standing by the edge. Where people can Standing clearly see you. On the edge of the underworld. Shut up so we don't get a copyright strike. So it doesn't mean I was noticed. But still. Dude, the MGS5 uh, Phantom, Phantom Pain theme is fucking dope. I don't care about the rest of the game. Oh, it is dope. I, 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 don't, I know what you mean. Nuclear was amazing. I'm angry that I'm see me acting as a magus. I haven't played Phantom Pain, but I heard it's weird it's not it's less it's good it's great but at the same time there's a lot of stuff you need to play like for example you need to play through mgs3 peace walker and ground zeros to understand phantom pain yeah hideo kojima just likes putting the weirdest of shit into his video games he's like a i don't know how to describe it he's like a friggin uh he like treats it as an art form as it should be treated Yes, but at the same time, he's also weird. Cause it's, cause let me just say this. <laughs> what fact do I hit? I mean, Kojima? his last game was about some celebrity dude carrying a fucking baby in a jar through a wasteland. Cause a little fun fact, uh, he had like a lot of gay jokes in MGS3, and it's I think fans have theorized that he's 
actually somewhat gay, or at least oh he's fucking bi. definitely. <laughs> Look what he did to Norman Reedus. Like guarantee they must be like he must be a bit bisexual. He just leans towards women. Definitely. Mostly. Um, what is this new game about? I forget the name of it. That's I know stranding. it was announced at like Game Game Awards or something. Death Stranding too. Was it a sequel to Death Stranding? Yeah, it was. He did, he announced I think it. It was. A, I thought it was a new project. Nah. I think it wants to finish the story of this stranding first before going to new product projects because at this point, uh, his name means a lot. So that means if Sony loses that name, uh, they're losing a lot. Of oh money. yeah, DS two. Now it's this one about talk. carrying a baby through a uh, yes. nuclear wasteland or whatever. Yes, it is. Unlike Shinto, Niyama City is an old residential district. No one walks around after nine, and the town grows as quiet as midnight. You can tell it's midnight because everything is dark as hell. And also black and white. Is it black and white? No, it's more like... What type of color is this? Gray. Grayish Violet. blue. Grayish blue. It's like a navy blue. Yeah. By it's a navy blue. By the time we get back to Miyama City, it's already past 9 o'clock. Unlike Shinto, Miyama City... Oh, I read this. Hmm. あ、町のことならわかる。あとは追い追いつかんでいくさ。なら、今日はまだ本調子じゃないし、家に戻って休みましょう。あ、そう。あ、おい、ウィフ、ウィフ、ツー、ツー、ツー、ツー、ツー、
そう、話し すぐに戦闘を仕掛けない君の判断はない。<笑> Annoying priests. What a jerk. He already be, he's, oh, the priest, dude. He and A. He'll already be getting ready to call in a substitute Magus. I don't really care about that, but he is my guardian, so I should at least do the right thing. Then what? Then what? Oh, her dad's a priest. That sucks. No, it's a guardian, not her dad. Her dad is dead. I feel like having a dad who's a priest is at least as bad as having a dad who's a cop. Oh yeah, because when they're a when you have a dad who's a priest, probably worse. Here's the thing: if you have a dad who's a cop, probably worse. If you have a dad who's a cop, it's understandable because of the fact they're actually doing something worthwhile. A dad who's a priest, well, that's a whole can of worms. I don't want to talk actual about. Priests are no I'm pretty sure most priest children are adopted. Cause I'm pretty sure priests aren't allowed to have kids for some weird religious bullshit reason. No, they're not allowed to have. You know, do the do the thing. Hey Siri, can a priest have children? I dial the number and send the fake priest picks up. Kira, I'm just but I've been to child and religious resources. Brief silence. Kira's silence is enough pressure to stress you out even over the phone. <laughs> can I read Kira, please? Then what do I do? いつの <laughs> Yeah, but I really wanted to. Uh, Reading like the hyper nerd. I'm not fucking blaming you. Understood. Now what? You should come and see me at least once. I have something to give you that I received from your parents. They have to give it to you only if you become a master before you become an adult. Oh, so that's what you're talking about? That's why I'm going to take care of it. So, if you want to go, i Wait, before go. No. I must Mata tell you bin. something important. Master you, not hey, Tareen, if you're I a master up, now... I hang up not hearing him out. Did you ever do that? I was gonna tell her to buy a box of condoms, but she didn't. I feel cheated. I hang up not hearing him out. Listen Have I done what now? While I'm tired will help me recover my magical energy. Wait, have I done what? Done with what it? What I say? You said what? It, have you ever done that before? Done what? Uh, just hang up on someone for no reason. Uh, by accident usually. Uh, all that's left is sleep. When I wake up next, it should be completely different. Okay, morning. so we're clear that he has a nerd voice now, right? A hundred percent. Ten years ago. I don't think I can repeat that performance though. That was fun. <laughs> that was great. Here's the thing. It would be hard to do. Again, the Holy Grail War, which my I father speak. defeated as a master and was defeated. Now I'm entering that same battle. It's hard to give yourself a purposeful lisp. Yeah, because... I can give myself it. gravel in my voice. But giving a lisp is a pain in the ass. Oh, we're on... We're, I think we might be switching to a new POV. We might. Oh, so, thank God. This bitch is annoying me. After breakfast, I clearly <laughs> can explain my immediate plans. Nani? Wait, you go, no, I'm not going to read her like that. 
No problem, it's just... Archer hesitates, but does not object. He must have realized I'm yesterday gonna that I'm miss gonna you. back my decisions. I can kind of tell without him saying so. Archer is sarcastic, but he has an honest side to him. He starts crying because he doesn't want her to leave like a kid at daycare doesn't want their parents to so leave him there. So it seems he won't complain about something he accepted. Yes, in other words, he's faithful in an awkward way. This is my conclusion. No more of an intuition after watching Archer for all of yesterday. Deep. After binging all of Archer last night, <laughs> you binged all of Archer last night. I... No, for some reason I forgot to say it was Archer, and I forgot she was talking. I thought she was talking about the show. <laughs> oh wait, she binged all of Archer last night. That show was even a thing during this game. No, but I heard that show was hilarious. マスター同士の戦いは人目を避けるものでしょ。それなら。そうか。リンがそう決めたのなら、私は従うだけだ。I see. That's what you decided. I can only obey. By the way, you better have hot pockets in this bitch. You know what I realize? This art style is very 2000s. I love it. Yeah, it's like a PS2 art style almost. Yeah, I like I love it too. It looks great. Daga. But I can guard you in spirit form, right? You don't intend for me to stay here when you're in school. I don't intend to stay in the school. Wait, so she wants him to stay in the house while she's at school? Yeah, but he but he's suggesting against it because of the fact that it's hard to protect her at school. But what if she gets attacked on the way to school? Considering, you know, one of her classmates is also part of the war. Probably. I've always been attacked to both the characters because one of them has to die. Oh yeah, guarantee one of them is gonna die. I think because I watched a bit of the anime, not all of it, just a bit, the clips. And I don't know if it's actually a thing that he could prevent, but at the same time, I think it was done for emotional Usually, most visual novels with character deaths in them, or latter death games have ways to get everyone out alive that's the whole theme of zero escape is you yeah you can get it alive yourself by betraying your allies but the goal of zero escape is to get everyone out alive that's why those games take 50 hours to complete to complete but not to beat well yeah you can beat a single playthrough in like an hour but it takes like 50 hours to get the whole thing. Manami and your seto to Kyoshi and your hiding to is that Fate as a franchise could have died in the 2000s, but because of the fact they got it, because the anime that came out like two years after this sucked absolute dog tits, it was terrible. I'm surprised they got a second chance at an anime like years later, which is leagues better. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the early 2000s was, 2000s, like, 5 to 2009 was not a good year for anime unless your name was Naruto. Or one, one of the big three. Yeah, you're either Bleach, Naruto, Oh, unless your name was Naruto or Death Note. Unless or your name was Bleach, Naruto, Death Note, or One Piece. You were kind of screwed into the 2000, until the 2010 seasonal anime boom. Or the yeah. second anime boom, as I call it. Not only that, the, the anime from, like, 2006 for this game kind of sucked because of the fact that there's a meme... Where it just shows Shiro, Shiro saying, like, in this emotionally impactful moment, saying, people die when they are killed. And I'm like, no shit. <laughs> Wait, that's from this game? No, it's a quote from the anime. People die when they're killed. <laughs> oh. There's a, there's a quote for Quinnat, too, that's <laughs> like... Yeah, it was, but it was funny. It was awkward. Was it like Why a series? Why you scripted that? It's like it's like in a serious. It's, is it like a serious moment? And they just say something oh, super. Oh, it was dumb. this. He's like, she's like, 
No, the mom was surprised the daughter was pregnant. So the daughter's like, I always forget her, forget her name. She's like, Mom, we have sex and sex makes babies. I'm like, oh my god, they really just say that? <laughs> it's like common, I think it was meant to be like common sense sort of thing. Where it's like, it's what like, do you expect? Mom, we're married, we have sex, sex makes babies. Like, what do you expect? <laughs> yeah. Unless she was expecting them to have protected sex, which I don't think is a big thing in Japan. Here's the thing. Considering Japan's population right now, they don't need condoms. <laughs> no. They need less working hours for the husband and better child care. Yeah. Or else... It yeah. China's in the so, same boat, which is why they lifted their one child policy and expanded it to two. Which is still not enough. No. Like, there are towns in Japan that they're literally paying foreigners and Japanese citizens to move to because the towns are literally dying out. With the population of the town are literally dying. Like, think of one of those town building games and, like, these people are just dropping dead. They're so old, and look, there's no one young enough to fill the gaps of the uh, town population. That happened to uh, this one really nice old guy in my uh, town that uh, used to give frosty coupons out every uh, Halloween. He was freaking uh, The owner of his house now has a terrifying ass dog. Ooh. Like every time I walk my little dog, my mom's little dog, that thing wants to like pounce him. And the dude just like lets it run off leash. I'm like, dude, I feel like arguing. I'm like, bro, can you leash your dog? Seriously. Mine's leashed. But I'm not that kind of caring ass neighbor, so I don't do it. Now, if it ever attacks one of my dogs, that's a different story. You know? Yeah. Yeah, okay. My mom was like, you should bring Pepper. You should bring Mace with me. I'm like, Mom, I'm not bringing Mace with me to spray the pitbull. Yeah, that makes sense. Why this is only happening? My little dogs are idiots and think they're freaking big, so they'll probably try and fight. Here's the thing. Mine are the same way, except one of them knows to stand down. Because my other dog, yeah. uh, she's like her father. She doesn't like to stand down that easy. So, like... And not only that, they're like pit bulls somewhat. They're like American bullies. So you need to sort of just learn how to stand your ground. And what I'll do is that basically I'll just walk up to her and just stare her down. In order to try to get her to back right. down. And it works most of the time. But then again, she'll try to trick me. They actually me. banned that breed recently in... In Jersey? Not in Jersey, in the EU. Yeah, basically, like, cause here's the thing. She, but she's smart though. She basically, what she does is that when she sees me staring her down, what she'll do is that she'll get in her belly, and I'm like, okay, that's fine. And I give her, try to give her belly rubs, only for her to immediately turn around and try to bite me. Mm. You might want to do what I do with my cat that does that. And just, it, she probably just doesn't feel secure being pet there. Here's the thing. There, here's the thing. But there are times she does let me pet her there. But that's only because she wants me to scratch her somewhere. Every other time yeah. I try to get close, she immediately tries to bite. But then, like, I think... But, yeah. Are they guard dogs or are they family dogs? Both. Both. Yeah, that can explain it. And they're just small as dry. Like and they live in, like... You know, you live out in farm country? Yeah. Hmm. Just that action. But you don't have livestock that he's defending, right? No. But if I did, I would be late for school. Huh. Yeah, I don't have... I was gonna say, if you did, they'd be pretty good only... livestock. They'd be pretty good guard dogs. Here's the thing. They're only guard dogs because of the fact my neighborhood is... Here's the thing. My neighborhood's right next to the ghetto. And, like, in between the oh, city as well. Oh, yeah, I see why you have guard dogs. Like, it's not in the ghetto, but at the same time, we're close to it. Like, we're literally... My mom has a basset hound that's like... What? We're, like, right next to it, but at the same time, right next to the city. So, we're like, we're in that in-between. 
So there was a leak of bets in my town once. I was like and my uh, we had a gold retriever named Sashi at the time. Definitely, she would not attack anybody if they broke in, but she scared the shit out of whatever burglar was trying to rob people. <laughs> and they never robbed our town again. That's funny. Usually, gold retrievers aren't barkers. Too. That's the funny thing. Uh, my first goal in the half of little would be like bark five seconds later bark five seconds later bark uh, he's like a, a shinigami from death note at this point just like invisible and talking to her yeah, but the only difference is I feel like anyone, everyone else can hear her, hear him. He has to whisper. As soon as we pass the school's main gate, we joke around like that. Around us are students in classrooms, and it's almost time for homeroom. And the crowd of people rushing into the school building, we stand dumbfounded. The <laughs> Oh, I guess the other kid's doing stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like that. I feel like it's kind of like that. あたしのテリトリーでこんなキスなものしかけたやつなんて。あ、literally <笑> You know, technically she doesn't win this, she's disappointing every single one of her ancestors. Oh, is she is. Thing. She is mad petty, has a bad temper, and yeah, pretty much just disappointing her ancestors. Walking around the schoolyard has a magus, I'm not about Daughter, to Daughter, you so must win this war for your father's so legacy. Use his command spell so. immediately. And you'd be like, and you'd be like, the dad just uh, watching her from the afterlife and being like, like why did Son you use it and and then why did you use a command spell that's ultra important? And it's like because he didn't want to clean the room. <laughs> like I said, she's mad petty. The dad just watching her from the afterlife and being like, oh for fuck's sakes. After second period, we're walking back from the music room. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. As I see a first year student walking walking unsteadily, the student is carrying some stack of papers and looks like she's having trouble. <laughs> さか、先輩。何プリント?世界知って言ったらうちの担任じゃない。くずきのやつ、女性と見つかいをさせるなんて何考えてんだか。はい。ありがとうございます、先輩。I think if I'm correct. I'm a girl do this. You're a girl. Well, it's not a girl, but still. If I'm correct. Oh yeah, she's one of the girls you can date. Question is why her? Alright, back to the game. Oh yeah, oh here you go. Yeah, I've been looking for the American high school. You know how our high school you walk across the class? Yeah. A lot of Japanese high schools you don't do that. It was like, it's how my special ed works in, uh, elementary and through high school. Ah. That's how my vocational school worked as well. Uh. <laughs> wow. Oh, God. Here's the thing. Not gonna lie, I would love to have a guy like that, because that means we're gonna take a test for something. That would, that, Wait, that guy, so he, can't... <laughs> he canceled the test. The ironic was... thing is, it's a spelling test. <laughs> <laughs> it's just 
spelling test. He even spells the thing. He's like, well, oh, gotta cancel the test now. That fucking printer never works right in the staff room. Here's Everyone, the thing. make sure to open your books and pretend you're busy. Bro, I had a teacher like that where you're like, okay, first off, uh, in, like, and the moment I went to his classroom once, immediately when we sat down, he just stood up and said, okay, so I don't have a lesson planned. So, um, take out your notebooks. So that way, and you can just view as your phone, be on the computer. But here's the thing. Have your notebooks out to, in order to make pretend that you're actually doing work because I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, he, he said, said that like came in hangover and is like. Usually, most teachers just throw on a movie, though. Yeah, here's the thing, though. That's what my teachers my, did. What my schools would do is that we need to get like permission from the office. But the thing is, uh. When that type of thing happened, we couldn't, they didn't, how do I say it? They got to like offer that, how do I say it? They got to ask beforehand. So they can't like the previous day, they can't just suddenly have a movie playing. They got to like ask for it and like pre-plan uh, it. Sucks. Like a lot of the time, well, my teachers would pre-plan them into the lesson, but there was some, there was sometimes like mostly towards the end of the year where they didn't have anything planned. So they would just put a movie on. Yeah, like... Because my generation couldn't just whip out their cell phones like yours could. <laughs> we yeah, did like, big shit. They only... They wouldn't... Only wouldn't pre-plan them unless... Until the end of the year, like you. Because it's... Well, it's the end of the year. What the hell are you going to do after your big tests? We watched Bridge to Terabithia and I was reminded how fucking depressing that movie is. Yeah. Do you know the book is banned in a lot of schools because of anti-religious messaging? Which is weird, because the movie had religious messages in it. Yeah. That but... movie was honestly the first thing that turned me off to religion. I guess yeah. that's why the book's banned. Yeah. Wasn't banned in my school district. We had the, That was required reading in one of my classes. Speaking of required reading, there was a book we had to read in my class called Numbers, which is basically if any of you didn't ever read that, basically it's a story about this lady who sees numbers above, who can sense numbers from people, and those numbers were essentially the date of death for those people, and essentially, and essentially, that made her depressed because she's like, I already know these people are going to die. And she's like, you know what? I'm not going to bother with the world and these people. Not only that, she was also depressed and she was an emo. Because literally during one of the passages, it literally said of like teachers like, oh, make a list of what you plan to do for the future. What like, what do you want to do or what you think of the world? Everyone was like all happy go lucky. Hers was the only depressing one. And she's like, you know what? Really? Yeah, hers was the only depressing one. And she was like, you know what? I made it already. I'm going to just say it. And next thing you For know... one of our projects, we have to... Next Sorry. thing you know, it was one of the more depressing scenes I've ever heard. Or I'm assuming they sent her to the guidance office. Yes. <laughs> and then, but the thing uh, is... They have to do that by law to make sure it's compressed. Yeah, it was in London, so... 2010 London. Oh, everybody's suppressed in London. It was 2010 London. <laughs> <laughs> and basically the whole plot is sort of also a love story because it involves her running away from home with like a guy who he named her, who was named Spider. And essentially the two ended up falling in love. And it's and we had to read through them having sex. <laughs> oh, that must have been funny. It, yeah, here's the thing. That was in seventh grade. <laughs> lucky bastard we had to <laughs> we, we couldn't watch fucking certain movies that were based off the curriculum because they had sex or a tit in them god forbid we're all like 16 17 who cares here's the thing we funnily all had sex ed. we know what this shit is you know what's funny <laughs> is that in high school one of my history teachers put on an old queen victorious movie and it showed of her banging one of the people <laughs> Really? We yeah. had to watch the Leo Leonardo, Leo, Leo, whatever the fuck his name is, Leonardo DiCaprio version of <laughs> fucking <laughs> Romeo and Juliet. And it was the most, and if you've never seen that movie, it's not even popcorn fun. It is the most offensive, <laughs> shitty movie you'll ever see in your life. And I hate it. 
<laughs> Not even Leonardo DiCaprio could save that film. Yeah. He or she is present to say it's a good film for me, but it's not even. It's, it's the way they did it, like just setting it in a modern setting. Like, when, they had guns that replaced swords, but they waved the guns around like they were fucking swords! Why? Why? Dude, I wish that movie was public domain so bad so you could gross the shit out of it, but it's not. So? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> it won't be public domain until we're both dead. Yeah, it's gonna take like what, 30, 40 years? Public domain should be 50 years, not 100. I'm sorry. It's fucking yeah, stupid. That makes sense. At our school, they teach you like all the students. You don't teach you about all students. The balance between the two works so well that I think Kazuki right? Sensei is a good They constantly fuck people to come in. He's a stick in the carrot. He's the stick. We always get it talking about approach. school nostalgia during these scenes. Yeah, every time a school scene comes up, we always get nostalgic for some reason. Actually, you do. I just get reminded of memories I don't want to talk about. I do. I'm nostalgic for high school. Middle school can go die in a fat fire. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. No one loved middle school. Middle school was those years where puberty was happening. Everything was going wrong. Everyone was swearing. Everyone hated each other. And it wasn't until high school when people calmed down and realized there's more to life than being edgy. Yeah. There was this meme going around my senior year where people just yelled, Lip action! Didn't get it, but people did it. It was weird. Yeah, middle school is one of those edgy times where, like, you're barely transitioning into a, a teenager, and you think dark stuff, dark and edgy stuff like Spawn is cool, which Spawn is cool, but for different, but as a kid, you only liked them because of the fact that you wore red and black. I mean, that's when I went for my weave phase was middle school, that's when it started. Yeah, I found out my weave phase in elementary, but that's because I had cousins who were weaves, and I would watch Bleach with them in their rooms. I mean, at least you had quality anime entertainment. Bleach was fantastic. Yeah, one of my one of my cousins fucked with me once. We were watching a episode of Bleach where it was like Toshiro, like using his like one of his abilities, and what ended up happening is that it was a long scene, like super super long. Like it was like three minutes of just back and forth staring, of seeing if the attack worked, and he just kept going three, I love when two, does that. two, two, two two until it finally happened and i'm like bro how long is this scene gonna go for <laughs> oh is he just rewinding it no he wasn't right? no that's how long the scene was it was genuinely that long see i never watched bleach when it aired i watched it uh i think i watched it like for some anime shit for like years ago oh you fuck me senpai i know it's the first chapter Okay, when she puts her sleeve like that, look at her left sleeve. I just watched a thing on the Blair Witch Project, and her left sleeve cufflink looks just like the fucking totem from that movie. Speaking of Blair Witch, the guys behind the Blair Witch game are doing the Silent Hill 2 remake, which... Who they made a boy. Blair Witch game? Yeah, but it sucks. Basically, the whole thing How was would that... How you even do that? Here's the thing, they didn't. It was just a story about a man who was a, an ex-soldier who was going through some PTSD after losing his service dog. And... I was gonna say, the Blair Witch itself is a uh, indie horror project. How would you even do that? And basically what ended up happening is that the last 30 minutes were only, were the only places that were placed for the Blair Witch. But essentially... Really? But essentially the whole plot was he was going through PTSD. You want to know what the ending was? Because he has PTSD, he was like... I'm only gonna hurt people, so I'm gonna kill myself. A lot of media misrepresents PTSD really bad. Yeah, but this one is especially egregious because it's basically saying anyone with PTSD just needs to die because they're just gonna hurt everyone else. That's the message that it gave. Like when you think you get rid of PTSD or like traumatic memories, they just fucking come back. And... Yeah, but how to say it, the game made it wrong because of the fact that it basically said anyone with PTSD needs to die. Like, there is no getting better okay, or something. Then. It just says they need to die. That's dark. 
No, that's stupid. Because here's the thing, it showed like of him, it actually showed like he was getting over it. But then in the end is like, I'm just going to hurt people, so I'm going to kill myself. So what did it have to do with the Blair Witch whatsoever? Nothing. It just happened in the forest. Of course. I know the Blair Witch is an entity you don't even see in all the movies because she's like, it was a budget horror movie in the first movie, so you just never see her really. Yeah. It's shocking how it became a franchise. Pass the handouts back to Sakura. It was causing a ton of controversy before its release, too, because they had a website where people actually thought the actors died. And if I you thought it was a snuff film. Classroom, I Sakura, Sakura, do? They have that cannibal holocaust mindset. <sighs> this black bar is... We still don't know if that movie was a snuff film. You know what kind of bugs me is the fact this game got a port to PC. Yeah, they didn't never bother to make proper text boxes. They just kept the the gray. Nope. Like they kept the '90s style visual novel. Yeah, that's what bugs me. It's like you can make port you, you can make the the text boxes. Can I need to give you a brushing. You have loose hairs and shit in your throat. Yeah, I don't know why. Not actual so shit, like, like th they're not bad, but at the same time, you work on this art for a reason, and it looks great. You don't need it getting covered up by all of this. Dude, you should see how bad the original DS version of uh, Zero Escape looks. So, like that bad. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I don't want to I heard the word Poyo and it makes me think of Poyo Poyo Tetris, which is a blessing on this earth that should never go away. You know what I find really funny? I like Tetris. Is that I like how in gaming, in America, we're all about making games into movies. But in Japan, in terms of storytelling, we're all about making games into books. <laughs> I think the first visual novel is actually American, though. Because I remember there was old Dr. Seuss books that were turned into video games that were essentially visual novels. But does that count? What they did was they... Question. Technically, yes, even though they were interactive. I still have them somewhere. If I could so find them, we could play them. They're adventure games, then. So it's not such a smile. Like no, but else. no, they read, like, the book. They had, like, the text on the book. You would turn the page like it was a book. But you can, like, click and it was interactive. Oh, shit. I couldn't remember. I had a Little Mermaid one, too. I think they were in like 94-ish, 95-ish. It's fine. Oh, I better goodbye once more and turn my back to my to the familiar junior. Day ends. Students leave the classroom and the building gets darker by the second. Oh, I think we're nearing the part from the beginning. The sun will set soon. When the red sun sets and night falls, there should be no one left in the school. I just need to go in the corner of the room and go right the closet my, Yeah. Let's begin. Oh wait, <laughs> it's not text box. Wait, so she's gonna my... try and put a boundary field over a boundary field. It's like placing the halo, a, a halo force field, a, a right across another halo force field. It just doesn't work. Damn it! You can't put a bubble shield in the bubble shield. It doesn't work. <laughs> Archer must understand, as I sense him nodding. Boundary field is something that. No! <clears throat> Another explanation. Ugh. A boundary field is something that protects its caster. You call it a geographical magic in which one knits a line of magic from the magic in the interior. You know what this should do? This should have done. It should have done what Steins Gate did, where, like, it would highlight the term. If you want to know what that is, you can just click on it. Yeah, or uh, what Zero Escape did and actually show you via nice graphics. Yeah, but this is 2004, so we can't hate on it. Because man, oh man, can Zero Escape 2 go into full fucking college courses on theoretical fucking physics. <laughs> yeah, and the thing is, don't you hate Zero Escape 3 because it leaned too much to Saw? 
Zero Escape 3 just, like, took everything, like, sciency and cool that Zero Escape 1 and 2 did and just were like, we're throwing that out the window and this shit's just becoming Saw. Yeah. Also, fuck the visual novel format. We're going for an adventure game format. Which is, which, here's the thing. Wasn't Zero Escape always an adventure game? No. It's what's called a high concept visual novel. Or a visual novel with actual gameplay. But then the Dog third... Dog is the same type of game. But the third game leaned into more adventure game style. Yeah, it's like... Yeah, no one likes the third game. We don't talk about it. You... I never played through all of it. We could always... You don't like the third game. From what I read, everyone else likes it. You know what we could do, since it would be torture for myself... We could play, because I have it, I bought it for $60, and I need to justify my purchase. We can always play through it together and suffer through it together. Play I'll what? just tell you what happens in the first two play, books. Play through, play through what together? Because you cut out for a bit. We play, through, we play through Zero Escape 3 together, I tell you what happens in the first two books, and we suffer together. Okay. Yeah, we could do that. On our match screen. But we're finishing this first before we even think of doing that. Yeah, and this is going to be a commitment. This boundary field is a different intention. Yeah. I don't know what kind of person set up this boundary field, but his intention is not to defeat a master. It's hard to believe, but his target is only one in the school. There's only one reason to do something like that. Well, unbelievably, this guy is. I search the school building and emerge to the rooftop to finish. It's dark outside. It's only a clock now. That's what she said. Past the school closing time, which is six. The only people still in the school are me and Archer. An eight-stroke mark is openly drawn on the rooftop. Okay, who's who's a Satanist in this school? Why are you drawing pentagrams? Oh Listen, shit! Listen, I told you it's that kid who wore, dude. It's that kid who wears black and a hood every day. The teachers tell him to take it off, and he's like, "Nah, man, it's my religion. You can't tell me what to do." He's secretly a And then when, he, when the teacher tells him Satanism is not a valid religion in a learning environment, he's like, Man, I'm gonna sue you for all your worth. And maybe put a bomb in your locker. And the teacher's like, Ah, whatever. You can do it. <laughs> nice try, champ. Try it next week. You get detention. I don't know where I was going with that. You were going nowhere, buddy. <laughs> um, no, I like lost it. I'm like, shit. I was friends with that weird kid in high school. She ended up being a psycho bitch and I dumped her. You weren't alone. But you dated her? Yeah. For like oh, a God. year. And then I'm like, you're psychotic, we're never getting back. This privileged red character. Oh yeah. no! Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. <laughs> we found another bug! And now I interrupt this program to bring you bugs! This perfect An eight stroke mark is openly drawn on the roof box. So this makes seven well, it looks like it's the origin. <laughs> the game just crashes to the death stop when the pop up window is like, don't make fun of my bugs. You know what I find funny? That in the anime, there's like a really funny scene that I laugh my ass off a bit. Where like, Rin says she has an emotional flab. But then she was like, "Oh, so you're fat?" And then, and then Rin's like, "Oh, you're very funny, very funny." <laughs> Were you watching dubbed or subbed? Both. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know why I couldn't stop laughing because it's like, <laughs> I mean, he's like, she set it up. <laughs> you said emotional flab, and then she was like, "Oh, you're fat." <laughs> don't you hate when people talk about your emotional flab in public? Yeah, it's like fat splaining. Yeah. It's a it's emotional it's 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 emotional Emotional fat. damage No it's a No, it's emotional what's the what's a word for being for making fun of someone being fat? Fat shaming. Yeah, it's emotional fat shaming. My emotions are morbidly obese, fuck you. Yes. Yeah. The person who set up this boundary field didn't think about anything. Didn't think, but the boundary field is abound with amazing skill. I would think there'd be a lone janitor. See, so he's like, "Well, time to clean graffiti." And then you set some magical fire. 
<laughs> oh god, I don't get paid enough for this. Yeah. It separately drain magical energy from this boundary field, but I cannot eliminate the boundary field itself. The boundary field can be reactivated just by having the caster put more magical energy into it. <sighs> Archer says nothing. He's been quiet ever since we came out onto the rooftop. Probably because he too recognizes the power of this boundary field. Yes, I recognize that someone's about to jump me downstairs. So don't go downstairs, please. About the persona music to start playing. Go on, get up, get out there. <laughs> Shut up. This boundary <laughs> field doesn't just drain one strength. Once activated, it will literally dissolve all the people within it. There are boundary fields that drain physical and mental strength from people within them. But the boundary field leads all over this school and it's on a completely different level. This is a soul eater. It is a blood fort that dissolves people from within it and claims a soul that seeps out. Huh? Since Are you just gonna times, kill everyone in the souls school? Souls have been hard to handle. Even though they're believed to exist and are necessary for magic, only one magus has ever understood the soul. Souls are only things to be investigated or things to be moved into containers. It is incomprehensible not merely to suck them out, but to collect them in a single place. What the fuck? Who the hell is doing this? Who just says, well, you know, oh, that's 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 he's like, oh, I'm gonna see that, put this soul in a jar. <laughs> Dude, the only Magus who ever understood the soul was Michael Jackson. Yes, he just knew everyone was ignorant, and that's why that meme exists. It's because a Magus has no use for them, even if one were to collect this unconvertible energy. So if there's a reason, it must be. あ、じゃあ。あなたたちって、そういうもの。ゴスリーさんの問いだな、バロ。我々は基本的に霊体だと言っただろう。故に、あいつは、あいつは、あいつは、あいつは、あいつは、あいつは、あいつは、あいつは
それじゃ消そうか無駄だろうけど I approached the market and extended my left arm the magic crystal on my left arm is the book of magic passed down the tales of the family I switch on my sense I push magical energy in my magic crest read the read the part that explains the elimination of boundary fields and now all I have to do is activate it Oh god, German. Why is Japan obsessed with German? I mean, look at World War II. Other than that. Abzug bin. Abzug bin. I can't even read that. Abzug bin the Nold and Metal Stun. Metal Stun. Abzug. Episode being going to make it stand. Second section. Touch the service with my left hand. Let my magical energy flow out. This way, at least, must color up this mark. But. Nanda yo, kishi mau no ka? Mottai ne. Suddenly, as if to stop the erasure, the boundary field. Uh, erasure. A voice echoes over. I quickly stand up and turn around. Oh! Him. Foreigner guy? Nope, that's not him. Foreigner is blonde. And servants can't change their form. All they can do is show themselves or not and disappear. The sky ten meters away. A guy's looking down at me. Deep ultramarine that melts into the night. His grin is wild and bestial smoke and bestial smell carries on the wind. His stare of the beast is a cruel one. The man in blue looks at me like an old friend, even in this situation. Casual, but his voice is full of murderous intent. Intent. This guy can see Archer. Yeah, servant. So, Tomo. Ne. So, Renga Wakaru Ojo chan wa. Ore no teki te koto de ii no kana. My spine freezes. Normal light tone of voice. It's colder than anything I've ever heard. It's scary enough to make me vomit. Oh, you could tell. You could tell they're gonna have a heart attack. Oh God, look at that filter. Yep. Um, why is it green? I have no idea. Oh, Meanwhile, we interrupt this. We interrupt this visual novel to bring you another Death Note reference. Can't tell how I should move before. with all my best courses. Three years, years before Death Note was even written. Not to fight this man right here. Oh. Also, she said she isn't gonna kill people, but isn't that the whole point of the Magus Wars to kill six hundred people? Kill, yeah, that's, that's the point of it. But the thing is, she's a wuss. Man, I messed up. I shouldn't have called you like this for fun. The man reaches his arm. Happens in an instant. The arm that held nothing until now has a little stabby stick. That's a giant stabby stick. A spear. Now holds a red weapon two meters long. A stabby stick. <laughs> I jumped to the side without thinking. Stabby stick. Can't spare the time to consider that I can't jump full force while on the rooftop. I just jump with full force to the side as I'm trying to smash the fence. You can tell he's crazy because he was smiling weird. A whirlwind brushing past my hair. Barely made it. He rushed me and I blink and mercilessly slap mercilessly slush at the space of just occupied. Yes, <laughs> the This is giving me hella Zatch Bell vibes. It's like adult literally this is adult Zatch Bell. There are no escapes. The fence is behind me, go to the sides, and no I won't make it. Because of the fact the bug is there's a bug here. And it's keeping me from root from reading this shit.
The response is German. fast. I run the magic crystal on my left arm and assemble the magic in a single measure. It lands my body into just gravity. In this instant, my body becomes light as a feather, and I leap. Jump over the fence and fall from the rooftop. <laughs> Jesus! A dead high school girl has appeared on the side of the school building. We have no idea why this has happened. Four to the left. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. That is messed up, dude. <laughs> Both her legs have been broken so badly we don't even know if she had legs. <laughs> 15 meters to the ground. 1.7 seconds until landing. No, that's too slow. We'll catch up. Her neck now resembles the neck of fucking wild. <laughs> Never mind, I'll stop. <laughs> that sounds messed up, dude. Her neck now is almost out of Roadrunner. I let Arch take the impact of the landing and started to run as soon as my feet touched the ground. First, I had to change the location. I had to go somewhere we can move around freely, not a small place like a rooftop. I had to move to a large field with no obstacles to play Archer. Plenty of room on a fucking rooftop. She doesn't want to fall like a little bitch. <laughs> yep. I run from the rooftop to the school ground in less than seven seconds. It's more than a hundred meters. The speed is so fast, normal people would see only see a blur. You're not that fast, but that's. She cast yeah. a lightning spell herself, so probably. That sounds <laughs> out of context. That sounds terrible. Man, those are really good legs. It'd be a waste to kill you here. Do you have a waste against this? Servant. I don't know this. Are you reading that or me? I'm reading it. Archer, at the moment, I step back. Archer steps in front of me, taking form. Cloudy night. In Archer's hand is a short sword that reflects the weak moonlight. Hey. A man crooks well, his mouth. A large whirlwind. That's the weapon swung at me on the rooftop. Blood red crimson lamps that tried to mercilessly slaughter me. I love that this is fun for the servants, but for the humans, it's like, why do we have to do this every hundred years? Because, like, servants, they have, they're immortal. They get to just come back whenever the hell they want. It's the masters that get fucked over. The servants are like, eh, we want to fight every hundred years. That's eternity, but, like, yeah. <laughs> This dude kind of reminds me of you, Hakusho character, the way his hair is. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna lie, he does look like... He looks like a blue-haired, um, Akeshi. It looks like the Hunter x Hunter Yu Hakusho style kind of drawing. What's, who's the main character of Yu Hakusho again? Uh... Yeah, the Meshi, Yusuke. Yeah, he looks like a bit like Yusuke, but with blue hair. Some of his previous kinds of demeanor. In response... To Lancer, full of murderous intent, Archer remains silent. The distance between the two is about five meters. The weapon in Lancer's hand is about two meters. For that man with the bestial smell, I feel like the remaining three meters are meaningless. this guy's master is? Um, I think in the plot, in the anime, it actually says that there is a servant that's a rogue, but I don't know if it's him, I forgot. Archer doesn't respond to the sneering voice either. Confronting each other, strangely, are red and blue. Two counterfeit colored knights are already watching for the others in clinching blows. Easy. <laughs> Okay, that's silent. Archer does not respond. There's nothing to say to an enemy he must defeat. That steel back of his seems to declare so. That makes me realize. I'm being stupid. Archer's just waiting for my word. My command. Archer. I talk to his back without approaching him. <laughs> I won't help you show me your powers. Dumb bitch. Is that a laugh? He grins at him to answer my words, and the red knight dashes forward. 
swirling gusts of wind. Short sword in hand, the red bullet launches. What meets him in, in the, is a blue spear thrust. With the dashing archers of raging wind, the responding spearhead is a divine one. The sword is swung and swings the like a thrust. Archer parries his thrust with his high speed lamp with his short sword. The one in red stops. The enemy did not permit Archer's rush. The enemy doesn't even let him get within two meters of the range of the spear. For a long weapon, distance is always preferred. And as Lancer has a weapon almost two meters long, he only needs to attack when the enemy comes to his range. Thrusting at an approaching enemy is easier than moving out yourself. But even so, Lancer closes the distance to himself and doesn't even allow Archer to move forward. That is not how you say idiot in Japanese, but okay then. Assume you said something else. Hold on. His temper is like a burning fire. Lancer closes in with each blow with no thoughts of stopping. With a long weapon, it's suicidal close into an enemy. The experiment's tactic is to use a long range to defeat the enemy and win the battle. So as Lancer's just advancing unchecked, he doesn't have a chance of winning. Uso. But that's just by the book. Lancer's lance shows no vulnerabilities as it strikes with the throat, shoulders, forehead, and heart. Thrust so fast even the after images are blurred. As each strike of his lance repels, rebuffs, and pushes back Arthur, any one of his thrusts can be a fine call the final blow. But even as a bowman, Archer is a servant. An ordinary attack can be a final blow. Oh, these guys are like superhumans. Yeah, that's essentially the gist of it. Having repelled the lance aimed at his forehead, Archer closes in with Speed Spirit of Lancer's Lance. Based on its shape, you might think the main attack of the lance is thrust, but the basic strength of the lance is its swings. This is because a wide swing uses its long range, does not allow the enemy to dodge it by stepping back. A partial retreat does not allow escape, and an attempted counterattack will only result in a slashed stomach. By simply going forward, we'll end up in a smash rift and a long shaft of the lance. That sounds <laughs> Whoa! Okay. That last bit sounds out of context to some. I mean, smash rifts can 100% kill you. Yeah, but the other half, that's the problem. Archer and Lancer are similarly built. On top of that, it's hard for Archer with no heavy armor to step in the range of a lance swung like a whirlwind. But the rest are a different story. A blazing fast thrust certain strike you is certainly scary, but as long as the attack targets a point, there are many ways to avoid it once you see it. As Archer did just then, hitting the shaft of the approaching Lancer with your it slightly creates an opening. I'm assuming if he's the rogue one, he killed his master or something? It's essentially a rogue fighting a... What's the equivalent to Lancer? Archer. No, because Archer is the Archer's the rogue, and Lancer is the knight, I guess. Yeah. The advantage of a long weapon is in the length of freedom of its range. Once Lancer has discarded these advantages himself, his defeat is. stops. Nightmare like time is reversing. The thrust is faster than the previous one. Arch tries to pair the blow, but he gets flicked away along with his weapon. There are no openings in Lancer's attacks. No, not just that, the thrust increases speed and power without limit, and it becomes a final blow even for a servant. We were the ones that underestimated him. That servant, for Lancer's weapon. There are no general rules about Lancer's. Who could have prepared continuous attacks without even space to breathe between them? Archer manages to retreat a bit and parries, and as a result, the distance between them opens a little. With that distance, Lancer uses that distance as a runaway to launch an even more powerful attack. The Raging Continuous attack is only a repetition of that, but the blows themselves are godlike. Ten blows already. No. Next one's been for more times than that. Maybe Rain the Lance pours would be at more strength, trying to skewer Archer to death. It's not fast, but it's just skill. 
It looks like a waterfall with no change in speed. What can Archie do as he's now on the offensive? Such a short sword, he can only pair the lance. He has no way to close on lance if he continues to retreat. A vacuum of steel unfolds. Support, I have to back Archer up, but my throat won't respond. My magic has poor aim. Once Archer gets far away from Lancer, I will hit him with my magic as well. Such an opening would only increase Lancer's advantage. And besides, frankly, I'm captivated. This is the battle between servants. This is the Holy Grail War itself, where we use heroic spirits. The highest rank of a familiar who we would never have otherwise obtain. Servants. Familiars of different classes that obey the seven masters. Yes, we went through this, so stop. Quit explaining. <coughs> Just make a glossary or something, please. I've just been silently reading this. Yeah, me too. There's like a lot of dialogue. There are the highest rank familiars called Hero Experience, not the Holy Grail Summons. So it's misleading to call them familiars. Originally, familiars were just beings that ran errands for the Magus. Imagine, perhaps a cat in boots. Puss in boots? Puss in boots? Last Can I wish? Put you in boots, pork? No? Okay. Puss in Boots just shows up out of nowhere. I have a pussy on my lap. <laughs> Aw. His name is Cork, and he's a good boy. That won't scratch, or a cute white bird, or a black dog that doesn't obey its master, or something like that. Familiars that are a mere magus could summon are of that level. Familiars are just familiars. There are only mascots that run errands for their masters, so they cannot be being stronger than their masters. But servants are different. They are the most powerful beings. And for sorcerers, of which there are only five in this world, it's probably be impossible for, to form a contract with them. It's not that the summoning is hard, or even the ability of servants surpasses that of a magus. The servants themselves are beings above magic. I'll make it clear. Servants are heroes from the past. Myth, legend, fable, history. Fiction or not, the superhuman beings who gain conquered in existence of folklore are what we call heroes. A hero that became eternal in people's minds is no longer human after their death and is promoted to another form of existence. Humans who bring about miracles, save people, and achieve great deeds are called heroes even after their death. Wait, being... wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Wait. That means Jesus is almost certainly a summon that somebody could summon. <laughs> most broken. <laughs> the most broken. Just read the thing about miracles. The mo <laughs> most broken summon, Jesus Christ. Himself. I summon Jesus in attack mode. <laughs> I summon Jesus in attack mode. He turns, mode. he turns the air yeah. into wine, and the enemy becomes drunk Everyone and knocks drunk. out. <laughs> <laughs> and just like we anime fight, saying because the air is full like... of oxygen as well, he can easily turn the air into wine. And every time you breathe it in, you become more drunk. <laughs> Did somebody summon Jesus again. Yes. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. Lord, I'm drunk. <laughs> I just thought of it. I'm like, wait a minute. That means <laughs> living your myth. <laughs> it wasn't... That's a clip. That's a clip right there. He'd be it like, is. if Jesus was in Faith Stay Night. <laughs> now I want to see fan art of that so bad. Hold on, let me find it. Let do a let, quickly Artists, pause get here. Do it. Quickly pause here. <laughs> I want to see Fate Stay Jesus. Jesus, Fate Stay Night. I'm going to call this clip Jesus Stay Night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait, wait. I mean, she's a total son of Jesus. You know what's funny? There's a character named Jesus in Fate Stay Night. Also, if all you have to do is be like a famous figure that did like deeds, that means technically if you're a German... If you're like a never mind. <laughs> Wait a minute. Jesus is in Fate Stay Night. What the hell? <laughs> is he? He's there's a character named Jesus, but it's not actual Jesus. It's probably Jesus. Jesus? <laughs> no, that is a very popular Spanish name. Yeah, because that's that's how we say it in Spanish. Yeah. Dude, Jesus would I should be really like that name, to be honest. Jesus would be so fucking OP. He would be. He just, he's probably the, he probably is the Holy Grail himself or something. That would be funny. But yeah, there is a character named Jesus in Face Day Night. It's just not who we think. He just comes out of the Holy Grail. 
Alright, mortal, you get one wish. I swear to God, if you wish for more wishes, I will send you directly- I will have my father send you directly to hell. Look how there's a Reddit thread for why Jesus Christ might not work in fate, and I'm like, bitch, it's People Jesus. People thought about this! People have given this legitimate thought! <laughs> yes! It's literally just, hey, Jesus would be fucking broken. Listen, chat. I don't mean to disrespect Jesus and God and all that. I here's like thing, believe in Jesus. Here's the and thing: God we're not disrespecting him. We're, just, we're not disrespecting I, him I at just, all. We're just saying he would be I fucking broken. I just find broken. the idea of Jesus Christ summoned to a to a, a, a seven fucking people death fight hilarious. Here's the thing: you say that, but here's the thing: we're not disrespecting him. We're actually com complimenting the fact he's so fucking broken. You know, technically, since God's a being in the Bible, you could summon him too. Yes, and so, and he is the ultimate form of a hero. I mean, he did kill like three million people with the Great Floods. So the fine hero again. Yeah, but then again, that was on us. So we can't exactly. Also, we told. He also told the guy to go. So this is an actual story in the Bible. Not sure how much of I could say on Twitch, but whatever. So he literally told this one army to go circumcise a bunch of dudes in another army. And then bring the foreskins to the general. And then that army went and killed those guys when they were weak. This is in the Bible, by the way. Oh, God. Learned this recently. I'm like, well then. It is the people's minds that create a hero. People's wishes that uh, this is how things should be. Give them form and set them up as real. Oh, yeah, so if I probably stop talking about religion now. <laughs> Here's the thing: this game is off. giving us no choice. <laughs> I was just silently reading, and I'm like, an opening. <laughs> Authenticity. Yeah, here's the thing. There's like a, not a lot. There's so much dialogue that it's taking forever to find memeable stuff. Authenticity does not matter. Oh, so you could just say that the Cthulhu existed in the past, and as long as many people believe that, it doesn't really matter. Cthulhu can be summoned. <laughs> I mean, I mean, if a Jeremy considers Hitler a hero, then <laughs> Hitler would just be summoned. All of a sudden, like as like a servant. His, his, his I mean, abilities... he's a piece of shit, but technically you could summon him. <laughs> Imagine all his attacks are just gas-based. Gas <laughs> uh, dude, uh, dude, no. Let's not go any further into that. <laughs> Let's not become crank. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate ideal humans have created. No. The greatest humans people have created. The ultimate ideal of humans have created. The greatest human people have created. These are the heroes, the heroic spirits. And of course, as they are beyond human, they cannot be controlled by humans. A magus usually borrows their power only to mimic them. They can't summon the hero experience themselves. But the Holy Grail made that impossibility into a reality. It summons the heroic spirit beyond human control and turns into familiar obedient to the master. So you're saying if I were to have Hitler summon, I can make him suck my dick. <laughs> I mean I just give him the most deplorable tasks imaginable. <laughs> That nonsense is proof that the Holy Grail is all mine. I just, listen, if I were doing this and I accidentally summoned you-know-who, I would just, I'd literally just have him do the most demeaning and terrible task possible and just use all my command bullshit. Yeah, because he's such a piece of shit. Like, who wants Hitler as their summon? I just, Here's I the thing, here's the like, thing. I would literally hold them back by saying, please kill my servant, I don't want him. Literally, I would do please, anything. Just, I would use all my command my skills just to this get him killed. Terrible. Oh, he was on my command seals just to get him killed. He's just like, just please, kill him, please. You know what would be an awesome servant? Martin Luther King Jr. That oh, dude could just... He would yeah. just make his enemies surrender, like, immediately. Yeah, because the <laughs> fact he can... amazing. Because he's the ultimate... He's the ultimate Takano Jutsu. He is! <laughs> he's the ultimate Takano Jutsu. He doesn't need a weapon. <laughs> he can just talk you down of it. The most recent from 100 years ago, the most from the ancient days, seven heroic experience obey each of the seven masters, protecting them and eliminate the masters of the enemy. Heroes from every age and country are revived to the present day to kill one another for supremacy. That is why the ritual is called the Holy Grail War. But it seems the Holy Grail really... has limits too. Even the Holy it's actually Grail really technically impressive for a uh, visual novel from 04. 
Yeah, Unless but then, it's it, then again, again, this is a 2011 port. I'm gonna go get a snack. You keep reading. Okay, just as a form invented by humans is required for the imaginary six element, known as the double tick form, the heroic spirits also need a form to live in this world. That form is their temporary name and the way they exist in this world. The Holy Grail has furnished classes so that the heroic spirits will take more form easy. <coughs> take form more easily. And only some of the heroic spirits that match these classes. like a passport to the present as it sets up a role as a familiar in advance by allowing the summoned heroic spirit to take on that role. It helps the spirit take form. There are seven masters chosen by the Holy Grail. There are also seven servants obeying their, those masters. There are seven furnished classes. Knight of the Sword, Saber. Knight of the Lance, Lancer. Knight of the Bow, Archer. Mounted Soldier, Rider. Magus, Caster. Silent Killer, Assassin. Mad Warrior, Berserker. All the heroic spirits with attributes of these classes are summoned to the present to obey the Master and become a servant. That is the servant system. A summoning and a of another one spirit beyond human yeah. control. But you just summon Steve Jobs. Control. Shut the. F <laughs> he tries to sell you an iPhone immediately. <laughs> tries to shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> summon Steve Jobs. Shut up. Silence. <laughs> Like, I was just reading this in, in silence. All of a sudden, I just hear... familiar, and he's like... I just, like... I'm just, like, reading this silently. All I hear is, Yo, you can summon Steve Jobs. <laughs> oh, God. Just summon the enemy an iPhone. <laughs> just uses the iPhone to, like, attack you. Just throws, like, a bunch of shitty iPhones that break easy at you. Yeah. <laughs> Just fucking, just activate Siri and tell her to launch a fucking magic attack. <laughs> Siri, would you please shoot a fireball at this guy? <laughs> the Sorry, competition you must unlock your iPhone crowd. first. The one in the only holy grail war. <laughs> That's getting fun. <laughs> a loud crash. Short sword deflect with Lancer's lance. Flies from Marcus Fan. Damn this it, now I don't know if I should clip that one or the other discussion. We have, here's the thing, we got plenty. It's just spread thin. A straight thrust turns into a sweep at Archer's wrist. It was a blow Archer could not avoid even if he had seen it coming. Dude, was no, 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 no. Steve Irwin. Sword. Who the hell is Steve Irwin? You don't know who Steve Irwin is? No. Oh my god. That's right. <laughs> he died before your time. Um... Steve Irwin was one of those badass maker concert. Steam Nature was a fucking crocodile hunter, one of those badass nature concert concert. Oh ever him! Made. I've heard of him. He was uh, absolutely yes, psychotic. Was Dude, that'd be fucking badass. Summoning that absolute unit. Yeah. The important aspects of the battle between the sword and the lance lies in defeating the enemy when he is at the wrong range. Manuke. There's no hesitation in Lancer. There's no way to push out your back stops. You must attend to end the match in a single instant. The stairs are of the firmly placed Lancer and the swordless archer clash. In that instant, the Lancer starts just like a flash of light. It can't even be seen. Forehead, neck, and heart. Three shots are launched, any one of a fate of blow. But. The flash is too fast to see. He's repelled by a shining blade. Guess you're from the fucking fighting. Ow, my nuts! <laughs> just, here's the thing. Just pulls a Sekiro, just steps on this lance, and then proceeds to do a kick in the nuts. Are we Sekiro? <laughs> yeah, you could do that in Sekiro. I didn't know that. It's called the Mikiti counter, and it's beautiful and satisfying <laughs> That's to land. Awesome. You can just That's step really on this. Cool. 
You can step on the spear, and I think Sekiro looks at their face when he does it. <laughs> Dude, I really need to play freaking Sekiro. It is amazing. You gotta play it. And Archer's hand has a short sword again. A sword like before, a Chinese sword like a hatchet. But the biggest difference is... A pair of swords. Uh-oh. We now interrupt the spike to bring you one piece. There's a bug. Uh-oh. This is not in the text box. Hmm? Look, it's not in the text box. It's supposed to be in here. Ooh, that's a bug. <laughs> Lancer's Lance, fine. Okay, so from a historical context, he says that, but most bowmen would carry a, a, a sidearm at the sword. You had to. You could get fucking nailed. Like, his weapon mode is actually very historically accurate. I just defend with a burning spirit. This hot black guy like, I'm impressed. They would typically carry short sword. No, that he will only advance from now on. The custom sounds are like a well of working for the music. Two steel clangs. Two steel. Two steels clanging against each other. As far as the chicks in a Norwegian power metal. Yeah. <laughs> Still cl clanging against each other. The sparkling clashes in increase in rhythm and one with pause. We need if we can actually see that happen. The battle of the two is like a vacuum. It's up in the air around them. It seems like anything approaches them is because of pieces. In reality, it will last an instant. For me, it looks like it's taken a very long time. This is like a webtoon, uh, webtoon panel. Last well, tries not to let Archer near him, while Archer advances using his sword as a shield. Over well, hundred blows have been thrown, and Archer loses his sword every time. But it's only for a moment as Archer has a sword in his hand. Next instant, before he gets back another each time. Okay, I personally love this because first off, if you can summon weapons into your hand and you get knocked out, what's stopping you from summoning it back again? I don't know. I'm not the only one that thinks uh, Steve Irwin should be in Fate Stay Night. Who? Steve Irwin. <laughs> oh yeah, he should be Steve Irwin. <laughs> we make that a clip and, and just put hashtag Steve Irwin for Fate Stay Night. <laughs> Steve Irwin deserves to be a heroic spirit. Change like we, my like mind. you go Our on Twitter and, order. and you go on Twitter, I'm sorry, X, and you just, just do the hashtag Steve Irwin for Fate Stay Night. <laughs> Dude, if we can get that trending, please do it. Go to your Twitter and just do that. It would be amazing. I will, actually. Do it, do it right now. <laughs> Overnight, all of a sudden, he's just like, we are enough to Steve Irwin for Fate Stay Night. <laughs> well, isn't Fate going to order the mobile one? Yeah, it's the mobile one. Uh, so finally Christ, admit as soon as you type... As soon as you type hashtag, everything with the current conflict in Israel comes up. I'm like, you kidding me? And even though he doesn't know who is before him, he would be the loser who dismisses him as a mere bowman. I'm gonna put hashtag Steve Irwin for fate. Fate stay night. Be specific. Why not? Oh, like, take a screenshot of the game. <laughs> or, like, a fate stay night. And then just... Put it's like Photoshop Steve Irwin into the series. <laughs> the distance wide is hard to recover. Lancey, Lancer puts a large distance between them. His speed is extraordinary. I, put, I can put Fate Stay Night, so I just put hashtag Steve Irwin for Fate. No, Fate slash Stay Night. That's how you should do it. I swear to God, if I wake up with that trending, <laughs> you'll be I'm fucking kill amazing. You. <laughs> no. You should be thanking me if it does go trending. I know, I will. Archer's charge was out of his world, but it was still slow compared to Lancer. The moment of his retreat had, had a panther-like speed and agility. I've disarmed you 27 times. Yeah, you still have more. It's like, I'm like Noctis from 5515. I always have more swords. <laughs> There's just 20 swords on the ground while I archer. <laughs> Dude, what's fu 
Like I, he's like he's like Reaper from Overwatch, except it's with knives. I think they're spirit weapons, so they just disappear after a hot minute. Yeah. <laughs> Lancer mutters in irritation. No, it's one like confusion. Are you even worth killing at this point? I feel the same way. According to Father, Servant carries only one weapon. The weapon is filled with magical energy, so it's not something that could be crafted, created one after another, like Archer was just doing. Servants and heroes sublimate their spirits to death, equaling the Holy Spirits. To put it another way, so why is like, he just coming a bow? I think he can. It's just that remember he needs a noble. Fa I think it's his noble phantasm. It's just that he can't summon it because he doesn't remember his noble phantasm. Noble phantasm is a weapon. Or I know this. I know this. Stop telling me this. Lance and Lancer using will show its power as a noble phantasm when Lancer deems it necessary. A noble phantasm is an impressive weapon by itself, but its true ability is to release all. In other words, he'll go Super Saiyan with, with his own weapon. Yeah. Heroes' weapons. Which, which rule, rule all, all of them, and which have killed dragons and gods, so that acti servants activate their noble phantasm using their magical energy. It's much like a ma it's much like magic. Servants regret the destructions and legend using their noble phantasm as a catalyst. Oh, so if they got stabbed with a spear in the past, they could summon spears. What? Servants never mind. I noble phantasm is never makes disposable. Sense. The swords that Archer bought out must be excellent, but they cannot be his noble phantasm. He is a servant Archer, so the noble phantasm he conceals must be a bow. Here's the thing, he's less an Archer and more like a rogue from D&D. That's essentially what he is. It just so happens that he, It just so what? happens that he's also good at using daggers. Oh, I finally get some dialogue. What's and he's Don't worry. For so long, Lancer. It's not like you to just stand there and watch. Where's the energy you had just now? Talking crap, you cheater. Lancer's irritation is understandable. Even though Lancer fought as a spearman, Archer fanned himself off as a swordsman. Archer hasn't shown any of his abilities yet, so it's natural for a Lancer to feel ghastly. Easy. I thought I was going to say Gaslit, but then I'm like, this came out in 2004. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Because that's the one that has the Gaslit. His vast murder intent makes me forget the breed. Yeah, we should probably put a halt on this uh, story after this fight. Yeah, he was thinking it's about to take a while. Not just our moves. This is different from before. He stands free from contempt. The spirit is lowered as it struck the ground, and only his stair pieces pierce his archer. Narava Kurauka. Wanga Hisatsu no Ichigekiro. I mean, he could go into attack him now while he's prepping a super attack. Here's the thing, this is anime. You never attack a man using a super attack, because then it'll be boring. You really don't. Yeah, Unless but your they... name's Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, like... Usually you do. Usually, if they do that, the story would be less interesting because you didn't get to show off their full strength. And it's like, oh, that's it. Yeah. I mean, you have to show off cool moves to sell merchandise. That's how it works. Yeah, but and if you don't, you're just gonna make a boring story because it's like, here's the thing: realistic fights don't sell most of the time. They don't. It's why you always. Do, 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 do. It's always gotta. It's attack. always why you gotta have the enemy or the main character staring like a deer in headlights. The air freezes. Not a metaphor, it literally freezes. All the mountain in the air is frozen. The only person allowed to breathe here is the warrior called Lancer. There's one thing when uh, Piccolo dies for Gohan in Dragon Ball Z. 
There's like this ongoing joke of like, why didn't I just grab him instead of just standing in front of him? Yeah, he was obviously fast enough to do it. But now he's waiting to take its true form in the moment it strikes. Matsui! He'll be beaten. I don't know what kind of noble fantasy right that back. is, but Archer will be beaten. It's impossible since this is the first time I felt such an intuition, but there's no doubt about it. Archer will die when the lance is thrust. It is determined. Literally, Lancer's lance is the embodiment of the inescapable death. Oh. Archer will be defeated. Archer will die when Lancer pierces his heart. I'm back. Alright. And yet, even though I know what's going on to happen, I can't even help him. Because if I move even a finger, that will trigger the attack. So if I needed to stop this battle and stop Archer's defeat, it would be... Tarda! Oh! It would be the chance appearance of a stranger we have all overlooked. Huh? The ghastly air coming from Archer disappears. The sounds of flying footsteps. That figure is definitely wearing a school uniform. Seto, Archer says calmly. Well, we were certainly saved, but. あちゃ、あんた何してんの見てわからないか。手が空いたから休んでいる。なわけないでしょ。ランサーはどうしたのよ。さっきの人影を追ったよ。目撃者だからな。おそらく消しに行ったのだろう。Archer goes up to Lancer immediately. I'll curse my carelessness. It's the rule of Maggie to eliminate my witnesses. Which is why if one didn't do that, one just had to allow no witnesses. I've done that until now, so why do I have to make a mistake today of all days? You have to eliminate all your witnesses? Jesus. Yeah, essentially, it's basically if anyone that's not involved with the Royal Gr Grail War, literally, it's like, oh, if we do that, it will be exposed, so kill anyone that's not a part of the war. A night where even the moonlight is obscured. A student is lying on the cold hallway floor, and Archer is standing still. He is staring silently at the student. A smell hits my nose. The blood on the floor makes clear that it's the smell of death. Archer goes after Lancer. Left alone with the student lying on the floor. Oh, look at that blood splatter effect. Ugh. Can't look, doesn't, look, doesn't look good. Can't look straight at him. Must. This is my fault. This is my fault. This is my fault. Ever since I was a child, ever since I became the successor of Tosuka, I've been preparing for something like this. There's no good or evil for Maggie. I've always told myself that this road has my only my blood and the blood of others, so. One shot from Lance's Lance, huh? You can't be saved with your heart pierced. I don't know how long it's been since Lancer killed him. Was he lucky? Or unlucky to be pierced through the heart. This Lancer's attack isn't simple. Ex isn't the simple external wound as the flow of blood from the rupture has been too severe. It's not too severe, but it's all over when the brain doesn't get any more blood. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> be like, That's huh? How people die. I'd be like, huh? The, why am I? Why am I dying? My heart. Oh wait, my heart's pierced and the blood's going getting away from my head. It's as they say, the brain is more important than the heart compared to what people say. Well, yeah. Because once the br you cut out blood supply to the brain, that's when someone truly dies. You, that's why heart surgeries exist. You can still supply blood. And as long as you do that, you'll be fine. It's just that... Well, yeah, they have it. It's called a heart and lung machine. Yep. Yes. 
He's still breathing, faintly as if to give his last scream. That will only last a few more seconds. He can't heal his own wounds, and I don't have enough power to save him either. <laughs> Should at least do that. Try to touch the head, facing the ground, and realize my fingertips won't move. I'm trembling. I wonder why. I'm used to such things. I had to make these kinds of choices many times before. I lost many things due to my mistakes and my selfishness. That's why I'm ready for the day I like this. For the day like this. So why? Why am I so angry at myself? <laughs> Control my trembling fingers and my failing knees with my will and look at the face of the student. Huge smacking sound. It really feels like I've been hit on the head with a hammer. <laughs> <sighs> Grit my teeth. I was impressed by trembling. I'm really pissed off. Why is it him? Why'd it have to be him? I'm mad at Lancer for killing a witness quickly and perf perfectly. Just as a servant should do. Just angry at him for staying out late at this place at a place like this. On this day. Sakura's face flashes in my mind. She will definitely cry. And recall one red tint today after school, a long time ago. Distant sunset, someone always running alone. The boring girl staring at them far away. Before me, but for someone who happened to get involved. There is a way. I fail to lose my last resort in the process, but there is still a way. No, I'll lose my last resort whether I succeed or fail. So the result for me won't change. It's a mistake. Sarah's entire town is at risk from this battle happening. Yes, essentially, if any single person, not even doesn't even matter. If you even glance at it, you're already dead. You gotta, you just gotta hope it's quick. The fact is, death is already determined. It's my fault for not noticing the things around me. It's his fault for unluckily staying late. So I don't need to go that far. Yes, because this is my father. Give me nothing else. Left just for me. Powerful chunk of magical energy, a reliable last resort to win through this battle. A precious, precious thing just for me. <laughs> She's feeling off and kneel in front of the one who'll become a corpse in another second. And who is that corpse? Ah, uh, man. The pendant on my hand becomes lighter. My father's memento is drained almost to emptiness and falls on what used to be a dying body. <sighs> yes, it can't be helped. I didn't have the power or skills to revive someone with a damaged heart. Damaged blood vessels on the verge of brain death on top of that. So I have to make up for my lack of skill with this powerful object. Yeah, they're not going to tell us who it is, are they? Yeah. But since he was still alive, I just did what I could. I ended up saving his life. <laughs>。正直に言えば充実感あるしね。こういう経験も悪くはなかったわ。いや、she yeah, there's no need for me to stay here any longer. Or I should be following lines, so I should go home by myself. So she used, like, most of her magical power to do that. Yeah, to revive this man, yeah. <laughs> On the way back, I remember. I left the pendant at school. Just the pendant now that the magical energy has been drained out of it. <laughs> no more use for that pendant. Sure, it might have been a, had a bit of magical energy left in it, but sure, less than the ten jewels I have. My father intended to leave me was enough magical energy to win the Holy Grail War. It's not without magical energy, and that thing is meaningless. To the house without seeing anything and sit on the sofa. So wasn't we supposed to be chasing down the other guy? Yeah, he is, he currently is still chasing him down. I silence the clock for a few minutes. <sighs> I jump up and brew some tea. There are so many things to think about. Most importantly, the servants. I have just witnessed a battle between servants I had previously understood intellectually. The easiest way to be an enemy servant is to learn their destiny. 
knowing for the time moment of the idiot who doesn't even know his own identity because we put in the servant is their true name discovering the servant's true name in other words and figuring out their identity should let you take a guess at what kind of noble phantasm they might have it goes without saying but since servants are heroic experience they have a legend of yes we know that we know that the one that she has happens to be one of the another main character in this because lore. Yeah. Essentially, she's just saying that the more famous the spirit, the stronger they are. It's why I said if you were to summon Jesus, he would be so overpowered. <laughs> Jesus would be unstoppable. Yes, yeah, because everyone knows Jesus. And everyone knows what he did. Even Japan knows Jesus. And they don't even like Christianity. Yeah. Which is really funny. Considering Persona 5. Yeah, like, really. It's not that simple. As even or just Master. Megami Tensei in general. Yeah. Okay, this is new. The seven classes each have a different a different additional ability, and one even has a chance of defeating an opponent of higher rank, depending on the ability's affinity. Take an example. An infamous hero has defeated a great hero four times in the past. As far as I know, the most powerful servant is Saber. On the pre she reminds me of Melania from Melon Ring. On the previous four wars, Saber has made it to the final fight. They said the three classes Saber, Lancer, and Archer have a strong magic resistance. To put it simply, magic is pretty much useless against them. That's because they are fighters who fought through the age of myths when magics were truly used widely. The magics that Maggie used now would probably just dissipate just by touching them. Anyways, that's where these three classes are considered the basics and the best. So essentially, if you're a monkey, you're basically instant cheat code. Pretty much. It's like a strength build going up against the mage. Oh god. Another that's more cheat worthy of mention is the Servant Berserker. The hero expert summons their class loses their sanity. Just as the name implies, they become a mad warrior puppet or their master. The benefit from this is a strengthening of their power, far exceeding the powers they had when they were alive. On the most powerful servant, her owner servant becomes the greater the burden it imposes on the master. In the past, masters of some berserker couldn't control their rampaging servants and destroyed themselves this way running out of magical energy. No exceptions. The winners and losers of the Holy Grail War are largely determined by the abilities of the servants. Well, I Yo, expect if you got Joan of Arc, that'd be incredible. Oh yeah, Joan of Arc, it'd be fucking broken. Well, I expect there are ways to win it by the master's efforts, but it is basically a fight between the servants. This is why a master should be very careful when summoning a servant. I silently consider the plans we should make from now on. The clock fixed already strikes 11 while I do so, and Archer comes home. As I expected, Lancer was alone, it seems his master didn't have to show up for battles personally. So, ma, can't I know I Yes, there is no way everything will go as I might hope, so it can't be helped. Consider what's happened tonight is a tuition fee for the lessons learned. <laughs> Someone dying with a tuition fee. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Archer pretends silently that we should do so. I see. Just look depressed. So だって、まだマスターの数が揃ってないでしょ。
何を何か言いたいことでもあるのあんたああ一つ聞き忘れていたリン君は幼い頃からマスターになるべく育てられそれに従ってきたのだろう当たり前じゃないそれはいきなりマスターに任命される魔術師もいるそうだけど私は別よそうだろうなら目的がとうにあるはずだ私はそれを聞き忘れていた主の望みを知らなければリンそれで君の願いは何だ願いそんなの別にないけど。あ、そしてそれは、like、family said to。何ああ、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、それは、So, could you technically wish for the Holy Grail War to stop? I think I don't know. Or j a s t with a serious expression. Oh, I see. Master's wish after obtaining the Holy Grail isn't, irre isn't irrelevant to the servant. But it's strange. Father said the servants have wishes as well, but that is only their wish. I don't think Archer should be concerned because I don't even have any wishes. Yes. 明確な望みがないのであれば、漠然とした願いはどうだ例えば、世界を手にするといったふうな。なんで世界なんてとっくに私のものじゃない。<笑> The world is already mine. Okay. You're like, bitch mode activate. You'd be like, yeah, I can get mad at people for no particular reason and people won't care. They actually forgive me for it. <笑> Wow. Is like, so I'm dying for nothing then. So I'm fighting for some random person I don't know for nothing. Wow. Pretty much. Maze, the guy really is a hard headed. Really is a hard headed. I'm going to be a little bit of a hard headed. I'm going to be a little bit of a だって世界征服もめんどくさいしそんな無駄なことを願っても仕方がないでしょ like、あなた割と想像力は貧困ね。For some reason they made a sequel. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know much about that. I just know about the original because I read that in middle school. I got you. I'm going to go to the house. 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 Archer's shoulders slump. Maybe he's disappointed in my opinions, but it seems he's finally relaxed. My ta. Tasca ni kimua. What does she know, Master? And if so, she. Find a hard deal with that kind of comment, so I wish you stopped saying such things. Huh? Servant to the Master will ever can leave an eye, get a. It's your key to go. None de what does she go on at the Master and if so, she know you. You mother won't I? Kimi wa. Machi gai nuk sai kyo no master da. Tsukairu aita toshite. Kore ijo no mono wa nai. He's being a smart ass. Yeah. So, 
ありがとうあなたに言われるならセジってわけじゃなさそうだしセンデレモードアクティベートアルコエビカスマンバリスト。ヒューズビンサーカスティックイディエット。フェンハーディオウォッチューカスイスピーツフランクリーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニーウィズニー
He was against saying, saving the guy when he was dying. He's against me helping going to help him right now. I mean, you can't have witnesses to the Holy Grail War. Yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. It's midnight. Under the cloudy night sky, we reach the Japanese styled house. There's no sign of anyone in this house in the edge of the res residential district. There aren't many houses around it, and there's no one to come and help if something happens here. <laughs> My breath is light. The wind starts to pick up. Be quite strong as the clouds drip start to drift fast. The supposedly warm wind of Fuyuki sends chills down my spine, making me tremble. If Fuyuki City is considered warm, it's still cold on the hill. The area around here is frozen. I strain my ears in cold atmosphere. The frozen feeling, I feel a small sense of an enemy. Bite my lip. His presence is perceivable on the other side of the wall. Lancer is in the house already, about to kill the same guy again. Boys just come home without a clue as to what happened. Just as I about the command archer to go in. Meanwhile, in the Windy City, <laughs> there's a tornado currently passing over. It currently has three babies inside of it. Jesus. Just. A bright white light like a fallen sun comes within the, from within the house. The presence is eclipsed by another presence. A wave of power from the servant Lancer is consumed by an even larger wave. The instantaneous explosion of either gives the spiritual being a body summoned to overpower Lancer. Uso. You can only mutter, but it's true. To prove it, Lancer jumps over the wall and leaps away as a flea from the place. Ne, Archer. Koremo. Another one, search your life back guy, and he's dead again. Archer answers calmly. Well, yep, pretty much. If it is, then oh, well, that's the end of the end of the story, I guess. I've lost my normal judgment. That's why I didn't even consider the obvious event that would follow. The wind blows strongly. Clouds cover the sky like an umbrella. The unlit suburbs are closed by darkness. And the servant jumps over the wall, coming down like a demonic bird. <laughs> like, how do you describe that? Just like, oh, like a bird from hell just suddenly lands in front of you. Two heads and all. Looks absolutely deformed. Birds from hell. <laughs> Archer has reacted Demonic already. bird from hell. I mean, yeah, get him on my window, I'll see all the time. I gotta tell, I gotta, like, fuck him off every now and then. Archer's reacted already, but I couldn't react. That was my mistake. The battle ended with that small opening, not lasting even a second. It might have been only a second for me, but for that servant, it was an opening that couldn't be ignored. Sword rushes. Archer pushes me aside and the servant slashes him. Happens in an instant. Archer, who handled Lance's fear of attacks beautifully, has been taken down with one blow. But I make it this time. Make it in time this time. Just as the enemy servant is about to cut off Archer's head with her blade, I forcibly remove him. <laughs> Pain in my right hand. Must have been an excessive command, so a command spell is this Wow! First one was petty. Second one actually had a reason for it, but... Oh, she did give a command. Yeah. So now she only has one left, which... Yeah. That's there's, a, there's only one remaining, but this is for the best. Rather than having Arthur die, I would prefer to lose one or two command spells. Giving no consideration to Arthur's apparent disappearance, the servant attacks me. I take. I think this is one of the updated CGs because the artwork looks more modern. Oh, it does. Yeah, like look at it. See, it looks the way like everything is done looks way cleaner. Oh, I see it. Like, especially on her face. So I'm guessing this is the Vita content. I think from my top... wearing a different type of uniform, so... Yeah. I take from my pocket a topaz with the wind spell stored in it. Then I launch all the magical energy it contains at her without processing. Alrighty, we have one viewer. Hello, guy. This thing, which can blow away a house without a trace. It's a bundle of wind spells I've stocked up over time. Are you telling me you just... Is it like a... You ever watch Inferno Plus? Uh, no. Uh, basically, it has this thing called Dark Souls in one hit. 
where he beats all the bosses with a single hit, and sometimes that will require him to stack spells. Right. Like, I think it depends on the game, but... I think we did it for especially for Dragon's Dogma, where what he did was he was just one hit. That sounds like a pain in the ass. Yeah, he has to make the most broken builds possible just to do it. This thing, which can blow away a house out of trace, is a bundle of wind spells I've stocked up over time. It's one of the ten jewels I've been putting my magical energy into for 17 years without rest. Jesus! So yeah, you've been wow. doing, so you've been doing this since you were born. Wow. Hold on. There we go. Let me blow my nose real quick. Using all the magical energy stored in it, even if I can't defeat her, should at least slow her down. No, not even that. I did nothing. Swirl of wind that instantly tears apart anything caught within it, like a magic trick. The instant touch of the sermon. It feels like we're looking into the mind of a JoJo character, and I want you to describing stuff. Yeah, it does. Cause you know in JoJo where like there's constantly explaining their attacks in their head. Yeah. It feels like that. Just strong magic resistance. Mere magical energy from a magus cannot hurt the servant. So this is it. She can't even be hurt by magic, and I lost the protection of Archer. So I can't stop this servant. Barely managed to avoid one blow, but that's all. Look up at the night sky, and, it, and in it is the figure of cold-hearted death who is looking down at me as I lay miserably on the ground. Wow. That's Edge, kind of. And all there. For a cup. <laughs> all the all all this over a, a cup. Yes, exactly. Blows. In between the dark clouds and the spiral sky, the moon shines. Falling moonlight on the beautiful base. This is a servant that drove off Lancer. Defeated by Archer on one strike. And I know my magic with no trouble. The girl's voice is like a bell. And lo and behold, this is the person she's been trying to summon. Yes, his voice is like a nightmare right now. He King Arthur herself. Yep. More like Queen Arthur. <sighs> Which is shocking, right? <laughs> yeah. It's only natural. The more beautiful my enemy is, the more of a nightmare it is. I cannot believe the difference in our strength. One of the swords shines brightly. On the verge of death, I understand. With just one look, without proof, this is the card I wanted. The one said to be strongest of all servants, the hero of the sword. Look up at the moon, accepting my death. There's no time for me to flee or plead for my life. I will die here and tell Sakaran's holy girl what war, real war will end on the third day. Feeling so disgrace and regret, and I will probably vanish, bring a grudge against my enemy. Still, I don't feel anything. Something must be wrong with me. And now I'm going to get killed in an instant. I adore her again. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you're absorbing the person you've been meaning to summon for like nine minutes. Nine minutes now. My senpai is going to kill me. Even though I'm going to. That's right. If you ask for regrets, that is. But I guess it can't be helped because she's the, mo because she's the most powerful servant. Because your figure is just so heartless, so infinitely valiant, and so beautiful. Oh, wait. Remember correctly. Yep. There we go. What? Uh, remember how I said this game had an opening? Yeah. I, I, I put the Be Right Back screen on as a reflex because I didn't want to end up copywriting ourselves. So yeah, oh, this is gonna be. We're gonna be streaming again today. It's just yeah, that we want we wanted to finish off the last bit of the prologue before anything because Japan here is gonna stream on his end a game that he's been wanting to stream here for a while. Wait. Yeah, he's been wanting to Dante's stream. Dante's Inferno. Yeah. And so it's October. In, in like an hour. Sending you all to hell. Yeah. In like an hour, we're gonna see you guys again on his end this time. So uh, see you later today, I guess, guys.
Don't take off my mask, revealing. 